Hello, hello, hello. Howdy, hi. G'day, g'day, g'day. I was just um, grabbing the washing off the line. That Corb's here with another Red Dead RP stream. As George Hughes from the Diablo RP server. Hello, Druss. Yeah, I, um, they uh, changed the intro song. So it was... God, I swear it used to be ages ago last year. It used to be a lyrical cover of Kate McCannon. Um, and then and then Donkey, one of the devs, then made his Diablo IP song. It was that for a while. And now we're back to the lyrical, which I think is like an original piece inspired by, uh, I think, some of his actual ancestors and Red Dead, if I'm not mistaken. But it's good, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Shell Bunny. Hey Shelby, how you doing? I'm I'm good, Dross. I'm just a little cold, but yeah, I'm good. I I just got a I just got the washing off the line, but it is a little chilly outside. Where did I put my UGG boots? Hold on. Where, oh, there they. Gotta get me UGG boots on. But uh, knocking the microphone around. Had to had to take my UGG boots off to put thongs on to get outside. But I'm good. Um, I had a <coughs> I had a haircut yesterday, and a beard neaten up, which was mostly good. Except I don't like the way I didn't like the way they kind of gave me a, a a baby mullet at the back. I was like, this is not really what I asked for. I don't understand. Barbers never understand what I asked for. I even showed them a picture, and they and he still got it wrong. So I actually cut. I cleaned up the back of my hair with my own scissors. Not just, not like kitchen scissors, like hair cutting scissors. Last night. So, crisis averted. Crisis averted. So, that's, that's, that's the highlight of my week. <laughs> that's the highlight of my weekend. Um, that's it. Hello, Looper. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Um... <laughs> so tonight, there's a... I don't know if I'd call it a full-blown... Oh, that's right. We had the bath issues last night when I tried to sign off. That's right. Yeah, George had to crash here in the Valentine office because, um... Um... Had the, the bathroom... The bathtub issues. Um, but yeah, we've got a... We've got a law... Thing on tonight. Um... Which... The sheriff is putting George kind of in charge of. So, gonna be going out doing that, which will be fun. Where's the clothing store again? Oh, that's right, the hotel. I hope, I hope everyone's had a. Hope everyone's had a magical Sunday. Um, I've been. Uh oh. Dun dun. <laughs> Dun 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 Coast is clear. Quick, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> oh no! That cool. Uh oh. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> Pardon? How, how did he miss? Oh, why, are you, why are you in black water? I'm confused. And why were you wearing the same thing you, you wore to the dance last? Did you drink more and then like pass out fully dressed? I, I assure you, I did not drink any more. Well, I drank some water. Uh, but uh, so I, I got back to black water and I, uh -huh. uh, I attempted to have a bath. Next thing I know, I, I woke up here. All right. 
Um, there was no falling out windows or nothing, but yeah, I walk up here. Hi, Leon. Yeah, and then you, you woke up here like Alexi did, or? That's, that's right, just like Alexi, and so then by that time it was really late, so I just, uh... Well, I hope you understand the optics of uh, a gentleman waking up in last night's clothes in a town he says he didn't, he doesn't remember getting to. I am, I'm well aware. I, I am well uh -huh. aware how that sounds, but I assure you, uh, the the governor right. and Dip and Ames saw me go into the bath. No, I, you don't need an alibi. I, be I believe you. It's just. Oh, I, I just just thought I might have one just in case. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, I will. I won't hold you up anymore. Uh, I'll let you get back to Blackwater. I assume. Oh no, no, no rush. I was wondering. I was wondering if you had a a minute miss. Uh, sure. Yeah, I do. Uh, maybe, maybe down at the stable. Yeah. I just don't. I don't know. I, I can't. Last time I've been in Valentine, I'm holding a gun. It, what is this your horse, Leon? <laughs> you ever ever heard the, the whole thing people say about your horse looks like the owner? <laughs> so your horse really suits you. You know. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. you got you got little red, and you got the. <laughs> I like the saddle as well. Saddle matches your belt. <laughs> That's too fucking. You make funny. a nice pair. Thank you for that. Oh, I got a, I got a bit of a ride ahead of me. I gotta go fucking pick up my mother. Your your mother? Yeah, just got some correspondence. Say my mother's coming down. Oh, nice. Well, uh, well, I hope I meet her at some point. Yeah, I'll be probably swinging back through Valentine shortly. So hey, right, I'll come see on. You then. Yeah, well, I haven't seen her in fucking years, so it could be interesting. Goodness. Actually, never come down here. Well, sometimes I leave Henry in one of these pens overnight. Oh, that's very kind of you. All right, well, well, Miss, I just wanted to apologize again profusely about a, a, a about last night. Oh, yeah. No, it, it's all right. I know you didn't mean it. I, I, I think you, I think you're just saying that. Uh. What What makes you think I'm just saying that? Oh. Just, just picking up on some energies. I didn't realize I was giving off energies about. Oh, and, and just, and just thinking to some other things you told me, like where I didn't realize I, <clears throat> when you were tell, trying to tell me about being nervous about the, uh, the medical training ride along, and I just blew it off, and I had no idea, and I thought it was all right. Well, I, I've just got the England that, uh, uh that's probably not all right either. Oh no, it it's fine. Um, yeah, no, it it. I don't think you need to worry about any energies. I think I'm just. I've been here a while now, and I, I'm sort of reaching a point of being exhausted all the time, and uh, hoping this medical thing picks up soon so I can have steady work that, you know, I can focus on and not have to keep dragging my feet through the mud hunting all the time. What's what? What? You, old the hunting's got you exhausted. Just, I, I'm sometimes I'm thinking I'm, I've made a mistake running away from the old life a little bit, just missing some creature comforts, and uh, I think I'm just irritable, maybe. Oh, I understand that. It's a, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a change of scenery. It take these things take time. I just. Yeah. Yeah. I. I do. I am truly sorry that I embarrassed you last night. No, it's it, like I said. You you didn't mean for it to happen. Uh, I appreciate you apologizing again, though. We're we're fine, Mister Hughes. I, I I'm on, I'm on the uh, on the uh, the impression that fine is not fine. We're we're what, good. What is on your mind, Miss? I had, I'm just I'm I need to get to Blackwater and look for a doctor and so I can get started working. Well, well I was uh, heading that way. Would you? Uh, would you? Uh... I I might actually just. Uh, I, I, it's not it's not because of you at all, but I, I think I want to spend some time with Henry after his bad day yesterday. No, understandable, understandable. So I will uh, see you around Blackwater. 
Well, I, that's saying I'm not sure how long I'll be around Blackwater. We've actually got a, a very important uh, law operation happening tonight. A, so. a law operation? That's right. The sheriff's putting me in charge of a, a task force to take care a of some business. W business where? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I, I would like to, but I, I'm not... I'm not yeah, at liberty hold, no, to say. Hold on, but what, what if I have to get to you and pull bullets out of you? Where am I going? Well, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will find a way to reach the doctors. If, if I'm not expecting anything to go bad. Ta task force ain't a, 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 a confident term. Oh, it's mainly logistics. It's you know we've just got to be prepared for anything. You know, and that's that's how the law. The law works. Yeah, every time we step out the door, we're, we're risking our lives. Yeah, but some days more than others. Some days you're, you're going to a formal dance. Another day you're going to a task force. It's very different. If you're talking about energies, it's a bit more of a dangerous one. And, uh, you know, I worry. And I, I just like to be prepared. No, that's that's fair. I, I like to know how many cigarettes I need to buy. <laughs> Speaking of, are you out? Oh, I am out. What am I, a cigarette factory? <laughs> All right, I got enough for two gunshots. So if you get shot twice, I'm, I'll be fine to de-stress. Okay. All right. I just... I just, I don't know how long I'm going to be away. And I've just been, been feeling really awful. And... I know you say it's fine, but I will find, uh, I will strive to make it up to you. Uh, you, you don't have to. Do I don't that. have to. I know I don't have to do nothing. Well, I got to do, like do my job. I feel like every day there's something that you're stressing about trying to make it up to me about something, whether it's accidentally forgetting my name or, or thinking <laughs> I look like a man at a distance and you put your foot in your mouth or, or in this case, you accidentally drank too much and you threw up. And yes, it was uh, unexpected and it's not something I'm quite used to, but I'm also not used to most of the people at the party deciding that they wanted to run off and skinny dip in the river next to the party. The, the whole night was full of surprises. It wasn't just you. I know it's it's. You you. I would have I would have liked to have more time dancing with you when everyone else was dancing. I, I know I I just kept everywhere every turn I made. There was my boss or my boss's boss, and they're at me about this. They're at me about that. No, I no I understand it, that. It's. I was get I was frustrated as well because I, I yeah by the I learned by the time I learned that the dancing had started like no one had alerted me and I was being held up and getting my ear chewed off about this and that and and Ames and the governor they they don't just say something they got to tell you they got to go all the way around and then back again to tell you so it's just George George you don't need to worry I'm still very fond of you all right I just. Cause I had no idea that I accidentally blew you off George, in the strawberry time. George, it's fine. Take it, just relax. All right, I just and you were talking about Woodman and this and that, and I Woodman's just, an ongoing conversation. You just kind of hear me vent about him every so often. I but. know. It's just I'm trying to just I'm trying to be mindful of that. I've made a number of mistakes. I'm extremely lucky that. Such a such a lovely lady like yourself is still giving me the time of day, and it's just I'm I'm trying to, you know, bring myself out of just the law mindset in my past and just try and be more normal and just someone that people can rely on, and I just I'm gonna I'm just I'm just trying. You I, know you know I know I can rely on you, right? I, Seeing I'm just you be make, sick didn't make me lose faith in you or anything like that. I'm just damn well saying that I I I I, I damn well take him more seriously than Woodman takes Louise, and I'm trying to make an effort. All right, I gotta go to work. Goodbye. All right, bye. <laughs> Poor George. Drama, drama, drama. Where's my horse? Oh no, where's my horse? Where is the horse? 
It's so funny, Looper. It is so... It is... It is hilarious. It is such a, um... It is such a funny, um... It is such a funny angle. The most trouble, Hughes, like, playing Hughes has been is, like, not getting, um... Not getting kidnapped or, or making too many, uh... Arch enemies too quickly. It's very funny. And it's it's challenging for me as a as a player on the server. Because I'm like I'm like struggling to like Like I'm trying to interpret it like okay if this was like a TV show or a movie or something. <coughs> Excuse me. What are the What are the what are the sort of like story beats and and cliches and stuff with things like that so it's like i'm i'm like racking my brain from like every movie in that i've watched from like uh what are what are what are things people what do people talk about again in the real world how does this work and then i'm like okay but then we gotta like it's like okay i've got that and then it's like now i'm like now i've got to make it uh, cause Hughes I've always enjoyed playing, like, he's not perfect, there's a lot of slapstick comedy, he's not the, he's, he's got a heart of gold, but he's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed, so I'm like, okay, but now, how do I give it the, the George Hughes spin? Uh-oh! <laughs> Miss, I thought you'd be faster on your horse by now. I told you Henry's resting. I thought I'd give you a head start. Are you trying to race me again? N no, I'm, I'll probably I'll probably throw over the reins too quick. Mm -hmm. Now you're slowing down to keep up with me. Oh well, no, I'll, give, I'll give you another head start if you'd like. No, I just think you miss having me on the back of your bus. Maybe a little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hell hello, hello, essential. No, that's that's the you know, I'm the same looper. Like um, um <laughs> I'm I in certain in cer certain circumstances in real life I'm um, I have no issues, but I'm also a in a lot of ways a very um, a very socially awkward person. Um, sometimes I will um, sometimes I will talk people's ears off to the point where I'm like, the day after, I'm like, oh my god, I didn't let them talk, I'm a monster, or, um, there'll be times where I'm just like, um, dead quiet, just because I'm thinking of a lot of stuff, and I'm just trying, or I'm listening a lot, um, and people will sometimes interpret that as I'm being rude, or I'm not interested, or whatever, but sometimes it is like, my head is literally off with the fairies, and I'm not meaning to. That's just how my brain is, um, and I'm not. I am not a very. Um, I am not a very quick-witted. Well, yeah, it depends. It depends as well on the situation. I am in real life. I am sometimes. I am so slow. I am not. Think you took a wrong turn there, miss. I am not a very quick-witted fella. She didn't crash, did she? Or is she taking the shortcut? I always take the safe road, because then I know there's actually... That's definitely there. I always lose track of the other ones. I reckon you did fine, Looper, from what I heard and saw. Hello, Tom Loy. George. George Hughes. My mind, no, Loop, I'm the same. My brain goes blank all the time. <clears throat> but then, like, now that we've had so many more players join the server that are really trying to, they're really trying to bring life to characters and uh, they're really trying to push it. 
Um, I'm trying to meet. I'm trying to meet their. Um, trying to meet their energy. <clears throat> so these are these are these are players that are criminals that um, act quite aggressive. Um, trying to approach that as a sheriff would in a movie or whatever. We're trying to, you know, meet 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 their meet their energy to deal with them. You know, like a hero v villain kind of scenario, protagonist antagonist and all that. Um, and then players like Shell Bunny. That's um, definitely shows all the experience doing the G. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 5M in that. It's like... But then it's like, all of this all comes down to uh, improv. What a weirdo. So I'm trying to remember that it's it's all improv, and I'm trying <laughs> to... trying to compliment what other people are doing. How you doing, mate? Oh, good, fella. Sorry, sorry I'm, in the middle of the, I'm in the middle of the walkway. What's up? Oh, I just thought you might be trying to cross the street. Here I am, st standing on my horse right in the middle of the in the middle of the walkway. No, no, it's uh, spinning me guns, it's trying to trying to find me pants. Oh, where where did you last have your pants? Oh. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lady stole them. She said she was from Texas. Did she say where she was going with your pants? No. I met her in the bar. She tried to cut my finger off after she held my hand. And I woke up with her pants. Well, that's not very nice. Uh... Look, if you if you remember more in, any any more information, and you'd like to, uh, file a complaint, I'm sure we... Uh, do, do you have a serial number for your pants? Uh, no. I ripped the tag off after a broad. Ah, oh, hell. Well... If you got a good description for him, feel free to file a report and we can uh, keep an eye out for him. I I'm sorry, my name's Captain George Hughes. I'm with the local law department. Uh, what was that? Uh, my name's Captain George Hughes. I'm part of the local law department. Uh, I don't think I recognized you without your beard. Oh, oh, sorry, have we met before? Yeah. Oh, sorry, partner, what was your name again? Harry. Harry Enos. We did uh, some horse racing together. Oh, Mr. Enos, yes. Oh, yes, that old that old chestnut. Yes. <laughs> no, I, 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 I didn't recognize you without the, the pink racing, the pink racing uh, suit. I kept it. Don't worry. I've still got that special suit. I'm oh, glad to hear it. Hopefully, there'll be another horse race soon. Did you take part in the, uh, the buggy race? Uh, not the buggy race. I did some uh, jousting and boxing. How'd you do with, how'd you do with them? Uh, I only won the the all in brawl and didn't do too well in the joust. I kept killing people's horses, so I felt really bad. Oh no, I don't blame you. Yeah, I, the amount of horses I saw perish during the the first jousting competition made me made me feel a little sad. Yeah, there was no event available for this one, so. Oh dear. Oh, what we live and we learn, right? That's, that's it. I definitely, yeah, there's a lot I've learned about the next race that takes place. I've learned a lot about what I will and won't do. Uh, you know, I actually think both times in the jousting, Harkness took me out. Really? When I yeah, saw him, he wasn't doing sure. too well. Oh, well, I should be, actually, actually, speaking of, I should be seeing him soon. I've just rode, ridden back into town, hoping to find the rest of the law department. Uh, we'll be busy oh, yeah. soon. But uh, good to see you, Mr. Enos. Uh, uh, you have yourself a nice night. You too. Oh! I, I just want to point out, when you said that I took a wrong turn, I actually took a shortcut, and I counted. I beat you in town by 55 seconds. Uh, you... I didn't even see you! Oh, God damn it! My racing career's coming to a swift end! Oh, howdy. Uh, I'm already getting law. I don't have the... Oh! Look at... What?
Oh, oh no. Oh. What the hell? You alright, miss? Uh, my gloat was my own hubris. God damn. What did you hit? <laughs> I fell down. I'm sorry, Henry. Oh my goodness. I apologize. I was busy uh, telling you that I was beating you in the race and then I was laughing you because I was doing such a good job and then he fell over. That, I feel like that was just some instant karma right there. You're putting too much pressure on Henry. Yes, I'm sorry, Henry. You're a good boy. He's trying his best. Howdy. He's sure he just it. celebrating with Howdy. an old cartwheel. Yeah, he, did, he was doing a little little handstand. Henry, you're supposed to do that during the race. Well... <laughs> what? <laughs> I, was, I was having a private conversation with Henry, thank you very much. Is that you, Jack? Oh yes, how are you? Yeah, I I think I'm I think I'm gonna live another day. Oh, that's good. Why is that? I think oh, I have. I'm looking for you. I think I have. Uh, He's looking for me. Hey. Cold looking for me for some. Apparently, Cold Earn's looking for me for some bloody reason. He's gonna be looking for me too soon. No idea why. He said he has words for me at the uh, the at the at the at the dance. For what though? For how I was talking to his wife the other day. I don't know what I've done to his wife. Always been nice to her. W w did he say what he wants to talk to you about? I don't know. Apparently, told Bob. Bill, sorry. Told Bill he's looking for me. Well, that's a bit naughty. Oh dear. All right. Well, I gotta get to the department. I gotta. Oh, hold on. Where am I? Where am I going? So, do, I you I... Us, uh, do you fellas? Do you fellas know who borrowed uh, fifty dollars from the store the other day? I. Uh, I. I lent one of you uh, $50 Oh yes, to yeah, Jack. Do you know about this? Someone, someone was lent fifty dollars from Leroy here in the department. Huh? No idea who that was. Wasn't me. It was I think it, it was Sledge. Me. Could have been Sledge. He'll be around tonight, hopefully. That's all right. That's all right. I'm, I'm not desperate for it. I just wanted to double check. <laughs> Don't worry, Leroy. I've got it in the. I swear it's in the back of my head. Yeah, I, I just took it out of the store later. That's all. That's all. I know, Leroy. I know. I know you're doing your best. Don't worry. I'll, I'll let him know. But I, I gotta check my bank. I think I left some things here. <laughs> George has just got this uphill battle where he's just trying not to. He's trying not to get fired. He's trying not to disappoint his boss. His boss's boss. Fucking people want to come find him. He's always, he's always disappointing, Miss Wheeler. It's just nothing's going right. Poor old George. <laughs> it's so scuffed. He just can't win. And it, and like half the time I'm playing it like that. I'm playing it like deliberately. But then like literally yesterday, like mucking up like. With the fucking up the controls in the buggy race. That was an accident as like a play. That was a skill issue in real life. And then like, I didn't know that drinking the two bottles so close would get you drunk. That's not how I remember getting drunk in Red Dead RP. So that was an accident as well. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, um, it's very funny. All the drama. Going on in Hughes's life. <laughs> I smell a sitcom. Oh dear. <laughs> See, I think George Hughes's greatest fear at the moment is the is the alt out of Frank? Yeah, ben. Hey? I sent you a I sent you a telegram Potter. Oh, did you? Yep. Oh, I'll take a look at a minute. Thank you. Hughes is uh remembering the 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 uh that old famous line. Hell hath no fury <laughs> like a woman scorned. Much more dangerous than a gang of criminals. <laughs> Howdy, Casozo. I can see you, and Zoe, and Terence running amok, but I was like talking to Harry. You bloody! I got my guns back. I'm signing on. Let's go take our guns back. Now, regarding this thing tonight, 
Do you do you have any uh, items you've confiscated from criminals in your own law locker? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Excellent. No, I think Sledge has got some stuff. Okay, but he'll be around. Thank you, Looper. I'm um. I've I've had lots no, of I've got nothing. lots of experience role playing as George, but then but then yeah, I found with with the server reset, there is a lot more challenges now. I was gonna have a word about those long arms and that tomfoolery in um, and that tomfoolery in the um in the street, but I didn't want to cut Harry off. God damn it. Oh, Shelby, Cynthia is is such a is such a challenge. Um George Hughes as a character has never had has never had a story arc angle like that before, which is like I'm having to like I was talking about it before. I'm like having to um try and cherry pick things I've learned from movies and TV shows. I'm like, "Ah, what would people say or what would happen?" And then I've got to make it what how would what would George Hughes do and how would it make sense in country and ah I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I think martial law's done tomorrow or Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. It's but it's very funny. It's it's good because I I've spent what since August as Hughes. It was it was it was it, it was fun, but it's been just the same old, same old, same old. So now it's like now there's other challenges. It's, um, it's, um, it's good. It's, um, it's a spanner in the works. I think it's, um, it's very entertaining. I think a lot of people are very entertained by it. No, never. No, never. It just, yeah. Well, for the longest time, for the longest time, there wasn't many, um... Um, there wasn't any, like, uh, many, f uh, female players that would play regularly. So it was just, it was just all just, it was literally just cops and robbers for ages. It was just a bunch of dudes just shooting each other all the time. And be like, stop doing that, and then fuck you, I'm, I'm gonna rob the bank. There was no, there was no other story, so it's, it's wonderful to see all these other players, um, mixing it up. It's, it's, it, it feels more like an actual, it was Gazozo. No, it, it was. But all these other angles make it feel like a living, breathing world. And it makes it, there's more, st like, I mean, the, a, a, a thing that really excites me about all these story arcs is that, is that it raises the stakes and it adds a lot of weight to, to things. Um, which I think is going to be very, it's going to be messed up. I think it's going to get, oh, you can't put the weapons here. See, I don't know where the hell. Yeah, these bloody, these bloody law lockers. These bloody law lockers. No, we've got to put them in our personal. Okay, I've got to put them back for now. Boom. My gold. We need like a, a locker where we can just dump all the because these are like all the confiscated weapons, and we're dealing with a bunch of this stuff tonight. Also, hello, Fog Frog. Yo, Dave. No, well, I, I think I spoke about it. I spoke it about it the other day where it was like there was that time where Jeb got shot. And my mind immediately jumped to, well, someone's got to let Lily know. Because in real life, like, yes, you're dealing with the criminals, you're dealing with the medical side, but then it's like, in real life, you'd be like, well, we got to get, we got to get in contact with, uh, you know, next of kin or, or whatever. So, and I was, I was, I was so, just so frustrated because no one, I, people in the vicinity, I just felt like no one else was taking it. As seriously, I'm like, well, no, if this was, like, if this was a real situation, it'd be like, no, we need to get someone to go and find Lily, like, right now, because, you know, Jeb could die, um, because it makes sense for the, for that current story. 
Um, and just no one was racing off to go find it, find her. And I'm like, what are you doing? This is how you make it have more layers, goddammit. Why is George always crossing his arms? That's it, Dave. Like, whenever these opportunities come up, like, you gotta... You gotta, you gotta do it. Like, that's what we're all trying to... We're all just trying to add building blocks, right? So that then when more storylines happen in the in the future, um, lots of... Lot, everything's been set up so that just some really crazy things can happen. Frank, howdy. Howdy. Sorry, Frank. I've been sorting through these damn... Uh, damn lockers trying to get everything sorted. I haven't gone and looked at your... Tele I'm gonna go look at your telegram right bloody now. Dallas Rattles was asking if we can join you tonight. Absolutely, partner. Yeah, it's fine. Your Bowman's going to brief us all on that, but as far as I'm aware, he mentioned yourselves, maybe some Easties, The ra we'll meet the Rangers somewhere, that whole drill. So what, that's 7 o'clock we're meeting about that, right? Oh, perfect. All right, I'm going to go check the Telegram to get the, you know, the... Yes. Get the full story. I'll be right back, yes, gentlemen. Over here. I'm just trying to really lean into remembering. Ah, oh, we're trapped. The RP, it's all, it's, it's, it's just like improv. Well, what a weird dilemma. Improv that I dreaded doing in high school drama. <laughs> I sucked at doing improv. Every time we had drama class and I knew we were going to do imp imp yeah. improv, it, it, it always, I was always like, no, I don't want to be doing improv. I hate it. <laughs> but then in a video game setting, it's much easier. I find. Oh, I love I, I I loved drama as well. Um, it's just I the the issue I found was um, all the other all the other students in my year group started doing drama in year eight. Um, so they had a bit of a head start by the time we were in year 12. While I didn't start doing drama in high school until grade 10, I think is roughly how it works. So I was a few years behind. Um, so I, I, had, I had to really struggle. I had to really catch up. But by the end of year 12, um, I, was, um, I was getting the same sort of grades for drama as the students that had been doing it longer than me. So I just wish I had done it as soon as I could. Um, then maybe uh, maybe after high school, maybe I would have considered doing, uh, pursuing more acting opp opportunities. So I just gravitated towards, straight out of high school, it was all about, well, I'm going to get into video editing. And then I was made aware of like, you know, I could study film and that. And then I needed to pick a minus. So I was like, well, what's the closest thing to doing like, film and TV stuff. Well, it's, you know, doing the technical theater side, doing the backstage stuff, lighting, sound and all that. So I was like, well, all right, let's do that. And now I really love doing that. Um, I love doing that. Um, it's, f this isn't the telegram station. This is the stable. What am I doing? Oh, it definitely shows Shelby. And also that you mentioned the, the, um, uh, the amount of experience you have doing 5M, it really shows. So, it's been good, because, yeah, now I'm like... You know, I had plenty of time playing Hughes how I was playing, and now it's like, okay, now there's... There's... Our peers on the sur... Oh, no! Miss, how'd it? <laughs> howdy, sorry, I was sending the telegram. You are right? I've just uh, got a confidential uh, telegram from the... Why are you always sneaking up on me? You just appear everywhere I, I turn around. This is a this is a public space, miss. I feel like you just try to keep a close look at, look at what I'm doing to make sure I'm not in any trouble. I, if I had to keep eyes on you, I wouldn't need to do that personally. I have eyes and ears everywhere. Uh-huh. Not really. Are, are you just I, admitting you got eyes on me all the time? No, that's, a, see, see. that's, a, jo that's a joke. Yeah, right. It's a joke. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Just, uh, I've got your yeah, confidential correspondence regarding the tonight's law operation. You know, it's a need-to-know basis. For my eyes only, you know, you know that kind of deal. That's all right. 
I was uh, sending a telegram to Mr. Billhorn. I haven't seen him in a few days, and he sent me one, so I needed a reply. He basically, I think, was checking if I was still alive. Well, that's very kind of you. Mm -hmm. Well, I will let you get back up to, with your uh, your super secretive uh, work with the government something something or other, and I'll walk away so I'm no longer distracting your gaze. Oh, that's very confident to say. God damn it. <laughs> it's fine. It's it it's very funny. Captain Hughes Bowman has told me that it, you are in charge of an evidence recycling run on Sunday. I was hoping you're going to be doing this trip with a small wagon of evidence that needs to be recycled. Regards to you, Spirit Frank Cooley. Yep, excellent, perfect. Yep, that is what we talked about just now. It's because it's it's like like interactions like that immediately reminds me of. Yeah, like movies and TV shows I've seen. So it's like, you can just lean into that. And it's so funny. And then it's even funnier following, you know, because for everyone that was either at the event or checked out the streams and whatnot, um, many people are aware that Miss Wheeler is so, is so peeved with Hughes. <laughs> he just he just doesn't do anything right. <laughs> Which is half deliberate and half me being oblivious because even in um even in real life I am I am I am so fucking I'm so fucking unreliable. Um the amount of um Oh it's so funny, like the amount of times, like, ex-girlfriends would be like, you know when I was telling you this thing, right? And you just sort of, like... Like, as soon as, like, Miss Willard Hughes was like, you know, you kind of blew me off about the medical thing, I was like, oh, no, I know what that's like, because I've had so many ex-girlfriends in real life be like, um, so you know when I was telling you about that thing? It actually meant, like, a great deal to me. And you just, you know, jumping to just find a solution or crack a joke about it. You know, I didn't really get to talk about it. And that kind of hurt my feelings. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so fucking oblivious to that stuff. I, Rando, I can, I, I can go back to the VOD. I can go and grab a screenshot. The split second I saw it, it looked like Albert Crows. <laughs> it is, no, Looper, I, I'm able to... I'm able to borrow a lot of stuff from real life. Captain. Cyrus, how are we feeling today? Good, you? Oh. Look, I, I'm, I was pretty thrilled. I got to take another ride in the uh, hot air balloon last night. This time, was not getting shot at. Well, that's uh, that's probably how it should be done. It it was preferable, I'll tell you that much. It was, <laughs> um, it was, it was not a bad time. And uh, Mr. Roy is still uh, extremely proud that he was able to help with the situation and he's really glad to hear that you've made a good recovery no well thank you and um hopefully you passed on my my well wishes of course no uh, mr roy is well aware that he is a true blue american hero oh a hundred percent it's a it's good uh now have you uh have you expressed interest in tonight's operation uh i've heard nothing about it except for uh a time for a time that well that that's pretty much it uh you know sheriff bowman he's told me a little bit and, uh, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll all be hearing more about that at uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, okay, got you. Um, did you see if uh, Mr. Harkness and uh, Frank from the Pinkertons are inside still? Uh, no, no one was in there when I was in there. I did just wake up, though. Mm, shoot, they must, have, uh, they must be out. Mm. They might have gone to grab a, grab a bite to eat or something, or they've headed out, but I'm sure we'll see them again soon. So what, what are your plans now? Because we've got a bit of time before the meeting. Yeah, I was just going to get some food, uh, some drink, um, and a couple of medical items, and then I was going to do a patrol. Excellent. You mind if I tag along? Yeah, go for it. All right, lead on. Cyrus is a very promising deputy. How's it been uh, across the West? Oh, as far as I can tell, Blackwater is uh, still in a much better position than it was, you know, a week ago, uh, I was at the uh, the formal dance last night, and uh, I've seen the, the I saw the governor there, and I've seen him quite a few times over the last few days. He's uh he he seems very happy with the uh, the progress we've made in the area. Oh, well, that's good. A lot of a uh, lot of hard work has gone into it. That's for sure. It has, and it's you know it's a 
it's a uh, we can we can thank you know the assistance of the east department coming over to help us out the the rangers as well and then also new new faces in the department like yourself mr sledge and that it's a yep. it, it definitely has not gone unnoticed no good definitely definitely been trying Good afternoon, the Tinny House. The weekend's been... It's been good. Um, I've been just doing a bit of RP on stream. Um, I did some washing. I uh, went and got a haircut. Went and did some shop, like grocery shopping. Did some cooking. So I felt productive. Um, no, we've definitely been trying to uh, to get everything under control. Yeah, and like, look at this. This is, this is a vast improvement. Like there's no people boxing in the street, people running amok. It's a, this feels like a nice place to live now. Oh, yeah. And then um, I've also been catching up on other games. Like I've been playing a lot of, uh, was it Star Wars Hunters on the Switch. I've been playing the ranked mode. Um, I made it up into the Beskar rank, which is, it's uh, the one underneath Kaiba, which is good. Um, it's just a bit of dumb fun. And then... I was checking out today the new season for Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, just going to go very cool. get some medical items, and I think that's about it. Which has been very cool. Um, I would, I definitely want to play uh, a lot of the new, <clears throat> excuse me, the new season of Deep Rock Galactic. Because um, I think this might be the last season before they release Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core later this year or next year, which is going to be like a, a rogue... A rogue light, a rogue like, or whatever you call it. Um, I, rock, rock and stone, brother. I love R Deep Rock Galactic, so I was playing a bit of that. Um, yeah, it's been a, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good weekend. Um, and then I'm very excited. Next weekend, um, I go to. It's probably good I put in so much time doing the Diablo RP this the last few days because next weekend I'm in Sydney, so. Friday, I fly to Sydney, and then I'm there until uh, Monday morning. Uh, I'll be at the Supernova convention. But how's your weekend been, Tinny? Oh, no, Shelby, what happened? Da -da. Da -da. Look, look up there. Is there uh, any areas you haven't checked out? It's like Miss Wheeler, or? like, looking down from there, like, ah! Pardon? Is there any areas you haven't checked out recently? Uh, well, uh, I came from Valentine. Valentine seemed all right. Uh, I mm -hmm. woke up there. I had to, I had to crash there overnight. Uh, yep. uh, just the usual spots, really. Yeah, okay. All right. Maybe just do a lap then. It's so funny. It's like, I smell a sitcom. Do, 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 do. Oh no, it's the horse spawned in the house, in the building. Real jobs. Ugh. You get it, you've been getting that extra, that eight extra weekend pay? Frog! There was! There was! So, yeah, the whole server was wiped. So everyone had to remake their characters. Some people chose to make new characters. Some people, like myself, chose to re... Ah! Chose to remake our characters. Oh, no! Some of us chose to remake our characters. Um... Which is fine. George, you get out of here! Which is fine, but um, you can't have any memory of anything that happened before the wipe. So this is George Hughes 2.0, to be to be precise. So you can remake Jeremiah, and you can do Jeremiah again as you, you see fit. It's just can't have any memory from before the wipe. Did you, um, did you call for a doctor? I like to think of it almost like it, this is like a, a, a parallel universe. Um, you know, like, like, oh, okay. Ma like the Marvel Cinematic what Universe. Was it? A shot or a run over or... All right, let's try that again. Oh, okay. Give me a second. I'll see if I can get one. But I hope you bring Jeremiah back, Frog, because that remember that time 
Um, remember that time Hammer Razor and I caught you and your mate up at Ansberg and then we made you run from the Lord Dog? <laughs> that was so good. That was so fucking funny. Otherwise, Mechanic by track. You so work at a racetrack. Like motor cars? Um, okay, so pick him up and come in here. I always get so scared when the horses get stuck in the houses. I know it's I know it's not. Oh, I'm stuck. It just Oh my god. Oh, the... oh, the doctor's actually gone. It just makes me That's so good. Porsche some well, weekends and carts the others. That sounds like a hell of a good time. That sounds like a rad job. Okay, Cyrus is there. My horse is no longer inside a building. <laughs> see if I can get that out of here. Wait. How did it even get? That's the first time I've seen that. A horse in a doctor's office. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I think I may be able to heal. Oh, yep. Don't mind me, I'm just getting it out of here. <laughs> this is not my you, horse. You, Doctor. Uh, no. I don't know how I got in there, I was just getting it out. Me either, no idea how that horse got in there. No, <laughs> no dear at all. The main thing is it's out. Mm-hmm. Are you a doctor now, Miss Kane? No, no, I'm not a doctor. I was just trying to show them how to get healed, but the local doctor's not there. Oh. What are the doctors doing, doctor. buddy? Just, what are they, off on a holiday or something? Yeah, that's crazy. So much time off for these doctors. Oh, they get... Did, did <laughs> I hear you've got a new job at the bakery up in Valentine? Oh, yeah, I've been there for a week or so now, helping Lily. Oh, look at that. Look at you. Look at that. <laughs> Moving up in the world. That's right. <laughs> That's amazing here, Miss Kane. Well, I think. What's going on with this fella here? Ah, uh, he choked him out. I've alerted a doctor. Oh dear. But I haven't seen a return pin yet. Well, hopefully they do their job soon. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I better get you inside. It's about to rain. Oh shit. Oh, sh no! Oh. oh my god. Uh, you're right there, sir? Sorry, I was trying to get on my horse. <laughs> you're right. Do you need a hand up? Or... No, you're right. I'm alright. Thank you, though. Oh my god. Can't even get George on the back of a horse! Without something blowing up. Lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo. <laughs> Let me go. These storms always look so beautiful. They do. They just sound a little scary. Yeah, they do. They're, they're really loud. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor oh, family. Oh, random question for you, Captain. Shoot. Um... The other day, I was uh, on on duty, and there was a lot of horses just left. Are we in in the right to uh, move them on? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely okay to move them uh, off the street. Yeah, and uh, hopefully somewhere out of the way. But yeah, people should not be. Uh, I, I believe you can give people warnings for you know leaving them around in you know just you know they haven't hitched them properly or they're just mm. in the middle of the road. I don't care if they're going in for buy a quick apple or two. You know, it's yeah, yeah. You never know when a wagon's going to come through or something. No, there was about ten or twelve horses throughout this uh, this town here. That's right. You know, a couple people do it, and then everyone thinks it's okay to do it. And the next thing you know, you got a, a street full of horses, and you got wagons crashing, children on mm. the way to school getting hurt. Not on my watch, God damn it. No, that, that's a recipe for disaster. That's it. I love just throwing in every now and again, just that Hughes is like, you know, kids aren't, you know, kids are orphans on the way to school. 
Not, not good enough. <laughs> so worried about the offense. <laughs> well, that might be Lou. Alright, well, when you're ready, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. Happy to happy to head out. The usual route, I'll let you uh, lead the way. I got your back. Alright, sounds good. I reckon Cyrus has got a um a good head on his shoulders, so I'm happy to see how he handles the patrol. Alright, I'll follow you. Sounds like a plan. I wanna see how he to see how he operates, because we may be looking at a new senior deputy in the near future, eh? Eh? George Hughes put the old word in from Mr. Cyrus to the sheriff, and you never know. Someone's gone and lost their hat. That's, all, that's one of my greatest fears, losing my hat. I've had this hat a long time. You'd vouch for him as well, Dave? You'd vouch for old Cyrus? You know what I've been thinking? What's that? I've been thinking of maybe getting a dog up at the, the Valentine... Up at Valentine. There's a pet store. Oh, yeah. I've been thinking of how neat it would be to have a have a dog to come out on patrol with me. You know, sniff out the bad guys. Oh, that'd be good. That'd definitely help. Yeah. I saw some of them are as cheap as, you know, $20, $25. So, you know, it's not... Not a huge investment, I think, but then I think you gotta keep them, you know, you gotta feed them and hydrate them and, and all that, but I think that might be nice. Yeah, that will. Um, yeah, I have, I've never popped my head in uh, to the pet shop yet. Well, if we get a bit of a quiet moment when we pass through Valentine, I'll show you. You can have a, have a gander. It's yeah, a, sounds good. It's just, it was a little concerning. Uh, yesterday when I had, went to have a look, there was a, there was a pet there that reminded me, of, you ever, you ever read much on Greek mythology? A little bit, actually. You ever heard of the Cerberus? Yeah, the, um, is that the dog? The yeah. three-headed dog? Yeah, it just, just reminded me of that. It was a little concerning. Game Trent, I want to shoot him out of the balloon again. No! Not Cyrus! I gotta go back and clip that still. That was so fucking funny. Oh, it's so funny, dude. I've been meaning to like clip that part, but then also highlight the whole the whole hot air balloon fiasco. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, didn't mean to put the brakes on. Oh, you all right? Yep. Strawberry. my nose <laughs> raccoons going to the shop I'd like to buy some groceries please 
Certainly, sir. All right, I'm just going to get my bearings. Take your time, not a problem. forgetting what am i forgetting all right we'll make our way to valton sounds good he's friends with the roof deers that's always been so scuffed just you like you'll be having a serious conversation with a character in the street and then like out in the corner of your eye there's like a deer jumping around on a roof you're like oh yeah my immersion Down from there, you silly son of a bitch. I wouldn't be surprised if I learnt that the player that plays Cyrus has played on another Red Dead server or done 5M or, or something. Got a, he's got a good voice, like you can imagine him easily role playing as a sheriff or something. Like very, very level headed, clear speaking, clear speaker. my favorite memories of uh, the last holiday I went on in Germany in 2019 with my folks was um, when we were in this lovely town uh, Bremen there was one day we were walking around um, a bit of nature around and um, you could see all these like European red squirrels like running along the tree branches and jumping from tree to tree and you know, chasing each other up and down the tree branches. And, like, as we're walking under the trees next to them, like, you see some of them, they do that sort of, like, that aggressive, you know, stance on all four legs. And, like, on the side of the tree looking down at us. Like, just staring at us. So cute. Their little ears. So freaking cute. I was like, please come down here. Let me pat you. So cute. Oh shit, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. You hear that? No, I didn't. What was that? Seems there may be trouble in Valentine. We may have oh, okay. stumbled across something. All right. If it looks like there, there may be a robbery happening at the store or the bank, if there is, would you you feel comfortable leading the negotiations? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Sounds good. I've got your back. Let's go and take a look. All right. Yeah, it looks like everything's so close today, but I imagine if anything happens in St. Denis, um, it's a bit of a maze, isn't it?
Howdy, everyone. Howdy. Howdy. He's, he's in the store. They're waiting for you. He's oh, there. right in that store there. Oh, in the saloon? Or? Right. No, oh, there, he there he is. There he goes. Hey. <laughs> Get back this. <laughs> Howdy, hey. Mishers. Run. How's your day going? The sheriffs. The sheriffs. I said misters. They're still misters. Or oh, they're sheriffs. <laughs> Back in the store. What are you doing? What do you mean in the store? Are you uh you robbing that store? <laughs> nah, I wasn't in the store. Well, you just you just came out. You just came out of it. Nah, you're saying she. You need to stop drinking. I haven't had a drink since what? the dance last night. Thank you very much. Oh, hey. <laughs> Lord Department, stop! Please, sir! Ah, no. Get a gun on him, Cyrus! I didn't do nothing! I didn't do nothing! Step, ah. Step away! What? Ah. Step away! Why? Enough, sir! Oh. Are you right there, sir? Don't make me teach you this lesson again, Freeze. old man! Freeze! Ah. Get a gun on him! Ah. Stop, or I'll shoot! Stop! He's falling Stay on my down. head! Stay down! Stay It's alright, Bishop. Ah! No! Put him down! What are you doing? It's wood. Put him down. Oh, Todd! Oh. Todd, I can walk <laughs> if you cut the ropes! Now, why'd you go and do all that? Ah! Tell you what. You just were accusing me of something. I, I didn't do nothing, so... Sorry, I, 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 I was in town doing stuff at the gun shop and I've seen there's a... I didn't realize... Oh. I did not realize that was you and I'm like, oh crap, there's two of them. Yeah, no, no, I, I was in the gun store and I, I heard all the commotion outside. So oh, <sighs> okay, well, that made me panic a whole lot more than just one person. It's okay, no, mister, it's, it's okay. I, I didn't steal nothing, it's all good. You said you were attacking me, I defended myself. No, well, we didn't attack you. We just told he, you to stop, and you kept running. Me. Yeah, because no. I got small brain cells. Okay, I was beat up on my day, and I got, I got PTSD. I'm sure you got enough brain cells that when you hear "stop, law department," you stop. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear the lower part. Um, but we do have witnesses saying that you were uh, perhaps up to no good in that store over there. Nah, they they've been drinking. They just came out <laughs> the saloon. Pockets for uh, lockpicks. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, all we really want to do, just because we've oh, heard yeah, word no, that... I bought, no, I bought a lot pick because I lost the keys to my house, so... I <laughs> really own a house to you. Where's your house? I can show you if you're on time. It's not far. Oh, I don't know about that. No, I can prove it. Why you be able to see it definitely has a lot pick. Use? Yeah, I already admitted you didn't need to search me. You just had to ask. I'm an honest person. Yeah, I wanted to check if you had anything else. But yeah, no, I got nothing else legal, so it's all good. Do you want to... Do you want to just carry him, or do you want to... What do you want to do? I can walk. How far is it? My house is so... Yeah. Hang on, let me check the map. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just down past the main road. It's a little hole in the ground. It's, it's where my mama raised me. Fuck it. It's, uh, so, uh, Fuck it. We'll keep him tied okay. up. But you, you direct us. Come this this way. Oh, no, 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 that way. Oh, thank you, thank you for pointing. Yeah, that way, straight. Go straight. Yep. Oh, no, two left a little. Aim for those trees. He just leans up and points like that way. Too far on a horse, though. It's only like 30 seconds. <laughs> it's so cursed. He just breaks the bonds just to point. Over it's there. It's a little hard to see, so did. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. And I mean, we can't afford too much, so we just got to do what we can. <laughs> so, uh, I just aim. I see that big tall tree. Oh, yep. All right. Yeah. No. So, um, quite really, I, I just wanted to know how it was done because you don't. Act I just did it when there was law on to make sure that it, you did get shit, but you still don't get anything. So it's kind of pointless. So you, so you robbed the store, but you didn't get anything. Yeah, so it's kind of pointless. Yeah. 
Because it's like I didn't understand how the fuck it was working. And then, yeah. That don't excuse breaking that lock. I don't give a shit. You gotta learn how, you know. But anyway, uh, it's just, it's in here. Uh, hang on. Turn a little left and keep going straight. Yeah. Yeah, in the, yeah, just in between those trees there, like the little gap there. I yeah. don't know left, if left, I exactly left, feel safe. Left, mm, I was left. starting to think that. Now go left. Left, like directly left. Yeah. If you look at your map, you'll see where's. And yeah, there's where it is. But untie me before we get there. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no if it's a trap. Yeah, I, uh... And uh, the lockpicks, they didn't work on my house either, so. Why don't you just get a key? A new key. Wait, can you see it on your on look at your map? Can you see anything, uh Captain? Yeah, directly behind you, sorry. Yeah. Oh, back so up this you, path. Yeah, well, apparently there's a path, path here. Yeah. Oh yeah, up here. This where me mama raised me. Hold on, let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Law Department, anyone in here? Please say hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. This ain't a nice place. Yeah, look. Yeah, we're going to have to. Look. All right, Sars, we're going to have to. Let's check some pockets. Let's and let's get some ID. Yeah, I got ID. All right. My name's Billy Hill. I'm 25. All right. Uh, yep. Or something like that. I don't know. The years go long. Let's have a look. Let's uh, get all this I... information locked away. This this is. I... He's got to show you. I can't. You still there, Cyrus? Yep. All right, let's, uh, yeah, check his pockets. Let's get eyes on some ID. What's yep. your names, officers? Lormans? My name's Captain George Hughes, and this here is Deputy Cyrus. Deputy and Captain. Fair enough. I feel kind of kind of special that he just came all the way out here just, just for me. We were literally coming up the road, and locals yelling out that someone's broken into the general store. All right, we got a uh, Mr. Was it Billy Hill? Billy Hill, yeah. Yep. So brown eyes, blonde hair. Blonde. Uh, brown, brown yeah. hair, shouldn't it? Oh uh, yeah. See now, just a bit dirty. You can see the back there is a little blonde. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the dirtiest blonde hair I've ever seen. Listen, right. I'm... And you're oh, 58 yeah, centimeters tall. tall. I'm not real smart. Yeah, I'm short. <laughs> Do you know your uh, date of birth? Uh, I'm 25. Holy shit. So, uh, yeah, 1885, 30th of the 7th. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you got it. No, sorry, 18, 1875? 1875, 1875. Yeah, you got it. yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do you want to do, Captain? Look, if you've cited ID, and have you checked his pockets? Yeah, so that lock pick I will be taking. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Muff. Look, it's very nice that you've got ID, but on this instance, I would, you know, let's, let's, you know, this is the first and last warning. You know, robbing stores and, you know, crime doesn't pay. This is a first and last warning. When, you know, next time, if we catch you doing anything like this again, it, it, it's not going to be just a nice little trip on down to your hole in the ground and have a chat kind of situation well, you, you you get me oh thank you Cyrus. um so how how do i join your side then hey how do i join your side if crime don't pay what what well, you should get a job yeah how, how do i become a lawman like you oh you you're welcome to apply through the telegram system all right i'm Man, just gonna untie you don't do anything silly Nah, of course not. Yeah, you, know, you can not. fish, uh, you know, deliver goods on boats, deliver yeah, goods I on do wagons. A lot of mining. Yeah, mining's a good trade. I, I would, I, I would stick to that. Stick to that. Well, we don't get enough from the stores anyway, so it's kind of pointless, isn't it? What? Yeah, but we. 
you shouldn't you shouldn't be checking for that anyway. The, the store owner, they're, they're trying to run a legit business. And you probably yeah, scared them half to death. That's, that's right. I, I just wanted to say I, I would have left them at five bucks. <sighs> Look. You can't be doing that. Look, I get it. You, you've had a... I can tell you, you know, if you grew up here, you've had a bit of a rough time. I understand you, you know... Justin, I so I get it. So that's why we're just giving you a first and last warning today, okay? Well, I appreciate that. But you can see I've done well with the place for what it is. It's got nice candles and. I would maybe clean up the the bench after you've I don't know gutted deer or skinned this and that. You know, just wipe it down a bit, maybe and maybe. Whose skulls are they? Yeah, they just need to know information. There's a couple of them. Family members, a couple of them are, I don't even know, probably some shit my dad ate when I was younger. See, my mom and dad are cannibals. What? What? My mom, dad, cannibals. Oh, they're cannibals? Yeah, so. Are uh -huh. or were? Nah, they're both dead, so. Oh. oh. And... Tense. And you're not about that life, are you? I prefer beans. Beans? Yeah, but when you're hungry, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Anyway, can we head back to town? Huh? Uh, I need a bath. Look at me. Alright, well, have you got anything left for him? I'm, 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 I'm content. Deputy. All right, Captain. Uh, all right, you're free to go, Mr. Billy Hill. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're good. One. You too. I did not know that was Woodman, eh? Yeah, that 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 gave me a bit of a scare as oh. well. Because I was trying to deal with him, and then he come over and pick you up, and I'm like, oh shit, here we go. No, well handled, Cyrus, and that, that that's a clear example of, you know, this goes back to the training myself and a lot of others have have received. Is that you know. You want to be very careful not to go in full force and bringing down the hammer and that too quick, too soon. You know, you got to give, got to give people a chance to own up to their wrongs. Uh, you know, try and make amends, try and hear their side. Like he's showing us where he grew up. Like he's definitely not of a sound mind. He's trying his best, but he sh mm. showed some remorse. So, you know, it's important that we document all this. Maybe I would, I would recommend an incident report next time you're at a desk. Um, yep. Just noting all this and maybe marking the location of where he lives on the map just for future reference. Just so if we ever have something like this again, well, we're going to have to take it up a notch. But it's good. You were very, very fair with him. You spoke to him very clearly. Um, didn't muck about, you know, signing the ID, checking he, the pockets. He did nearly there. get shot in the back, though, like when he was uh, trying to box on. No, that's good. You were giving him... Uh, a fair chance to respond. I understand some people sometimes have trouble hearing. You know, you hmm. want some warnings then. But that was good that you were then ready to take it to the next step. But you weren't just willing, you weren't just going to leap straight there, which is excellent to see. No, no, no. Great, yeah, exactly. great work, Deputy. That's oh, a, thank you. That's very much by the book and how we want to do it. Because, yeah, we want to, we're trying, it's very important we try and maintain a, a good relationship with the general populace. Yeah, exactly. But what a reason, eh? Just wanted to see how it worked. That's, yeah, and at least, at, and and being polite goes a long way. Yeah, it does. Some of these people we get, they're, they're very, they're very, they're quite rude, to be to be quite frank with you. They're quite rude. They show no sign of remorse, no sh sign of seeing our side of it or wanting to, you know, get better. And so, well, I don't want to give you a warning now, do you? I want to, I want to send you straight to Cisco so you can... Learn a valuable lesson, you degenerate. <laughs> exactly. And the amount you just say hello to to try and uh, build a rapport and they're just like, I don't talk to law or and you're like, Oh, okay, whatever. Oh. As soon as you meet the people that are actually willing to have that chat, you know, you make sure you Yeah, generally get to know them. Just uh, but, yeah. then, but then if you do, just just think before you speak. And I'm talking from my own experience. Yeah, no, I get um, that. Um, I'm constantly having to put out fires um, which I've only got myself to blame. Uh, I'm I'm trying my best, you know. Even as captain, he, as a captain, I'm, you know, I'm still learning. He's got oh, a, only we're only human. 
Yeah, you just gotta own up when you own up when you're wrong. Try and make try and make it right. If one day at a time. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll head back up to town. Make sure that everybody's uh, everybody's okay now after all that run around, and then uh, I guess maybe we'll head down down to Blackwood because by the time we get there, fit in a quick foot patrol and we ready for that meeting. Yeah, exactly. It's almost that time. Oh dear. Time gets away. Do with one instance like that, and there goes thirty minutes. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't take much, does it? No. And then, and then when you're you're dealing with a, a gang of four people, or what something? It's oh my god! There goes an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But it's my goodness is when you're dealing with that, and you've got everybody working together, interviewing each person individually, collecting all the notes, makes it go by nice and quick. Billy Hill. <laughs> Definitely started to look a little um, dodgy when we started getting further and further into that forest. Oh, I was, I was, I was keeping an eye out. I was expecting we mm. walking into a trap. Wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, and especially when he's like, "Oh, untie me before we get there." I'm like, "No, <laughs> no." I, I, I was impressed that yeah, you made the exact right call. Like, no, not happening, partner. <laughs> But you should have seen down there. There's skulls on on shelves, a bloody bench with some cleavers in that, like some very rough, you know, butcher work going on. There was like a mattress oh, wow. in the corner. It was it was disgusting. Man, what, his parents were cannibals. Yeah. Jeez, that that that's got to have an effect on a child, wouldn't it? Well, I suppose he's doing all right considering raised by cannibals. Oh, the, is that him there? I think so. God damn it. Gotta make sure we're not here too long. Yeah. Hey, Mishu. What are you up to? Uh, not much. I, uh... Mr. Hughes? Mr. Hughes? Got in a bit of trouble. Oh, no. Well, it turns out you don't get nothing from robbing stores. <laughs> He's just telling people. Oh, he, oh. I may be in trouble again, deputy. Watch my back. Yep. Miss Wheeler, fancy seeing you here again. <laughs> you following me? No, I'm I'm out on patrol I'm here with it. I'm out here on patrol with a uh, deputy Cyrus here. Oh, hey, hi, Cyrus. How are you? Good, you? Yeah, well, I just got back from St. Danny. I've been looking around for any doctors I can find so I can do a ride along, but I keep missing them, I think. Oh, we, we just got back into town. We are dealing with a, a fella trying to steal from the general store. We're, we're just oh. about to head down to Blackwater. You think any of them there? Uh, it's quite possible. Well, we're heading that way in a minute. You're offering an escort? Of course. Anything to get me on the back of your horse. I'll be right back. <laughs> like clockwork. It's so funny. Back to black water. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's get down there, ready for this meeting. The top secret meeting. Yeah, you're not meant to shout about top secret things you from, yell from your puppy or hot. Can't hear you back there on the street. Goodbye. You really ain't good at keeping secrets, are you? Well, the, the, the fact that we have a secret ain't a secret, but the secret is secret. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. So you... Well, that's the thing now. If people are going to be running around trying to figure it out. People are going to go all private investigator on, on you. Maybe we're, maybe we're setting up a trap. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this is all part of the plan. 
Yeah, we had, we had a fella running. We, literally, the moment we run in town, locals are yelling. There's a man in the general store. He's breaking open the breaking open the register. So we people had literally outside the bank pointing. You know, there's, a, there's the fella right there. So then uh, Cyrus and I give chase. Todd Woodman comes out of the out of the weapon store, dressed as out of he's out of uniform. We think he's with him. And then uh, I'm, I have to tackle the man to the ground and stop. How many times I got to teach you this lesson, old man? And he's trying to hog tie me. And Cyrus is like, I got a gun on you. And Todd's like, I got a... You know, I've got a gun too, I guess. And then he showed us where he lives. He lives in a hole in the ground. What a time. Um... He lives in a hole in the ground? Yeah, just outside Valentine. It's, just, uh, it's like an old burnt house, and then the, the cellar's still there. Huh, and he I lives guess down there. people gotta live somewhere. Yeah, he says his parents were cannibals. He, sa he said what? He, he said his parents were cannibals. Oh. Uh, did he look like a cannibal? Well, look, I'm not, I'm not one to judge, but he definitely looked like he could be a cannibal. But... I think you need to judge people sometimes. But he was actually quite polite. You know, he showed a lot of remorse and that. So, but uh, Cyrus here handled the situation very well. So, no, thank you. Luckily, there was no bloodshed in Valentine this evening. Well, ain't that a rare outcome? Yeah, a welcome one. So, so you're, you're you're looking for the doctors going to ride along? I sure am. I just came across through St. Danny through Rhodes. Straight into Valentine. I've been I've been riding everywhere. I I just I feel like I'm missing everybody. You uh, you've sent some telegrams? Uh, I don't have everyone's post ID. Oh. And um. Oh hell. Sometimes you don't know who's on duty anyway. Right. All right. Well, if we uh if uh if we come across any uh. Medical staff. Particularly if you see Mr. Seliger, I'd like to talk to Mr. Seliger. Mr. Who? Mr. William Seliger, doctor with the green jacket. Oh, William! Se that's his last name, is it? Seliger. Yeah, Mr. Seliger. Right. Okay. Yeah, I did not. I did not get that last time I spoke. Okay. Yeah. All right. As well, it turns out that Mr. Seliger and I have a shared history, and uh, he's from a higher life, so we, we've been kind of relating. Oh, is he is he trying to get away from it all as well, or? Yeah, yeah, he, he he you know didn't have the same issues that I did, but he chose to come out here as a doctor. Oh, it's very good. Well, I hope that helps with you know. You know I, I'm always I'm always willing to listen, but that's good because he'll be able to uh, uh, not have to strain his brain so hard to uh, put his. Uh, Feet in the other shoes. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. What? I, but like you said, you, you got you, you relate to each other. You can, you know, any issues like that. You know, if I, if if I'm doing my usual uh, level of listening, then you. Oh, you're saying you're glad that I have other friends to talk to in case you're not cutting it? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I will certainly try my best, but then, you know, then you've got the fallback. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you are always going to be my first choice, I think. Of course, and I will strive to not just brush it off. Now, be careful riding around town. There is some uh, issues with uh, loose cobblestones and uh, people being in people's minds today. Right. Uh, Henry fell over three times at the end. Okay. Well, thank you for the heads up, miss. And, uh, yeah, on our tr travels, we will uh, notify any doctors we see that you are uh, hunting them down. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I will... Uh, Good luck with your operation, and, uh, yeah, be seeing ya. I'll see you later. That storm's back, Cyrus. 
Yeah, that's a that's a loud one. So we'll quickly see if there's anybody in the department man. Maybe not. Yep. And then I need a bath. Yeah, so do I. Hello, Ninja. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And also, wise guy. This this shit feels like a movie for real. Try. We are all trying our best, but that. Thank you very much. We are all trying our best. Appreciate appreciate that. Is that you, no, Sledge? I... No, it's Bowman. Bowman! Sorry! I've just seen Sledge so often and he had what a hat kind of like that. What happened to your face? Oh, I shaved it for the formal dance, sir. Oh, wow. Oh, you are. Uh, you look very proper and smart. I'll be growing it back. I just thought, you know, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be the only lawman at the dance or not, so I wanted to <laughs> represent. Um, oh, what the thinking? It's probably good that I did because then I hope it balanced out the fact that I vomited all over myself. <laughs> I may have had a, a mojito too soon after a snake bite whiskey. Very nice okay. drinks, but they are but much yeah. better inside and not on your shirt. Yes, yes. So I, but the governor, the governor names were there to have a laugh about it. So. Oh, at least you didn't have to get it caught in your beard or anything like that. Th that's right. I was singing ahead. Hmm. Yeah. I was just about to go and send uh, um, Ranger Wolf a telegram. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. No, excellent. I got I got Deputy Cyrus here. We are we'll be here ready for the meeting at seven, sir. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, someone put a sign up saying to hell the martial law. Just go have a read of the sign. To see the, the sign? Uh, just over here, have a read. Oops, sorry. Just in front of the blacksmith on that, on that pole just here. Oh, just over here. I turn around, just here. We need to notice what they've done. To hell with your marshals and your law. Well, we can rip that down. They spelt marshals wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's if they've written it as martails. To hell with your martails and your law. <laughs> what does that mean? Maybe it's code. Does anyone know what a martail is? Just <laughs> 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 bangs fish. Dish, dish, dish. Me eat fish. Fish good. <laughs> Have they put that up on the oh, other posters around town? There's one over here too. Yeah. The nerve of some people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just a blank sign. Also, well, that's concerning that it's just outside the blacksmith. Because we've had some, uh, had some, not some good times recently with the, uh, I don't know if it's the current or the previous owners of the blacksmith. How you doing, partner? Yeah, dude. Oh, never mind, I was about to ask you something then. How you folks go? Good, good. I need a bath. Yeah, same. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. Say hello, or? <laughs> oh, what was it? I oh, said so you, 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 you stay low or something low. Yeah, there's oh. too many people around here. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah, Frank has asked if he can accompany us tonight. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. We're going to be accompanying Frank later. I'm hoping anyway. Oh, that's excellent. Chance, Frank. It's, uh, it should, yeah. If we can find. Yeah. I wonder if I should uh, send him a telegram. See, if I need to uh, have a meeting with him. Yeah, that might work. Oh, I'll send yeah, somebody. Finish, All good. You'll you'll know about it. Yep. Just not, just not here. Can you All good. Oh, I'm gonna go send a couple of telegrams and I'll be back. Okay. I'll go have my bath. Like I'm gonna go send telegrams. I'm gonna go have a bath. Great, you do that. Excellent. Do I have enough for a bath? Yes, I do. Three baths, even. 
Three bats. Three glorious bats. To get that bad tide mod out of your ears. Yep. Hey. Also, before uh, thank you for the thank you for the follow, wise guy. Um, I try to I try to stream this uh, at least a couple of nights a week. I've been wanting to come into Red M. How is this? How is the servers though? Like in detail, if you can. Well, I I've only been doing Red Dead RP. Uh, since August last year, uh, on this, on, just on this server, the Diablo RP server, um, it's an Australian-based one because I I live in Australia, and um, I got into it because a, a a bunch of friends of mine were getting into it. So I joined the same time as them. Uh, I joined for the, the the testing period, and I've been doing it ever since. And there's even we had a, we had a server reset recently, um, and it's been good. The the server has been going really well lately. Uh, where the player cap has been increased, and um, most nights there's been maxim uh, maximum maximum amount of people playing, which has been really great to see. What is um, DS? I don't really know what else I can really say. All I can really, all I can really say confidently is that um, if you're a if you're an Australian player, I would definitely I would definitely recommend trying out the Diablo RP server. Been a good time. Let me get this wagon out of the way. Oh, oh, that's all right. We've got some American players as well. They just got to deal with that slight bit of lag. Um. Well, in the Discord, let me bring it up. So in the Discord, you could go into the application section, and you can apply to join. Um, uh, you can register a posse, the law department, um, and then and then you go and do training in game, and you get that underway. So you've got posses, and I think there's going to be gangs again. There's the law department. Um, yeah. But then there's a whole bunch of rules just to make sure that the hostile RP remains fair. Yeah. Hey, Feezy! You would happen to have a, um, Mr. Alexi's telegram address, would you? I do not, I'm afraid, sir. That's alright, that's alright. I'll ask Hart and hopefully he does. If not, we have to play it by you later. Shame, we, we just, uh, Cyrus and I just saw him up in Valentine when we were leaving. Oh, really? He was with, uh, I believe his, uh, uh, Beyonce, I think. Okay. No worries. But he he works the stable down here, doesn't he? Yes. Um, is Frank still around? Uh, I did see him the, when I the left for my bath. I think with GTA 6 on the horizon and... How the there will be the inevitable interest in RP with with that one when it's available on PC. I think now is definitely the time to try out Red Dead RP if you haven't tried it the other, tried it out yet before. So you get a good yeah, chunk of time doing it before GTA. The um, the stables or the blacksmith. Oh, his wagons and his hotel. His wagons in his hotel. Okay, cool. Where's his hotel? Are you here in town? I'm not sure. Hopefully, right. the marshal's around tonight. I'll find out. Yep. So, yeah, Hughes, if um, you heard that, we're going to be looking for him tonight. Alexi? Yep. What's he. What's he uh, been doing? The Pinkertons have a warrant to, to search his, uh, his belongings. Holy shit. That's. So, I did not. Yeah. I did not see that coming. Yeah, that's why I left. Um, you know that little bit of information stuff till uh tonight. Hmm. 
just so it's uh, less chance of, of anything getting overheard or spreading or anything like that. No, oh, understandable. Oh, and then also regarding the uh, the other operation, um, I <laughs> thought, yeah, I, I figure we just take as much as we can carry on our persons. Yeah, I think so. And uh, I, I think you mentioned that we, uh, yeah, we all um, grab some uh, brown hats and duster coats. Mm -hmm. I think that's. Um, yeah, we can definitely do that. And then, yeah, maybe meeting the rangers somewhere along the path. Yep. So I'm hoping um, to meet the rangers um, uh, on the road between Lake Don Julio and Snakebite. Okay, sounds good. So hopefully they'll be there between seven thirty and eight, and we can quickly ride from there down. Sounds good. I'll be I'll be taking notes and keeping an eye out for for future. Yeah, beautiful. Like if anything changes or if we see anything too, plans could change on the fly, but hopefully it doesn't have to. Oh, it's all right, sir. You know us. We're we're adaptable, adaptable, right? Improvise, adapt, overcome. That's it. Artness says wearing camouflage on his legs. Last word. That's not Artness, is it? No, it's not. Who is that? Who is Artness? Jesus, my eyes is are playing up. Was, is it? My what eyes are playing up with me. My legs disappeared. Like, like still there? Uh, yeah, I can hey, see yep. your pants. Artness' <laughs> pigment in the uh, in the office t changed. Blackwater's doing spooky things. Have you heard the ghost around the night or not? No, I haven't seen any. I've seen a ghost also. Well, there's, there's a ghost that's been following me and another gentleman around all night trying to talk to us. What? Yeah, I just can't seem to, to reach through to him, but oddly he can smell me as well. I don't know. It's, it's very weird. Well, I've heard rumors about a a witch somewhere. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you should go... I don't know if you're into that sort of thing. Try and communicate with them. I'm actually trying to. I'm. I'm actually uh, waiting on the wish to find me. Believe it or not. Well, yeah. If you got spirits, uh, if you got spirits asking mm. about you, it might be inevitable. Hmm. I was actually asked by the witch to uh, get a twenty-five broccoli as an offering. What? Mm. Okay. What? Why do they need bro? What? What? Why? why? Why broccoli? <sighs> the ways of the witch, I guess. Maybe she's getting hungry where where she lives out. I just can't grow broccoli. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe it's good brain food. Maybe. Like extra extra brain. Payout. Apparently, she asks for all types of different things. Huh. Well, I'm mm. I'm curious to know what else they want apart from broccoli. I've heard that they've been asking sometimes for uh um. Like legendary bones of certain animals and sometimes even human bones. God knows what they're using those for, but... Oh, God. I guess that's where a lot of the other grave robbings are coming from. Maybe someone's trying to pay tribute to the witch and whatnot. Just when you think you've heard it all. Hmm. Yeah, man, it never ceases to amaze, does it? God damn. What in the seven hills? How are you going, Cyrus? Yeah, I'm going good. Good. Just uh, it? yeah, yeah. We just had a small interaction, but it was interesting. Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, over uh, where was it? it? Wasn't strawberry? It was um, where was it? Mud Central. A... Thank you. Um, yeah, dealt with a person who uh decided to try and rob the grocery store or the hardware store. Sorry. Okay. Um, didn't work out too well for him, but then um, told us some interesting story about how his parents used to be cannibals, and uh, yeah. Jesus, seems to be the theme tonight, doesn't it? Witches and cannibals and Who is this guy? ghosts. That was, uh, I believe it was Mr. Billy Hill. No, who is this guy here? I, I think he's talking about oh. me. Oh. Oh, Woodman. Yeah, Woodman's asking who I am because he hasn't seen me in a while. How you going, Woodman? You all right Good there, Todd? Todd? Hello? 
Hallo? <laughs> Hallo? 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 I go meow. <laughs> well, since I've got 10 minutes, I'm going to quickly go and put my uh, my duster on my hat and whatnot, and I'll, um, I'll oh, be back. Good thing, sir. I'll do the same. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. Woodman crashed. Game drone. Oh, I got to go get money. I've only got like a dollar. I've only got like a dollar to my name. I hope no one figures out where we're going when they see all the law department in brown coats and hats. <laughs> I wonder where they're going. They go. Oh, they must be going to the swamp. Yes. They most certainly will be going somewhere like that. How much will I need for a hat? And a duster, I wonder. Uh, maybe I'll withdraw. Just to be safe. Gonna paint a wagon, gonna paint it good. Ooh. Watch where you're going. Watch where you're bloody going. They did steampunk. It's a shame that they misspelled Marshalls. They spelt it Martails. Gotta get to the shop. Where's that big mountain man hat? And that'll probably do. Just check if there's a better one. We've got a little bit of time. Yeah, look, yeah, that's what. Now you're in the Grizzlies. Oh, no. I thought the coat would match a bit more. Will do. 
Be like, Woodman's just gone to get some cheese or something. Kinda better. That might have to do. I think they got that. Was there a better brand for the hat? I feel like the, surely there's a better, a better brown hat. Can't get it right. That will do. Yeah, that'll do. I'll never be 100% happy. Yeah, you gotta sprint through if it's the same. Oh, well, sort of some, something similar to what we're in. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> oh, I changed the vest as well. Um, I mean, it's up to you, partner. We're trying to look a bit like we're not from the department, but it's up to yeah. yourself. No, I'll go do it. I might try changing the hat one more time. No worries, partner. That seems a bit better. It's like a red. Oh, I just can't win. Damn my eyes. Damn my eyes to hell.
That will just, that will have to just do it. Okay. Yeah, clothing still. Oh, no, you don't. No, it's just thinking about holster. The other one's gun belt. Right, I'll stand corrected. There we go. Because I don't use this. Running two, two guns is stupid. It's, it's, there's a random man in here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's masked with a long arm on his back. Get him. Is that door closed? Um. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, okay, I can hear people. Uh, what's going on? Can everybody hear me? What's happening? Everyone, everyone good? Everyone can hear me? Hands up if you can hear me. Yep. What the fuck was that? Woman's just gonna fall down, right? Okay, so um, you, most of you gentlemen should know anyway. But what we're doing tonight is we're going to do a evidence run down to Tumbleweed. Uh, the reason we're dressed like this with dusters on is just so we can line our pockets. We're not taking a cart or anything like that. We're just gonna load our pockets up and head down to try and look as inconspicuous. Because uh, previously when we've taken carts, there's um, there's always been someone interested in follows down and. A group waiting in ambush or something like that. Um, so there's not a lot to take, but um, yeah, it, it needs to be done anyway. We need to clear it out. So moving forward from this, it'll be up um, Mr. Hughes when he comes back with his hat. Oh, that's uh, uh, that's me that here, sir. Just here. Sorry, yep, there he is. Why there. you got a fucking fuck ridiculous hat? hat on? It's a it's a it's a ranger hat. No, it's not. It's a fucking stupid hat. That's what it is. I'll blend in more than you. You shine your shoes for Bullshit. a dollar, Governor Mister Boy. I, I turned up here. I didn't even have to get changed. That's how well I blend in. Yeah, you look like a you look like begging in the street. Yeah, a bum. It's my hunting. Clothes. I look like a mysterious stranger on the night desert sky. It's my hunting clothes. God damn it. So, moving forward, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, Hughes will be taking over the logistics uh, and whatnot of the runs after this one. Will we have to wear the stupid thing. hat if Hughes has taken over it? Well, Hughes has taken over it, so if he wants you to wear a stupid hat, then you wear a stupid you, hat. We're not have to wear the same hat. <laughs> but afterwards as well, uh, for those who are still available, I'd like you to stick around to um, help us with another operation that we have to help with um, an investigation <laughs> of a certain somebody. Um, that'll be talked about a bit more as we go down there on the way back. But, yeah, numbers would help if we, if we can, because it, it could get... Oh, is the investigation about Hughes and his stupid hat? Yes. Get Thank you. It's about your drugs that you hid under my big hat. Wow. Oh, That's why it's so big. You can fit a lot in there. What does Dinger have under his hat, then? <laughs> Another hat. Probably a, probably a <laughs> oh, I'm just going to look at the evidence lock and we'll divvy out who's taking what. Um, excuse me, sir. I do have some stuff in my personal. Um, that Sorry, I, I just got to sort out my stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, do you want to grab that out? Uh, yeah, grab what, grab whatever yours out. Yep. Oh, hey. Hey. How are you? Howdy. What do you think of using a stupid hat? That's a big hat. It's a nice hat. You're the West Side Dinger now, Hughes. What color is this hat? Uh, uh, red. Like a light brown? All right. Like an olive green. Beautiful. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna change. Oh, okay. Second. Uh, I've got two cannabis bud plus 16 wapiti bud nice. actually and a few guns. Why can't I access my own goddamn pocket? Do I get okay. changed to something similar, brother? Oh, yeah, too easy. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna find a brown hat. Yeah, I got a little bit on me, but I can I'm take gonna, it I'm gonna find a brown hat. Yeah, that's all right. I want to spread it out just in case we do get separated or not. Oh, shit. All right, if there's anyone that's good with colors in chat, can you tell me? When I find a shade that's like a brown like the coat for the hat. So I just I can't I struggle in the, the light.
Right, so... Like that? Surely that. Surely that's brown. Come on, man. Oh, sorry, so I only just saw. Well, that's better than the last one. That's a better brown than the last one. Ah, it should just still be in the, the Discord. Just the whitelisting in the, the intro channels in the Discord. At least this this looks more like the coat. Is it really? Yeah. I don't know what happened to him, but there's no doctors. Well, I hope that someone with Sheriff Close might be able to attend to him, I guess. Billy, what are you yeah. doing here? Hi, mister. What are you doing down just, in Blackwater? I just came to run a few errands and there's someone dead in the main street. God damn it. I'll go have a quick look. I'm pretty sure he's still there. You might have seen the light, but... Yeah, oh. he dead as fuck. What's happened here? He was like this when I got here. All right. Take him over in front of the doctor's office. Call for a doctor. Do you know how to do that? He's a slash call doctor. Yeah, follow that procedure. Wait a few minutes to see if they uh, respond and see, uh, let you know they're on their way. If if after like five, ten minutes they haven't responded, he'll have to... I don't to, think they can respond at the moment. He'll have, to, he'll have to pay up at the local doctor here. Uh, okay, but there's no doctor in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so that's, that's why I ran to the sheriff's. Well, in that case, he might just have to take a little nap, so to speak. Uh, okay. Sorry. Well, I'll get him off the road anyway. How many weapons are in the, the locker? Alright, you can't actually put weapons in the locker and the ammo and stuff, so... That's why I've kept him on personal. So I've yeah. grabbed the lockpicks. I've got 15 on me. There's three left because I already had yep. two. <laughs> yep. Um, and I'm taking the armadillo bud. Okay. Oh, and hold on. Let me just double check. Yeah. So what we'll probably do at the end of this is when we get down there, everything will go to Hughes and Hughes will recycle it. That way he gets um, the lump sum of all the money so we can divvy it out between everyone and put it back into the ledger. Right. Is that fine with you, Hughes? Yep. That, that sounds like things yep, I used sorted. to do. There's still some um, white powder substance in a bag. There's a few of those. Yep. Um, Hughes, I believe you should be able to grab the rest. There's only sort of a little couple of small items now. Okay. And I've weapons. grabbed a, like, sledge. Um, any, like, weapons I've confiscated, I had to put in my yep. own personal lock. I've got them yeah. as well. Yep. Three. Three. Okay, bag. Make sure we leave the handcuffs here, though. That's the main thing. I was talking to uh, Arthur. Um, he's pretty much selling off his mm -hmm. uh, blacksmith. He's selling, is he? Yeah, that's what he's telling me. He's um, sold all his stuff to the... Is it maybe the Calico Hall one or the one just near it. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know what if he's... What made him want to sell up? I don't know. He might be trying a different venture in life. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do I need to get anything out of it? Alright, let's have a look. 
I think we should be good, Harkness, unless you've got anything in the locker here that you've confiscated weapons or anything like that. Yeah, if anybody's got anything in their personal oh. lockers that they've confiscated from people like weapons, you definitely grab that if you got the room. And if you don't have the room, I've got the uh, room as well. So do I. Bill, everyone got their, their dusters lined the broom? Or as much as they can? Yeah, I've got plenty of room. Where'd Woodman go? If we need some more, I can take a few. I think we should be fine. Woodman went to his bank. He hasn't been back. He did come back. I did see him. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Fuck, I hope he hasn't gone to the bank now when he's taking shit out of the evidence locker. Be a bad <laughs> time for him to go by himself. Everyone got their, their mounts and everything like that as well? Yeah, my horse should be fine. Beautiful. It's a nice looking apple. Oh, it's, it's got a bit of extra flavor being in my pocket all day. Ah, oh, a bit of the, uh, the huge juice. <laughs> 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 the huge juice. Oh, that's all I can think about when he eats that now. <laughs> the huge juice. I'll see as Hughes gets back. We'll uh, we'll mount up. Oh, I'm here, sir. Right there. Oh, we're waiting Fuck, for wood, sorry, wood, not wood, Hughes, wood, Woodman. Something Woodman. 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 Wood, wood, yeah. Boy. Yeah, Mr. him. Mr. Todd. And where do I look for him? Wolf. I always forget his name. Hey. Woodman, it's just a, it's a tongue twister. Say it 20 times. How could you forget Woodman? I don't know. <laughs> and because, well, like me and Harkness will be on duty and we're like, oh, Woodman's on duty. We'll check the, the pin board. Mm. And then like, we're like, where's Woodman? <laughs> like, we went looking for him once all through uh, our jurisdiction. We saw some East Sheriff and we're like, do you mind if we come and have a look for Woodman? And they're like, oh, we saw him in Roads, masked up with a gun out. And I'm like, all right, he sometimes does that when he's worried about being alone. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, where is he? We still can find him. Who's up behind you, Sledge? Is that Clink? Yes, it is, sir. Yes. Nice to see you again, partner. Yeah, nice to see you too. How you been doing? How you been finding the department? Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Yeah. Anything's popped up that you sort of need clarification or anything like that? No, not really. No. Beautiful. Wilhelm Clink. What I find interesting is someone's last name is Bowman. And their uh, first name is C. Yeah, it's Cyrus. Yeah, that's me. That. Yeah, Cyrus. Yeah, Cyrus. Yep. It's so confusing sometimes. Yeah, when you check the duty boards, there's a, there's a zero. Like, oh, a C, sure. C Bowman and C Bowman. Yeah, but then I see the pay and I'm like, oh, no, I'm a different person. <laughs> no relation? No, I, the amount to, of times I, yeah. ask, I get asked that. We try to figure it out, but it doesn't, no I think lines lead back to you. The day you got hired, I was here with uh, that's Harkness, right. And I was yep. like, are you related to like the sheriff? And he was like, no, I don't think so. Mate, who, who said you better ask the, the milkman? I think that was uh, oh, I remember Captain someone George here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that sounds like a woodman line. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe a woodman asked the milkman. Yeah. Now, where is that odd little creature? I mean, I do love milk, but... <laughs> you could be his son. Yeah, I could be his son. <laughs> You're the other way around. <laughs> you look a bit older than him. Uh, Wolf, did you see woodman run out the front there anyway? Yeah, there's something dark there. He's, he's out the front there, is he? Yeah, there's something oh, dark. Beautiful. Well, I believe we should have everything. We should be ready to go. Um, anything yeah, let's you want to... You thought about before we head down, or are you happy to go? No, sir. Following your lead on this one. Beautiful. All right. Let's go mount up at the front.
the fuck? You ready to go, woman? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you ready? You ready to go? See you later, officer. See you later. Nah, that's all I need. See you later, officer. Is that a threat? Nah. Why you last telling me, bro? That, that's a bit, that's a bit rude. That just said, see you later. Okay, bye. You better let go of me. Yeah, that's what I'm about. What? Don't, don't be acting hard now, your friends to hear you. You were scared just a minute ago. Right now, woman. You do it later. I could get two behind the group just to make sure they're backing up any you know, distance coming up behind Start us. Following us. To make them follow us. Yeah, that's Billy Hill. Sir, do not follow us or you will be shot. They're coming our way, so go a different way. Show. Is anyone riding on. up on us? Just make sure he's called out. I've got that guy to move on. We don't want any, we don't want any, yeah, like that guy. We just don't want any surprises. Yeah. Some of fucking riding shit voices as well. Yeah. Make sure everyone's got riding voices. I just threatened the murder him. got it moving. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so I, you follow us, you'll be shot. <laughs> I will murder you, sir. Finally. <laughs> I wanted to drag him from town. Two columns when it gets tight. Follow the roads down. Yeah, I'll follow you. Don't want to risk a horse spraying on the ankle or something like that when we get out of this. There's a few cliffs on the way down, so. Yeah. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, so I went and saw Walt Go today. Okay. He had, supposedly had scopes to sell. Yep. And uh, he already sold them all. I'm like, well, why didn't you hold some off for the law? Because now uh, there's a bunch of people running around there with scopes on their weapons, so we don't have any. That is that is fair. That's a good point. So are uh, you ever to have a chat with him and order some of Drew sometime or something? I, I, I can 100% do that. Just the uh, short scopes, but you know, I'd rather yep. not be outgunned by that way. Mm -hmm. Something. Get back in formation. Uh, is that the same idiot up on the hill? I oh, know. I didn't see a face. I didn't use my binos. Thank God I wanted to run down these freaking train tracks. Yeah, they're a bit of an eyesore, aren't they? Yep.
Yeah, what we get there was set up for a defensive yeah. perimeter. Yeah, I copy. Wish it wasn't so dark. Mm. It's probably good. It's probably covering our approach, so yeah, I'll take it. I think we might go left around Armadillo. I don't really want to ride through the middle of town. Sounds good, good sir. Idea, Sheriff. Good idea. Two columns behind the sheriff, boys. I said two columns Drop behind the sheriff. Fall in line. Shut my, Shut my suck my balls, Woodman. Or I will <laughs> write you up to the sheriff. I will write you up to the sheriff right here up before we even get there if you don't shut your fucking mouth. Ride ride shut your fucking time. mouth, Woodman! I said shut your fucking mouth, that's a write-up! We're in the middle of an operation with the sheriff. You shut your goddamn mouth. Show some respect. Go left here, partners. Horse up ahead. Yeah, two on, two on front. There's two on the horse. This is one solid rod. Yeah, big rod. It was even bigger when we used to do it from Valentine. Oh, Jesus. Just think yourself you're not from St. Denis. Oh, yeah. Well, I heard that got rubbed the last time they tried to do it. Exactly. Take us one of the talks, though. Hmm? I'll take us one of the pasties talks, though. None of them talked, none of them wrote it down. You know, that they got spotted on the way down. Well, right, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. They're not that bright, though. 
mind you, going all the way from Saint Denis with a big ass cart with five sheriffs on it. You know, people could not wear it. They're not dressing. Yeah, people could easily get in front of you and set up. You know, on top of set a perimeter, but they went, no, we'll be fine. Set the perimeter. This time, oh, I'm assuming. Passing the file through you. Sometimes there's people here. Someone on the slide roof. Oh, someone on the slide roof to be sheriff. Oh yeah, God. God. One on the guns. To go up there, someone. Yeah. Where do you want me, sheriff? Uh, I want two, I want roofs covered, so at least two people on roofs, and um, then, yep. um, but let's get, let's get, um, stock off to Hughes first, too. Uh, we got some people up on the hill. On the hill? Yeah, we're getting watched. By the, <laughs> by the fucking rangers. <laughs> I think it's the <laughs> rangers. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be my boys up there. Yeah, it is. I just looked close here. I was like, oh, that's rangers. All right. Uh, those who stock on them, uh, on Hughes, with Hughes to the, the recycling plant, the rest I want to form a perimeter. I want at least one person up on a roof. And I'm going to be doing a, um, a circumference, just a, a, a patrol around. How are you going, partner? I've just got one of the, um... Mark is with us. Uh, he is... Somewhere. Oh, yeah. for, okay, I need... Okay. Hey. Get people on the roof. Can we give it to you now, sir? Yeah, yeah, one person now. Just I'm not sure how much oh, room I got. No, I'll go look out. 34. Me. Mr. Hughes, you yell out when it's all done. Will do, sir. Uh, do you have lockpicks on you at all? I, you can I have, have three in your pockets. Oh, I'll give you twelve. Um, I'll just give you these other two, wouldn't we? Oh, Which favorite man. number? Uh, and then when oh, you don't join you the your stuff over, you can give them to him. Uh, I gotta be very careful. I don't accidentally recycle. Um. Uh, I'm not actually sure. You would think so. No, it doesn't. No, no. Yeah, what you're saying makes sense, so. Is that one of us over there? R12? Oh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, there ain't no one getting in this town. Gentlemen, there's no fucking way. Okay, can't recycle Evan's repeater. Yeah, just gotta uh, take my oh, bolt action, pump action, put it on my horse before I accidentally melt it down. Right. God damn it, horse. God damn it. My 12? Coming yeah. up to the fence? Uh, at the fence, is he? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's so hard to tell. Yo. <laughs> That's just the carbine repeat you got there, isn't it? Yeah. You may be able to hold on to my uh, shotgun and rifle while I do this. Yeah, take your personal weapons off your kids. I've had that machine yep. up a Schofield right out of my holster. Yeah, I'm very nervous of that, sir. No, it ain't my Navy revolver. Shit. Oh, now we know. I don't think it's taking the pump action shotgun or the um the flintlock pistol or whatever you call it. Sounds about right. Okay, so it won't take the Evans repeater or the Harabine repeater. You're good there? Ah, oh, okay. Sand Angels. Alright. Uh, anyone uh. got... Hold on to my guns for now. Mm -hmm. uh, Cyrus, anyone got any more things we need to uh, dismantle? Yeah. yeah, I got a heap of stuff. 
Yeah, so. Uh, 34 is my d number of the day. Okay, do you want me to go next? Yeah, pass them over. Oh, yeah, I'll wait then. Everything looking good over here? Yeah, it's just yeah. it's just the the recycling plant won't currently take Evans repeaters or carabine repeaters, and it ate my navy revolver even though I did not put it in. Yeah, we had that problem last night. It ate one of our uh, our revolvers. It's all right. I'll let the government know. It's just annoying. Let us know if you got more space after he's done, uh, Captain Hughes. Yeah, I got a little bit. Or do you just want me to go now? I think Bowman wants me to do all the recycling. Yep. Oh, no, sorry. I mean, like, give it to you now or wait. Uh, yeah, how much you got? Uh, only okay, a little bit. Uh, th that's all mine, Mr. Hughes. Uh, yeah, try now. I got a, I got room for about, I don't know, 20 more things. What were you, 34? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Hopefully you don't eat my, my shoes. <laughs> 71. Is Harkness nearby? <laughs> Is that Harkness on the roof? Just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed in a way that uh, Mr. Wolf got the guy at Emerald Ranch. I've been putting so much work into him. <laughs> Sorry, Woodman. Sheriff, you got room for some bonds? Yeah, yeah, partner. Yep. How much room you got? I'll oh, show sure. Fair bit. I feel like I've got uh, like three quarters of my pockets left. You get all hundred of those? I did. All right. Anyone uh, else have anything? Yeah, I got. I accidentally missed something on pocket. That's all right. Good timing. Yeah, that's it. Just double checked. Anybody Just else got anything that? 
I think that's it though. Yeah, is that all the sheriff stuff? Alright, if that's nothing else, that's the the West Department's side of things done. Join your rifle? Oh, yeah, yeah, that shotgun mm -hmm. and rifle, yeah, and then it, it ain't my Navy revolver, but I'll I'll let the government know. Alright, here's, I've got a few Pinkerton things, so I need you to recycle. Oh! Oh. You... I did just give you your uh, firearms back, so... You can't access it, Frank? I don't believe so, last time I checked. Oh, shit. That's right, I can do it for you if need be. Oh yeah, I have the keys now. Oh, you do? Oh, it's yep. just, yeah, I got a lot of gun parts from all the weapons, so it could get awfully confusing real quick. Uh, sir, I just had to note, I'm gonna have to, it, act, it uh, ate my Navy revolver, even yep. though I never issued in a Navy revolver. Okay. Um, and it is currently not accepting Evans repeaters or Carabana repeaters. I actually don't have the keys used. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, because I got a number of gun parts. Yeah, I don't have guns on the recycles, just, um... Oh, you don't have guns, just Mark Bills? Yeah. Uh, just an illegal item, I'm sorry? Coming. Yeah. Alright, let so me just write that, down... That was, that was your Navy, wasn't it? It was my Navy, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, uh... Aiming to recycle a Cattleman revolver and a Lamat revolver, and then yep. I've looked now. My Navy revolver is gone. And they were, and then what would it take? It's currently not taking uh, Evans repeaters or Carabana repeaters. Oh, Everything else is taken back. so far. Uh, yep, but yeah, yep. I'll get that stuff. In front. I've just noted how many bonds I got now. Uh, Frank. Oh, sorry. I just noted that I've got 30 marked bonds on me, so yeah, oh, I can right. take yours now. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get my rifle and shotgun back. Oh, wait, you said no weapon. Sorry, sorry. Holy shit. Hey, Jack! Might have to give you some of these bonds before I do okay, a Pinkerton's all load. Alright, that's all. Yeah, 184. Alright, got 100 on the sheriff, 30 on you. Alright, I'm handling good, Frank's load now. What a process. What a process. Just try not to muck it up. How many have I got? How many have I got on me now? 88 already. Shit. Hey Frank! Yeah. You've had a good lot. I better get these bonds to you before I accidentally do too many. Uh two, three, three. More to come. Oh, now, Frank, this... Ah! Uh, I've got... Uh, I've got... You do, do you have any other... There's no other Pinkertons with you, is there? No, it's just me. Boardman, give me back my hat. 
Woodman, that's an order. Tell me how to. Ow. Ow. Damn, it's Ow. not coming off. Oh, uh, it's off. Oh, there it is. Okay, Frank, when we get to the... Frank, I got another 99 to give you when we get at Blackwater. Alright. Just another note, sir. It doesn't accept... Not that I was gonna throw in my bolt-action rifle. I was just checking for you. It does not currently accept bolt-action rifles. No Austin Rangers, dude. Yeah. I heard that one. We're done here. I believe so. We're done. I'm gonna get all my gentlemen get back. To go. Yeah, we'll round everyone back. Let's round everyone back up here, and then we'll get you Rangers off ahead of us. Yeah, no worries. Plan. The plan is, gentlemen, that the uh, Tudor we've we intercepted a cart. Coming in with two people uh, over the bridge on the main entrance in. <clears throat> Just for safety precautions, we're not going to go take that bridge on the main way out. We're going to, the ranger's going to go scout ahead for us around the coast. We're going to follow the coast up. Wait, I don't know. Sorry, what's going on? Ranger's going to duck off ahead and we're going to follow him up. Okay. Where's my horse go? That dust is getting pretty bad. What are you gonna doing? Good to, gonna make a good decision hey. on the way out. I don't know where my horse went. Who's, who's nervous about the return and trip home? Ah, <laughs> getting here is easy. Should have it's getting back. Anyway, it's fucking Blackwater. I'm worried about it. Yeah. We was the easy bit. Fuck <laughs> uh, yeah, gentlemen. All right. Sure. On you, partner. You want us to uh, leave yeah. y'all up? Is Sorry. everyone back here now? Um, uh, we got Clink. Is Clink here? Clink! I see Sledge. I see Cyrus. Uh, yeah, we got Clink now. Yep. Uh, Frank, you're here, yep. Yep. I believe we have everybody. Uh, Range, you got everyone in your, in your, uh, yeah, jurisdiction? Yeah, we got everyone. So two shots, um, up in the air, um, to stop, and three, uh, I guess if we're outnumbered, if we, if we see an ambush. Yep. Is that all good? Sounds good to me. Alright, and they're gonna be consecutive shots. Mm-hmm. All right, fantastic. All right, Rangers. Nervous cues. All right, West. We're going to wait for these guys to head off a bit. Same formation, column of two. Grab it. Good, but then it's a long, that's a long line. <laughs> it's a long line. It's just trying, because two, it's like most roads are made to fit two two columns, you know, incoming on, ongoing traffic. And it just yeah. reduces the size just so we can relay words down the line. But wish we had, wish we had telephones on the horses. Uh, I don't like how there's the sandstorm right now. Well, hopefully it's in our favor. on the ground there. Oh, my horse is back. Do you want me to jump back on mine? Yeah, just in case people need to peel off. I don't know where he came from. Oh, he might have been at the saloon.
scouting kind of group. Yeah. Whoa, oh, sorry. Who the fuck is that? Don't know. Are those rangers? I right know, ready to shoot. Go straight, go straight. The, it is the Rangers. Thank God. Okay, you got any other idea where our other Ranger went? Oh, good. Marcus is going to be pissed. It's hard to keep the fucking speed right.
It's all right. Yeah, fun. Gonna get a single fall through here to avoid collision. Yeah. Uh, can rock.
Oh, oh, your hair grew back. Yeah, finally. All right, can I get Sub one of you to go on top of the uh, the sheriff department just there where the gallows are? Just stand up there for me. Yep. <laughs> um, shoes, I'll come with you. I've got some stuff with me. I've got some stuff as well. Um, cool. We'll get two posted up just here at the door and then maybe one inside, not in the courtroom or something. I'll uh, go inside. Alright, that's my first lot sold. I got your second lot coming up, Frank. Oh shit, hold on. Let me get it to you now, Frank. 233. There you go, Frank. Then, yeah, Sheriff, you should have 100 and Jack should have. 30. Yeah, 30, that's right. Yep, Hughes, do you want me to give mine to yours after you sell them, or do you want me to sell them all? Oh, well, you I'd, I'd have to give the money back to you anyway. Okay. But yeah, I've, I've just uh, handled uh, Frank's second load, so the Pinkerton side yep. is done. Cool. Have you got any on you, or has it just been Hartness? Just you two, yeah, you two have got ours now. Got uh, what was your number? Also gave you some express ammo. I don't run a repeater. <laughs> I had it on me. I was like, oh, it's a waste of space in my pocket. Uh, there you go. There's a 30 in there for you. I hope it made some money. About 30 bonds? Yeah. How much are they per bond? Jesus. It's not too bad. Like you got the ledger. Really good. They're automatically go on the ledger now. No, I've got to put it in. Fuck it, man. Oh, yeah, Bowman, I've got payment for you. For let me come with. Ah, oh, don't worry about it, partner. It's fine. You sure? Yeah, 100%. It's fine, partner. Oh, cheers, partner. No, sorry. Keep your ledger going. Um, for my deputies, though, I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably swing 100 to the, uh, to the Rangers. I'm going to get, I'm going to swing them 100 too for their time. Uh, I, don't yeah, how, I, don't know, I don't know how much you got, but. And then I'm going to pay my deputies a little bit of a bonus too. Um, oh, Hughes. Well, yep. I'll give you a bit for... Oh. Are you able to um, grab the uh, the West Lord Department and take him back to the department? Sure. We'll go have a bit of a debrief and whatnot. I'll hand out some, uh, some bonuses. West Lawman on me. Big stupid hat. Hey, Wolf. <laughs> I also have a big you stupid hat. You said someone about stupid hat. No, but yeah, follow, follow West Department. Follow my stupid big, stupid big hat. Just stay in its shadow, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Can we all have the big stupid hat now? If you want, there'll be a, there'll be a next time. Can I try shooting yours off with an arrow? No. Okay. What about, what about a gun? <laughs> Definitely no. <laughs> Come on down, Cyrus. We're going inside. Back door open. Sheriff's not too long. Where is the sheriff? I guess he's handling the payment to the Rangers.
You got a spare match there, Rasa? Yep. Uh, favorite number is 177. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put it for you. Oh, I can't do it now. Damn if, you, if it's because you're smoking, don't waste it. I'll uh, ask around. Have you got a match, woman? Guess not. Do you have a spare match? You're welcome. I had the root cup for you guys. Thank you. Do you have a spare match? I do not. Damn it. Do you have a spare match, Harkin? C number. 177. Okay. I think this calls this calls for a stogie. Is that sheriff? Hopefully he's back soon. Hopefully he didn't get kidnapped. What a sight to see, so many of us. Love it, love it. Uh, the Rangers are going to be coming in. We're going to have a bit of a debrief and talk about the next operation we're going to head up tonight if those who are available. Definitely. Um, I'll also, I've noted down in my, um, in my notepad here a couple of things. Um, like that uh, you found out on the operation and whatnot, but the rest of you, I've got your names written down to give you a bit of a bonus for heating up and listening and just doing a fine, damn fine job. That was that was great. Um, Hughes, it was good um, good of you as we started heading off, partner, pulling everybody into a formation. I think that worked out really well. And as the Rangers said, when they were looking behind them and seeing oh, <laughs> the Sheriff's Department riding up behind them, all form in formation. They said it was a hell of a sight and very intimidating. So that was good to hear. Well, as a as I, you know, I worked very hard in the past to earn the nickname uh, Horse Destroyer Hughes, or the Glue Factory. I'm not a, I'm not a proud of that nickname, but uh, so I'm just conscious of other people on the street and also just you know making sure we're efficient as a unit. So that the general the general idea behind it is you know at the at the head of the spear you've got the obviously the sheriff or in other cases it might be a marshal or a governor or whatever so because they know where we're going they you'll mm -hmm. be able to visually see we're going left we're going right with anyone colliding then ideally next you want the captains uh, and then senior deputies deputies so on and so forth so that if yep. the sheriff sees something or there's a change of plan on the ride he can pass it on to the captains, and if they need to, they can then pass it on to the senior deputies and down the chain of command so that people can peel off and whatnot. It's yep. also, your average road is made for incoming and ongoing traffic, you know, two columns. So if we go in two columns, it's generally fine as long as one side's ready to, you know, move to the side of incoming traffic uh, just for safety. And then um, keeping an air for like the sheriff, he might call out, you know, get us all in a line or single file. So just, it also makes us more presentable to the public. You know that you know we want to demonstrate that we are the well-oiled machine we are so mm -hmm. just keep that in mind y'all yeah i think it's good to know that if you're going in um you know if, it's, if even if it's four of you good to have sort of one in front two in the middle one behind it's always good to have a chase up anyway and i've noticed hartness there too didn't need to ask you partner but you were sort of um back and forth just making sure everyone's you know doing everything right and you're looking out on the size and whatnot so and i noticed from the uh the rangers side too um i don't know whose idea it was but that was good to see um a ranger drop back to you know, major intersections and whatnot to give us a bit of a direction where we're going if we lost sight in the fog and stuff so it's all types of things that it was really good to see um i think the communication everything was really good on this operation um as wolf said before it was flawless um 
moving forward, yeah, probably I'd like to maybe um, stuff around a bit more formations and see if we can get a couple of little uh, call-outs and whatnot that we all know what it's going to mean. We know that that person's got to go and do their job and know that we're all going to meet back up at the same time. Um, apart from that, everyone, that, that was that was bloody flawless. Bloody flawless. And you all deserve your bonus when I give them out to you a bit later tonight. <laughs> Thank anything you. else got anyone to say on that uh that operation wolf you got anything to add in from the ranger side um no uh everybody you know performed exactly how um you know they should everyone should um you know go to bed tonight um you know, pat themselves on the back you know maybe if you need to pat anywhere else you can do that as well um but uh only thing i i have is um if a superior above yourself uh, no matter if it's rangers, deputies, Pinkertons, whatever, if they're telling you to fall in line, you do it straight away. And uh, no horse playing around on these operations, gentlemen. It's a serious business. But other than that, I'll, um, no good. Well said. Now, uh, Frank, did you want to um, fill everyone in on what's happening now, or would you like me to, to fill everyone in? Yeah, I can fill them in on who we're looking for. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, if you all want to gather around so I don't have to yell. Gather in, pack in close. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Frank, one thing. Um, yep. They can hear us very easily from next door, so definitely whisper. I'm talking normally, it should be all right, hopefully. All right, the, the person we're looking for is Alexei Volkov. He's a Russian that frequents here in Blackwater. He wears red. He's bald with a black beard. Most recent intel says he's working for Iron Horse Train Company. So he's most likely running a train at the moment. So while you're out looking for him, make sure to check the train stations. He usually runs with two to three other people with him. So expect horse if they don't want Alexi to go. Alright, that's pretty much it. One. Yep. Oh, a bunch of things. We're just here to find him and bring him back yep. to the uh, the office here, and then um, Frank's going to take over from there. We're just on a uh, working for the Pinkertons on this one, so we're where they're the force to bring him in. Um, Frank's needs to know on, on what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, where else? Uh, Saint Denis. I uh, haven't really seen you up there that much, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. He's near the saloon. Mm. Yep. At the bank. All right. Once he's fine, you bring him back here to Blackwater, and I'll take it from there. Ideally, we want to bring him back without any force, but if need be, well, we do need to subdue him. We do have a warrant out to search for him, or a warrant out for him. Um, ideally, if you can try and at least maybe uh talk him into coming back in a certain way that maybe, you know, even myself, if you were to use myself for an example, just wanted to have a chat with him about something uh, going on in Blackwater with to do with martial law or something, as long as we can get him back here and then you know, we'll have numbers here to uh, see as we need be. But if if you can't convince him to come back, then yeah, we, we do have a warrant for him. So you are well within your rights to detain him and bring him back to Blackwater to go from there with the Pictons. Um, from the horse stables. What, he does sorry? not. There's train driver now. Yep. Okay. Um, now I'm thinking, uh, Wolf, if that's fine with you, I was going to send you and the Rangers. You guys sort of work together, so I think it'd be a good team for you guys to be with each other anyway. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, I'm thinking um, I might send you off um, up to sort of uh, Valentine Emerald Ranchway. Yep. Um, on my side, we're going to split into two. I want to keep a team sort of around here, looking around here in Strawberry and whatnot. Um, and then another team just sort of on the road, just if we can, between towns, um, even if we need to duck into St. Denis, a lot of that team will just go over that way and have a quick look. I'll go to St. Denis. I'll put it under the if I see him. Yeah, on that quickly, would it not be worth the idea that once we do find him, that we maybe keep a distance and then put an alert out for other people to get moving that way? We could set up a, a perimeter in case you see... Uh, he makes a run for it. 100% we can do that. 
Oh yeah, um, he's generally also around the other Russian uh, Yuri as well, or it's around it's uh, Miss Honey who has the that um, albino pink horse as well. Okay. So, just other things to keep a lookout for. I do like the idea if you can get a carrier pigeon off or something like that to us when you have spotted him. Um, if you, especially if he has more numbers than you or equal to us, we'll try and get some backup there for you. Um, but yeah, if you sight him. Uh, let us know by some sort of notification. You can get a letter out or a rider out to come and let us know. And we'll, uh, we'll meet you up there and we can bring you back here for processing. Cyrus and I did see him with his fiance up in Valentine early this evening. Yeah, correct. Well, Frank, do you want to head off with the Rangers? Yeah, I can do it. Um, if you want to go up to Valentine first, since it's last known sighting anyway. Um, I mean, it has been a bit. He might not still be there, but at least it's a good starting point. We can ask around, see if anyone knows where he was headed. Um, well, gold, he seems to know a lot. Beautiful. He also talks a lot of shit. This is also true. <laughs> um, Hartness, do you want to um, do you want to stay in Blackwood or do you want to head off at the Saint Denis way? Ah, uh, doesn't bother me. Hartness, I'm going to get you to take uh, Clink and Cyrus. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that'll be... Actually, no, take take Clink and um, Sledge. All good. Take yeah, Clink and Sledge. Myself and Hartness do uh, Joe well together. Yeah, yeah, you and... You take Clink and Sledge. Miles, I'll wait anyway. outside. Um, and then the rest of them can stay here. We'll what else to change or to stay like this? Um, back in the proper uniforms, we yep. are representing the Western yep. jurisdiction of the law. We want to know that we are from the Western jurisdiction of the law. Um, so full uniforms up, and then we'll um, meet up with who you're going off with, and we'll, we'll go out All there. Good. And happy hunting. Yep. Let's go get James. Uh, wait a minute. Yep. One thing. Mm hmm. People didn't check the roots and say, who are those people in Chicago? Those people in Chicago. Where was this song? Just here in, uh, in Blackwater? Yep. Right. I was uh, just keeping keep an overwatch, but nothing serious, but people on the bank. Okay, 100%. Hello. That's good to know. So I might have missed it. Where did you need me? Uh, you're probably going to stay with me, partner. Okay. We'll search around Blackwater and we'll, um, I want to make sure that sort of we have a backup team ready to go out if, if called upon. No worries, sir. And uh, all the spare uh, gun parts I got from the breaking the weapons down. Where do you want me to put them? Hey, fellas, what are you guys talking to me earlier? Um, let's put them. Are you able to get them into this locker here what at all? I'll try. To me earlier? I was in my head. Ah, fair, fair. Let's... Oh, sorry, partner. Is woman still around? Hey, artist, if you see woman, take him with you. Yeah, if you, you might as well take him with him. You might as well go four up, especially in Saint Denis. I'll try and phone ahead and let um let him know that you're on your way. Yep. I'll go get changed, sir. Good. How'd you go with? Did you get him in the armory? I did, yeah. All the uh, the gun parts from How when they're broken they? down are in the uh, are in that uh, locker. Are there a few of them? Yeah, a lot of yeah barrels and this and that. Okay, we'll see if we can sell off the gun space or something like that. I'll be right back, sir. Just Beautiful. down to the down the road. Yeah, I'm gonna come down and get changed as well.
these people not know how to lock doors when they leave? Goodness gracious. The you, you'd think most people know. Last one out gets the doll. That's good. That was 2.7 thousand into the ledger. That, that's not bad, is it, sir? That's not, that's not too bad. Uh, considering we were sort of getting down on funds, we're back up to about the halfway point where the government provided us. So we're doing pretty good. Oh, good to hear, sir. Mm, means we don't have to go out and uh, sell our jokes and dances and whatnot. I really, <laughs> didn't, want, I really didn't want to get down to that, that, that level. Oh, sir, I did the best I could last night, but... Uh... Let's. I, I drank a mojito far too quickly after a snake bar whiskey. So, but the, mar the best of us. Marshall Ames and the governor were there to pick me back. <laughs> but yeah. I, I really embarrassed myself in front of Miss Wheel, and um, she's a very patient lady. Let's just put it like that. Look, I think um, I think she's a she's a very nice lady. I think I met her once, and I think um, it's going to take a little bit more than a bit of vomit to uh, put her off. <laughs> well, we'll we'll see. Yeah, it's a you know just uh, just go on with the flow, sir. It's a good one. Um, if you can't find him, head off, and um, we'll keep him here anyway. Cause I think yeah, I don't know where he is. He might be. Right, up. we'll go have a look through town anyway. See, we haven't. I don't think anyone's checked it yet. Sounds good, sir. They're coming out. Oh, they won't. Gentlemen, how you going? How are you aims? Good yeah, not bad. Gonna go get changed out of these uh, fancy clothes. Oh, beautiful. Working rig, so. You got any? Uh, you got any plans for tonight, there, yeah, Marshall? Oh, no, no, not really. Just gonna wander around town. Uh, as far as I'm aware, as the governor hasn't rescinded any orders as to yet. Uh, we um we're currently on the the lookout for someone for, due to a search warrant. If you wanted to join myself and choose. yeah, the boys were saying I know I know which warrant that's for. So yep. yeah, was that uh, did the chief inspector come down to brief for everyone? He did. He briefed us all, and he's off. Um, he's up. He's taken off with the um the rangers up to Valentine Way, where the he was last known to be visiting there, and they're going to see if they can get any leads from there onwards. All right. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, well, I'll get changed. I'll meet you. If you're walking around the streets, I'll have to meet you. And so... Yep, probably going to head to the saloon. I need to get a bit of a bite to eat after that ride. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll meet you there. What are your takes on it lately, Hughes? How's the department going around in Blackwater or whatnot? Around Blackwater, great. Blackwater has been... Uh, has seen such a great improvement over the last week, and uh, I've, you know, apart from the, the party last night, I've been bumping into the governor a lot, and he's very happy with uh, with how it's all going. Uh, within the department, hard. Uh, a few concerns mm -hmm. is, uh, and I've, you know, exp you know, I haven't had proper sit downs with anyone, but I have yep. expressed disappointment and uh, frustration. Uh, Woodman's great for a laugh, for a chat, you know, for a you know, bit of banter and that. But sometimes yep. he doesn't know the right time or place. Yep. Uh, like on the ride along out here, you know, mm -hmm. I was telling everyone you'll fall back, fall, get back in line, and you know, at those, when we're out on a ride out in ho possible hostile territory on an operation, that's probably not the exactly. best time to have no. a have a make be cracking jokes. It's like, no, I need you to do this like now. Yeah. So, no, you're well within, you're well within your rights there, partner, too. Like, that's that's what I need. The, you know, people, it's not just myself that are going to be pulling people up. I need, you know, the captains and whatnot to be doing what, that that position. You did that You did that perfectly, partner. So there's that. So, oh, howdy. Yeah, partner. That man over there just barged into me. In the what? Walking down there with oh, the beer in his hand. 
Look, I think he's. I think I saw him come down the saloon. He's got that drink. I think he's a bit drunk, drunk. Eh? Yeah, so we'll let him go. If he comes back, though, I'll get just drunk seen, just I've seen an okay. Ivy Black at the stable. Mm -hmm. Isn't she a wanted criminal? You look like my brother. Uh, I've yet to check my wanted post. Uh, Hughes, have you seen anything about it? Miss Black? I know the, uh, the East Department would be very interested to have a chat with her. Oh, okay. You know, she might even be the one that stole my pants. Stole your pants? Yeah, I was just telling Mr. Hughes about it before. Oh, yes. This fella, he's, uh, missing his, missing his pants for a, for a little while, poor fella. Oh. They're my lucky pants, too. Well, I'm glad that you got some new ones anyway. You don't have to walk around just in your, your underwear, but... Well, I was for ages until someone finally gave me money. I would have given you some money, partner, for some pants, but I'm happy to track them down and hear the lady. You reckon it might be that lady, do you think? Yeah, I think so. She said her name was Veronica, but I've got a, I've got a sneaky suspicion. <laughs> well, I can't go making the rest of the suspicions, but I can definitely have a chat with <laughs> Well, you know, if you hog to her and bring her in front of me at gunpoint, I'll be able to ID <laughs> for you. <laughs> well, uh, well, we'll see how that goes. I'll have a, I'll have a talk to her. Oh, thank you very much. I if really you'll excuse me, I'm about to uh, fade away to a shadow. I'm quite quite hungry. I need, might need to duck into that saloon there for two seconds. It's not true. Just forgive me. Pardon? How are we? Good, yourself? Yeah, not too bad, eh? Um, cooking some food up. What do you recommend? Recommend? Oh, look. Uh, my, my guy hasn't been around today or lately. In the past couple of days, so stock is a little bit dry. Um, the Frontier oh. filler's not bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, chicken, get some the, chicken. The fish and chips are really good. Probably and the, the chicken. In the county. And the chicken is nice too, yes. What do you think, you want to go for fish and chips or? Sure. Oh, Hugh. How are you, mate? Oh, better than last night. How you doing? Uh, last night? What happened last night? I got a little bit too drunk too fast. Oh, I know the feeling, sir. I know the feeling. It was my mistake, but... It was a great night. It was. Apart from that, it was great. It was a very good night. I enjoyed it thoroughly. We all scrubbed up very nice. You're the owner of the saloon here, are you? I am, sir. Oh, beautiful. How's it going? How's business treating you? Oh, it's not bad. Steady, steady. Right. It's been a bit quiet since uh, martial law has rolled around. Mm. I was going to say, that has a martial law affecting business. Yeah, it's slowed down a lot. Mm. I was making making a good headway, but you know these things happen. It's better for the streets to be safe than, you know, painted red. Yes. So it's understandable. Haven't had any dramas with any of the uh, anyone in, in town or anything like that? Or? No. No, I've um, I'm a little bit worried, wary because this place has been shot up so many times now. So mm -hmm. that's why I sort of uh, keep me keep me shotgun on me back just to protect my own property. Well, you own your you own your own property. That should be fine. Yeah. So as soon as I leave the streets, I uh, tend to put it away. Mm -hmm. But while I'm in here, I try to protect myself. No, that's fine, partner. Yeah, as I said, once you leave those doors, and yeah, that's when the martial law is going to enact on you. But in here, in your own property, to defend it. Well, that should be fine. Of well, course. we're, um, we got to go for a bit of a walk, we're, um, just checking in on things, but uh, I'm sure I'll see you around there, partner. No worries, and your name is, sir? Uh, Charles. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Charles. No worries, partner. I'll see you around. Alright, see, see you around, guys. See ya. Goodbye, Harry. How about the deputies here? Have you got any dramas with them? Yes, how are we doing? Cyrus is a... Is... Good, yourself. Oh. Good. You Howdy, boys man. having a good evening? Uh, day? It's oh, daylight. The best, we, the best we can. Okay. Yeah, it's going all right yourself. Yeah, yeah, going good. We're just uh, doing our rounds. I love that flower in your hair. Oh, thank you. Oh, looks very nice. Thanks. Dolores was uh, dressed quite nicely last night, sir. Oh, was she? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Hughes. I wouldn't expect any less from Dolores. It was um, a bit of a uh, change for me to wear a dress, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you got to do it sometimes, don't you? Dress yes, up. Yes, we do. Um, this is uh, on my right here, a new medical recruit, Hakan. Oh, here you go. Hello, I am Hakan. He's, uh, 
Yeah, it's great to have a, a native on the team. He's already bringing a lot of his herbal knowledge to us. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, hopefully it works out and he enjoys. He's just on ride-alongs at the moment, seeing if it is something that he actually wants to do. No, nope, that's fair. That's, we, we do that all the time. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This horse is going to kick me. I can just <laughs> see it. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry. I'll, have you been I'll, getting around much tonight, Dolores? Um, we've just been in St. Denis. Yep. Um, went to Rhodes. Mm -hmm. Uh... Didn't see many people. It's been a bit quiet, to be honest. Any travels you haven't seen um, Alexia around that yard? I was meant to have a meeting with him. Uh, yeah, he's we... out on his train. Yeah, we he's saw him. He's out on his train, is he? Yeah. Do you know where he was headed down to? No. Just around? One of the, he just came back from St. Denis, and I think Terence fell off a bridge, so he might have been going round past Ansberg. He would probably be in Valentine by now. Okay. So I just uh, got word... Uh, um, Probably uh, needed in Saint Denis. Okay. No worries. Well, we are. Uh, we might have to head off. Sorry. All right, you gentlemen, stay safe. You too. All right. Um. Well, shall we? Grab my horse. Shall we? Uh, let's head over to Valentine Way. Yeah. Uh, we need it in Saint Denis, said Hughes. Uh, yes, sir. I believe uh, I believe we have eyes on. Okay, right. I'll grab a horse. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I received word that uh, they've spotted him in Saint Denis. Okay. No idea if they'll be able to apprehend him then and there. Yep. Um, but your call, sir. Like we can ride over. We might intercept them on the way. Yeah, we might do. Um, we'll take the main road. Might as well because I do. So that's where they'll follow it back to. I would hope so. Mm. Sorry, I, this is probably the third time I've asked you. <laughs> How are you going with, um, you know, so you're, you're talking about a few of the deputies? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, Woodman, it's just, he needs to know when to, you know, when it's time for banter and joking yeah. around and that, and no, and needs to know when to shut up and do as we say. Mm -hmm. Um, apart from that, he's great. He shows a lot of initiative. Um, he can be really reliable at times. It's just, he's yeah, got to ruin the room a bit better. He's had some good, um, he's had some good reports come through and he's like incidences and stuff like that, getting some good intel and whatnot, but yeah. I do, I do agree there, that, um, time and place, that just needs to work on that a bit more for him, I think. But yeah, that's fine, and then, but yeah, Cyrus is, uh, Cyrus is, is exceptional so far, sir. That's um, good. Absolutely exceptional so far. Uh, Clink, uh, I haven't seen him in action, but he's always been really great to accompany me around on the few times I've gone on patrol with him. Yep. Uh, he's a he's a very polite, respectable young man. Um, got a good head on his shoulders, as far as I can tell. Uh, there was a few others I inducted, haven't seen them since. And then Sledge seems like a hard worker, but he's an interesting case where he really needs to have a better grasp on, uh, in a different way, know when to shut the fuck up. Uh, a lot of times he'll speak out of turn and be, you know, we'll be talking to doctors or this or that and he'll sp speak for the captains when he's not okay. when he's not aware of the whole situation and it's if, yep. i don't know if it's just he's really trying to prove himself or if he just doesn't respect us or he's undermining us but it yeah. it really rubs me the wrong way because i've we've talked about it a few times in passing but it's just uh like the fact that he was riding up next to you i'm thinking you know Someone that knows the chain of command will mm -hmm. make way for Harkness and I, as we are the captains. Yep. yep. It's, um, it's frustrating. I think he's got um, he's I think he's trying to 
make up for something from a uh, another county that he may have been a lawman in. All right. Um, I've heard tales there that he um, had quite a prominent position in another county. Well, that may well be, but in this case, Harkness and I have earned our place at the table. Exactly. And uh, we've been doing the, the hard yards for much longer, and he's, he needs to respect that or, or move on, if I had to put it bluntly. Yep. No, that's fair, 100%. As you said, like, you, you guys are the seasoned veterans. I mean, that's why you, you're the captain of the department, because you, you pretty much are, um, you know, my left and right hand. Like, well, well <laughs> I need you two to, to help me run this department, and you've been doing a great job, and there's a reason why you're there, so you shouldn't be spoken over. That's right, and, and we whatnot. can't do our job if, this, if the people under us ain't keeping us in the loop, because exactly. we're trying yeah. to... We're trying to keep everything simple so they can do their job. Yep. Uh, so that then we can, you know, compartmentalize everything we know from all of them. Yep. So that each person knows what they need to know so we can, yeah, essentially represent you as best we can. We can't do that if uh, people under our command right, right in front of us are just calling the shots when it's really not their place. Yep. It's just, a, it's a sign of, it's, it's basic respect. I'll, like, we um, don't I'll have all these ranks the... for the fun of it. Exactly, yeah, it's not for the fun of it, it's for the, the, the way that the hierarchy works. And it's and funneling how... information. Exactly. Like, that, that thing, and it's also how you say things. Like, it's very, like, you could come up to a, a higher officer, and it's very different when you, you'll be like, you come up and say something like, you should go over there and do that, sir. And it's like, well, why are you all giving me an order? Who the hell do you think you are? It's much better if you come across and say, you know, I had an idea, sir. What if someone, you know, have we thought about yep. someone looking over there? There's a there's a right and a wrong way of saying these things where you can still get your desired outcome. But it yep. sh still shows that respect in front of not only other lawmen, but nearby civilians. I'll, um, I'll try and have a chat to him and try and nip that in the butt. Yeah, I find he will, uh, he will go on patrol with Harkness every chance he gets because he doesn't get challenged. Yep. Hark Harkness is a bit... Passive when it comes to that sort of thing, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got an update, sir. Thieves landing. Last sighting. How the hell did he get from fucking St. Denis to Thieves landing? I believe the last I heard, he may be on a train. Back to Blackwater, sir? I dare say, yes. He may pass through town if he's heading back to civilization from Thieves Landing. If possible. <laughs> but it was nice to see, uh... Sheriff Wolf really had my back and the department's back in the debrief. Um, you know, regarding Woodman speaking out of line in the in the formation. Yep. Um, I, I'm really glad to see that because I, I had a bit of a, not not an incident, but it, I did feel a little bad. There was a time where he, he the Rangers had come up to see us here in Blackwater, and uh, he was very quick to call all of us, which included myself and Harkness, deputies. Yep. Uh, which which just came across a little condescending. A little bit unclear to everyone around, so I just sort of reminded him that, you know, uh, you know, there are two captains amongst us, mm -hmm. and you are in our jurisdiction, so while I am all ears for Sheriff Wolf's input from the Rangers, it's just, you know, again, that common courtesy when you're in another jurisdiction would, would, would be greatly appreciated. Yep. You know, we're not going to go into St. Denis and start barking orders and telling people what to do. We go over there, we ask the East Department, what can we be doing for you? That's their house. Well, that's exactly why I arranged with the Rangers to go through their jurisdiction to go and do this um, this transfer. Um, but in, when I did that, I did have a chat with Wolf, and he did mention about that incident with yourself. Um, right. And he did he did say to me how much he regretted that he went in sort of not thinking straightly and um, I, he understood. I understand it could have been just a harmless accident. It's just, yeah. well, every time these things happen, it gives a bad idea for deputies and civilians yep. as to how yep. our whole organization works. Mm -hmm. See, and that's the thing. Also, down there, you know, if a ranger tells me to duck, I'm ducking. You know, again, yep. I'm down there, I'm in their house.
You just too many cooks in the kitchen, and you ruin the ruin the meal. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. <laughs> you no, just I think we've got enough Indians around these parts. <laughs> it's these little things that contribute to how you know things fall apart. Well, like Frank, it wasn't. Um, you know, yeah, misinformation, exactly. people get the wrong messages, they that's how the people get killed. Yep. Shit, where the hell are we going, Monica? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Do we know where Alexi's Beyonce honey works? I do not. I'm sure we can find that out quite easily though. Does she does she work at the bakery in Valentine? I I can't I can't quite remember. We're just trying to keep an eye on the train line to make sure I don't see a train ride past. Yeah, that's a good point, sir. Come down here. Because, yeah, the last intel we got from our, from Blackwater was that he was on the trains. Yeah, on the trains and then spotted in St. Denis and then... Very quickly, he yeah, spotted in Thieves' Land, and that's he's got to still be on the on the locomotive, or else he did he catch a boat? I don't know if a boat would get over that quick. Well, the uh, the, the paid service at the oh, Saint Denis Dock, yes. you got the twenty five dollar slower ride, or the fifty dollars. Right. Well, apparently it's faster. Oops, sorry, sir. Get up out of your way. I'll have a look in Blackwater. Hopefully, he might be out down this way. I know he's he's friends with that Yuri fella, but I don't know where he works. And then he's friends with a, a, a Mr. Terrence and Zoe Kane. And uh, they've, they've been frequenting Valentine a lot more recently on account of Miss Kane having work at the bakery. Right. You know, a lot of, before the martial law, you'd almost always see Alexi, Yuri, and Terence in the same vicinity. Saw that gentleman run. I didn't know if he might have been going to warn anyone. He was telling us to remove our long arms, so he's been a being a clown. Oh, well, who we got here? Howdy, partner. How we doing tonight? Howdy. How are you, fellas? Not too bad. My name's Captain George Hughes with the local law department. This is Sheriff Bowman. Uh, what, was your, what was your name, sir? Jason Smith. Hey, Mr. Smith. Nice to meet you. Uh, Just waiting here for a stable trainer. Horse trainer. Oh, would, would you happen to yeah. know who owns this uh, uh, wagon here? This carriage? Nah, I have no idea. I'll quickly move it out of the way. I think they're struggling to get across the track. Been happening a bit. Hiatus from the area for a little bit, but yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, he could be coming back down here if it's for business, but is that yeah, your horse there, so. partner? Yeah, that's my horse, girl. Yeah, said. Beautiful horse. It is a nice horse. Just trying to get one of those, um, Norfolk or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, the roasters. Yeah, the roasters. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you got? That's a this fox trotter. Fox trotter. What, what do you recommend? Well, partner, this is a government issue horse, so I mean. Anything that's government issue, I'm going to abuse. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> but the fox drivers are a good horse. If you got the money. Ah, oh, okay. 
I've ridden, I've ridden an Arabian in my life, and it um it was definitely a joy. Mm. Be out of my pay grade though. Look, I don't mean to uh to cut the conversation off short anyway, but we might need to get moving. We're sort of uh in the middle of something, but it was nice to meet you anyway. You have a good one. What do you think? Should we go for a ride down Thieves Land anyway, or I feel like you would have moved up this way by now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking dinger. Of course it was fucking dinger. That's a, that's a monumental communication stuff up there. That's a, yeah. So spot in St. Denis, then Van Horn. There's a very good chance. If he's on bit. train, he'll be heading around to Valentine next. Yeah. And then after Valentine, where would that be? Here. Yeah, here. Well, actually, it will go Wallace station first before it hooks around that's true hmm. like brig station somewhere there that should be a little bit of a connection there somewhere shouldn't it to come over this one yeah both of them uh yes correct it has to go through to, uh wallace to bricks and then from Briggs, it'll have to get, yeah, it'll have to come down through Briggs at least, or well, somewhere near that way. At least we'd hear the train somewhere if, if it was coming. Oh, That's if he is on train, though, but the last we heard he was, but if he's... Yeah, yeah. Tailing him, he might not be on the train. He could have abandoned it by now. Hmm. Go from uh, Briggs and just follow the tracks up to Wallace. Anyway, up to you, gentlemen. I'll go up to Riggs, um, we'll go from there. Sounds good to me, sir. Yeah, personally, if, if I was if I was in Alexi's position and I had a access to a train when I got a, the suspicion people are coming for me, I'd 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 hold on to that train as long as I could. Yeah. Hopefully, lose them on a. Up in the mountains on a bridge or something. Go to speed, wouldn't he? Yeah, if he hit one of us, the last thing you hear before you pass on is howdy. <laughs> actually, I actually haven't seen where the new railroad connects from up here to Blackwater. It is just over here. We rolled under it, didn't we? We did, yeah. I'm starting to wonder if I should have got a department um, prison wagon out or something like that and put it over the tracks here on the other end of Blackwater so we can't go any further down that way. Oh, that is not a bad idea, sir. I don't know how the uh, how the marshal would feel about wasting money like that, though. Hey, it's the governor's money. I don't care. It's your... Yeah. I always buy a new wagon. That's true. Let's have a look at Riggs first. See if we see any sign or anything. Uh, almost here anyway. Sorry, George. You're right. wagon by itself. Someone's probably likely to uh, take it. Yeah, if you look right, it should, yeah, it splits off over to Blackwater there. Alright. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I see. Whoa! Sorry. What the hell? Uh, I'm sorry. Where'd you go? Miss Kane? I can't get up. Sorry. Is, that, know what's is that you, Miss Kane? Yep, that's me. Can you hear me now? I can. You got a minute? What... Yeah. I, I don't know what that you was. To, I can get up. You able to come up here with us? Oh, okay. Do I flee that horse? Or... No, no. It will only be a minute. Oh, okay. Miss Kane, uh, when was the last time right, you Marshall. saw uh, Alexi? Uh, oh, I want to say 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Where where would that have been? Well, that was at Rhodes. Like that, that was at Rhodes. Was he at last seen on his train? No, he was on uh, Lily's horse. Lily's horse. So they were talking to some of the sheriffs there. Okay. Would you, uh, would you remind me, where does uh, Lily work? The bakery in Valentine. The bakery. And uh, his uh, fiance, Honey, she works at the bakery as well? No, she works at the stables in um, uh, Blackwater. She works the same in Blackwater. Okay. All they right. weren't in Valentine. I just came from there, but I'm not sure. Well, it's just here. Yeah, we've gone from Rhodes. Due to the recent martial law and a whole lot of things going on, you know, with his mm -hmm. you know, new employment at the train station, his old employment at the stables and whatnot, uh, mm -hmm. some serious allegations have been made. So we need to get to the bottom uh -oh. of, we need to get his side of the story. So it's very important that Mr. Alexi uh, comes and sees, uh, comes to see members of the West Law Department in Blackwater as soon as humanly oh, okay. possible. So you want me to pass that on if I see him? If you happen to see him, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, I will pass it on if I see him. Thank you, Miss Kane. Um, who did I run into so I can go see him? Well, I'm sorry to them. Well, unfortunately, you say that would either be the sheriff of the West or a deputy marshal. It's those two over there? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I ran into you guys. I let my horse do the guiding sometimes and no, the, yeah, messes these happen. things happen. That's all right. <laughs> Everyone's okay. That's the main thing. <laughs> all right. I'll see you around. Safe riding, Miss Kane. They ride safely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Kane says that she last saw Alexi about 15, 20 minutes ago in Rhodes. I believe he was on horseback with a Miss uh, Lily. I believe that's the Lily that uh, is with uh, is an, a companion of Jeb's. Mm -hmm. uh, she works at the Valentine Bakery, and then it is Honey, Alexi's fiance. She still works at the Blackwater Stables. Um, okay. But she, yeah, she so Miss Kane last saw him in Rhodes with Lily talking to. Uh, Lord Department over there. So hmm. if that, I would, I'm a, I feel inclined to believe his his movements have been Rhodes, Saint Denis, Van Horn, who's moving hmm. uh, around. Is that cl clockwise, right? Mm, Anti clockwise. Anti clockwise. All right. So I mean, he could either come down this way. True. Um, tall trees and whatnot. Depends if if he if he's thinking that. Do, do we know if 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 he's been alerted that we are after him? I'm assuming he has. If we've met the wall part over in roads and now just fleeing north. Word on the street was that they lost him, but that could be just you know they lost eyes on him. You know he he gave yeah, him a slip without knowing. I'm sure. The best thing that we can hope for is that he doesn't know that we're uh, we're looking for him. But if he does, then things will get a bit more difficult. Well, I worded it to Miss Kane. I imagine she will probably speak to uh, Terrence soon, who will, if he doesn't talk to Alexi soon, he'll talk to Yuri, and then Yuri will talk to Alexi. I just told her that there's been some recent concerning allegations regarding, you know, his new employment conflicting with his old employment, and that we mm -hmm. really need to get his side of the story as soon as possible. Yeah. Have you ever known him to freak? Oh, uh, to not freak him. Have you ever known him to stop in the strawberry at all? I don't think I've ever seen him out that way. I 
think Woodman and I may have passed him there once, just but I think he was traveling through. Okay. I currently don't associate anyone with Strawberry. No, I don't either. We ride through just to be sure, but sometimes it's just it's just the odd hunter or something. Yeah. I feel like this would be a pretty uh, decent crossroads anyway to see people coming through regardless where they go unless they do go to Strawberry. But... Oh. I hear hooves. Howdy! He didn't want to buy you, George. Didn't that even... was a gigantic fuck you. <laughs> didn't even stop for a howdy. Well, 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 fuck you too! It's amazing you take these trails so often the horses know exactly where they're going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gentlemen, what's what's the feeling? What's the thoughts? <laughs> we'll wait here, or we I'd almost on? like to, to. I don't really want to keep moving up if they're going to be chasing around that way. He's going to have to sort of come down this way eventually, and I don't want to all be bunched on the north side of county. That's right. The moment we move from here, he could very well just come through and we'll feel like... like Slip through us. It's, it's... Well, if you're worried about him coming from Strawberry, this probably isn't the best uh, position to be in, I'd say, down near the old Indian camp. That Somewhere sounds around. good. You know? And that's a bit more central because most people take that. Uh... True. I pass that all the damn time. And the only other concern you'd have is if he... Uh, Either goes the way we went around the facades, or but, uh, if he's taking the roads, yeah, I would say that uh, for back up from where we west, west we came, it'd probably be best. Well, yeah, we'll head back up over the hill and we'll go down to that old uh, Indian camp down there. I think that's a good idea. All right, sir. I haven't done a good old fashioned man hunt in a while. It's been a minute. Yeah, they're fun to remember, but in the moment it's a lot of uncertainty. Oops, sorry, Ames. I don't know which way this guy's going. Damn local. Do we know what Alexi did? I think it's um harboring of uh, illegal items. Oh no. Did he ever get you that bottle of black vodka? He did, he did. Oh, so it's not for that. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I reckon post it up somewhere around here, boys, is probably the best. What up in the trees? Up in the trees here, maybe. Yeah, it's an excellent spot, and then we'll see or hear the train if it's over there. And we can cut across the plane. So it reminds me of a long lost time. Back when I was uh, a recruit, actually. Hmm. I was, um,. Fellow named Judge. He was a uh, Pinkerton back in the day. Yeah. And um, we did a um, we did a uh, a sting on the uh, the blacksmith up in Strawberry. How'd that go? Many years ago, we got them. Uh, they were manufacturing and handing out handcuffs to the the population. Ah, oh. that's just not all. A long forgotten time now, though. This is a good vantage point. We can even see pretty much over into town, too. Yeah. See the train tracks? Actually, quite a beautiful spot up here. Yeah, I've always 
I'm always on a racing through here. I always forget to stop and take a look. Stop and smell the roses. Not that there's any roses out this way. But... There's no green flowers, are there? Green flowers. Are... Yeah, oh. there's no flowers with the with a shade of green, is there? You got your red one, blue, part purple. Yellow? Yellow, yeah. White. I don't think there's a green, because it's green, that's all the leaves in that. Unless you start getting the weeds and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, I'd probably mistake some. <laughs> no I'm not much regard to myself. No. <laughs> so don't eat that. <laughs> I dare say I'd get in trouble for doing the gardening and pull out all the flowers and leave all the weeds because I get it mixed up. <laughs> Much of an animal man, Hughes? Well, I actually, I, I, re, I, I often take pride in uh, stopping by the bison herds on patrol just to check that they're all right. Beautiful creatures. Yeah, majestic. And, and then uh, I'm considering maybe buying a, a dog to take out on patrol with me. It'd be beautiful. How much, from... is it, how much are the dogs selling for? How much have you found a local breed or anything like that? Up in Valentine, I didn't check all the breeds, but you can get something, you know, $25, $30. It's pretty reasonable. That's, that's very reasonable. Yeah, it'd be good for you to have another little companion there, especially on those like, those lonely patrols and stuff like that. Yeah, sometimes you just try and go out and just keep an eye out. And it's nice to just have a bit of a... Here's this coming down. That gentleman's got that gentleman's got hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't recognize him. There's nothing more pure than a dog in my opinion. No, we we I feel like we don't really deserve dogs. They just judge willing character to too. They are, and they're willing to just do about anything for us. They just, they just want to, they just love to be with us. I heard that some um, people that are really good with dogs have had them even um, been able to smell different substances and stuff like that. It's going to be a bit of a nose for it. I've heard the same thing. It'd be great to, if you could teach a dog to sniff out certain types of drugs and that. So we, we don't even have to look in the pockets. That'd be it. Yeah, that'd be great. Going Dutchman, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! I just love a dog to, to fetch me a nice cold beer when I'm kicking back one day. <laughs> yeah, good too. <laughs> I don't have to get back up. Go fetch! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the work, Dill. Bring us Alexi. What? What did I say? What? This fog ain't gonna help us. Hmm. Oh, there's Ames. He's found a good spot. Comfortable, Marshall? You know it. Might just take a take a look and see what's over this ridge. Not a whole lot.
I wonder where he is. Where are you, Alexi? I will find him! Couldn't think of it. We, we know there's reds, yellows, blues, violets. Can't think of a green one. Oh. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh. Well. I'm thinking I don't think I've ever seen a green flower. No. I guess green's all reserved for grass and leaves and trees. There's like no need for it to be on a flower too. Well, yeah. wonder why that is. I mean, there could be a green flower, a green, yeah, a green flower, but we're just uh, mistaking it for grass or shrub. That's why I'm a lawman and not a botanist. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the uh, the new train, the new railway going across the plains over there? Well, I guess it makes it a bit easier to get down to the west. Mm, I guarantee they probably are grateful of it. I understand yeah. people think it's a bit of an eyesore, but I think you got to keep an open mind until you've actually taken a ride across the plains. You, mm. It's a very, it's a much better perspective. Well, yeah, I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. Hopefully we don't have to try and board a train over that. That'll be a... Mm. How good's your lasso arm? <laughs> you reckon anything will ever happen with that ranch over in, in the way over there? Oh, I don't know. I haven't, uh, haven't seen anyone use it that much ever, really. Well, quite a few hooves. Oh, just a local on a wagon. Sound like a group of horses. Do you want me to take a quick ride into town just to make, just in case any lawmen have come through? Yeah, yeah. Come back. Yeah, nice. I'll so post up here. I'll be, I'll be there and back.
wonderful. If I see them, I'll say hello. I've just got to go right. in my head for a bit, so uh, if you want to ride on without me, that's fine. I'll go off duty for a little. Uh, I can Howdy, Yuri! <laughs> George! How we doing today? I'm good, yourself? Hello, Mr. Hughes. Have you shaved? I did. Howdy, William. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing alright. Yuri, would you mind uh, coming for a ride with me? Of course. All right. Sorry, William. Got some important business to take care of. Don't jump in the worries, George. Climb aboard, uh, comrade. Thank you, partner. Just uh, I'm just with the sheriff and the marshal out of town. Just uh, just want to have a chat. I also shaved. You look a lot different. A lot younger. I did it because I aged. You did it, mate. It was a bad night. It was. You did it cause you aged. Is that some kind of Russian proverb or something? Uh, no. We all age. I just happened to just gain wrinkles and look 60 years older suddenly. It was a bad nightmare. Gee, Back yeah, to normal you... now. A bit too much vodka that night. Potentially. Something maybe someone slipped something in there. I guess. Oh God, that's not good. So how you been anyway? You enjoying you enjoying America? Oh, of course. They just got in this evening. Just rolling in just then. Oh yeah, what have you got planned tonight? Not much, I don't think. Just got on. Just went on duty. You know, just going around doing some doctoring. Most likely. Enjoy the work. Of course. Find it rewarding. Helping, I mean, helping people in need. Helping people's nice. It gets a bit stressful at times. I'm sure you know. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get a million callouts. Hey, here we go. We just got Marshall Ames here and uh, Sheriff Bowman. Previous. I found a uh, Doctor Yuri in town. Just if we wanted to yeah, have a few words while, before he heads How out. Doing, Yuri? Good. How are you? Good. So, uh, you fill you in with anything or? Cool. Hmm. Has the captain filled you in with anything while he brought you up uh, here? He or? has no, no, he has not. Um, I believe you're, you're friends with Alexi? Uh, I know Alexi, yeah, we, uh, well, he, we are comrades, he's his friend. We're trying to clear something up for him, um, there's been some allegations made, so we're trying to look out for him, um, but we can't quite seem to, to catch up with him, um, us three are trying to have a cat, catch up and talk with him to clear some air before, um, a certain other group of people are meeting up with him. You wouldn't happen to know where he might be, or? Uh, no, I haven't seen him today. I haven't seen him today at all. But just rolled yeah. in, actually. Oh, okay. Don't worry, frequent to like that it might give us a bit of a clue where we could try and catch up with him and get it sorted before he falls into the wrong hands. Um, he's just around. Okay. Black water. Yep. Is he, um, we well, understand maybe you might, um, freaking Valentine a bit as well? No, we go through Valentine a little bit. Yeah, okay. okay. But, uh, no other places like Mount Shan or anything like that, or he doesn't freaking up that way? I don't think so, no. no. Okay. No, that's fine. Hughes, you got any other questions? Oh, just if you happen to see him. Like, uh, sometime tonight, just it would be good just to bring him by the the Blackwater Department or or anywhere that's suitable, just to so we can clear everything up. Let's see. Just yeah. to know if I, if I run into him. You know, as a fellow Russian, I imagine you two are quite close. Talk, William's coming. If I if I run into him, no worries. All right. Well, I can uh, I'll give you my postal ID too, partner on the card here, if it uh, helps if you think of anything, or I'd be happy to, happy oh, to yeah. hear from you. Oh yeah, sure to take it. Happy to take it, I mean. Yeah, partner. One four four. I'm sure to jot that down. Yeah, yeah. Just share it by me. What was that, one four four? One four four, yep. Do you need a ride back in the tannery, Yuri? 
No, no, I was probably going to head no, around, no so head central towards Valentine, I think. Okay. I appreciate you coming up and having a chat with us anyway, partner. No, that's fine. I hope you've been well. Oh, it's been alright. You taught Ames. Oh, pretty good. Nice, oh, good. Um, how's the uh, dark room going for you? Been busy or...? Very busy, lately. Well, what, gunshots or people just doing dumb shit? Just a lot of things. Oh. Just people getting shot, people falling off cliffs, people, the old, you know, everything. People getting kicked yeah, by horses. Yeah, well, that one's, um, I'm used to that as well. But, uh, yeah. Well, but, uh, at least you keep them busy. The pay all right? Uh, $15 a tick. It's not bad. More than I believe some of the people get, but... That's pretty good, actually. That's really good, actually. That's, uh... Yeah, especially if you're busy in one night. You, 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 you know, you clear a scene for us. That's like four or five uh, people that you have to deal with. That's not too bad. A few mass casualty incidents recently. Mm. Well, sounds three, like four, not... five. Well, people. it's bad for them, but it's good for you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Can't really... I mean, yes, of course. Hey, I don't want to be morbid about it, but uh, their misfortune uh, seems to be uh, quite good. Silver your, lining. Uh, you're billful. Silver lining, exactly. I mean, the paperwork's not exactly fun, but... Oh, no, no that, uh, I don't envy that. I know what that's like, but especially if there's multiple in one door. No, no, thank you. Are they individual reports as well, or can you do them uh, as a group? I think, yeah, I think we can do them as a big one. Yeah, well, at least that cuts down on stationery. Exactly. The day you find someone who uh, actually enjoys and ha finds fun in writing out reports, make sure you swing them my way, because I'd love to know why. <laughs> really, that's why. Uh, I don't mind them, but I don't enjoy them. But, uh, oh, yeah. Here it may. But no, no, good to see you. It, uh, it's always a pleasure. Always I mean, a uh, pleasure. I like, you know, I do like meeting in these circumstances where you're not having to pull a bullet out of my shoulder. So that's always, <laughs> for me as well. always, a, always good. You no, know, can't can't say the same thing about Harkness, but uh, that is what it is. That boy's <laughs> a uh, walking catastrophe. Swiss cheese. I swear he's more scar tissue than human at this point. But anyway, we really should get that man a vest. Yeah. Well, he's got Honestly, we, we keep having to replace the vest. <laughs> Keeps getting holes in it. <laughs> I mean, wait, did you, say, wait, did you say that he got poisoned? He hasn't been poisoned. He hasn't been poisoned. Just wondering how he hasn't hasn't got lead poisoning yet. Well, that's a good point, actually. I thought you were going to talk about snakes, but yet, yeah, no, he. Uh, well, probably because you get the bullets out, so the lead, uh, literally getting the lead out. So. True. Good point. Good point. Oh, of course it starts raining now. Mm -hmm. Of course. It was good seeing you, gentlemen. Likewise. You too, no George, good screen. seeing you. Safe travels. You too. Huh. Well, that's two of uh, Alexi's close friends, Yuri and Mrs. Miss Kane. So, well, he if he don't, word hasn't reached now, him before. before. Mm. Mm. It will now. was a rainbow. Yo, Brox. Looks like it's ending over Blackwater. I don't see that being a pot of gold, though. We're um, we're doing a sting. We've got lawmen all around the country looking for Alexi, and we're um, we're watching this um, we're watching this road into Blackwater in case the the suspect comes through. We've been questioning people. But we, we also did another operation. We went down to the desert to 
um, scrap some items, and we worked with the Texas Rangers, which was really cool. Big, you know, big force riding down as a group, which is epic. I hope you're well, man. I've been trying to lurk when I can for you when you're jumping on the old GTA RP and the carving. Well, hope everything's yeah, good. Again. Oh my arm, oh, my hands. Look, well, it's pretty heavy duty dust, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, good off the shoulder. He's got a, oh, he's got a blue dust. Oh, well. well, you do too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my proper pants, you know. Are they double lined or something, those boots, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not messing around. <laughs> this is my... You know, I'm doing things properly out in the office. Mm. Out of the office. Rather than just you know, my normal day-to-day -day wear. Well, there is nothing worse than having a, a wet sock all day, is there? Oh! oh yeah. Yuck. Oh, look, tell me this one, right? This is You've got... You have to deal with this all day on shift, you two. You put your... You go to put your coat on, but the sleeve of your left arm sort of half pulls up when you put your, your, your sleeve through your coat. Would you rather deal with a half pull up sleeve all day or a sock that's just that bit too much big for your foot and your socks like ball up underneath your toes and your boot? And you can't touch it all day. You've got to do it all day. Which one are you picking? Uh, I'd rather deal with the sleeve. I'd rather deal with the sleeve too. Me too, because, you know, when I'm just sitting around and that, you know, I'm fidgeting with my toes, mm -hmm. you know, moving my feet around, and I just notice that more than my arms. We're going to see some well, yeah, to Tommy you know, Tim Tam do some yeah, Texas Ranger training? Sleeves and stuff, but no. The, if you can't adjust it, no, 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 no. That's a sleeve. Every time you walk, you know, feel it, and it's just... Uh... Ah, of course, the application. Oh, the paperwork. What step Fast is that? Run. Yeah, horse run. Horse... Yellow sleeves. Yellow that it's not his other half, is it? I can't for the life yellow. of me remember what honey looks like. I've had a wonderful conversation with her. I but I cannot I cannot recall her face. I cannot recall her clothes. Her her last time I saw her she was wearing the yeah, you know, black pants, yellow, uh, like a lemony kind of color uh, shirt, long sleeve shirt. I know if, if I spoke to her, I'd recall because she had such a nice, uh, I don't know, aura about her. She just was a, a delight to talk to. I believe she didn't wear a vest though, did she? I don't know. No, I don't think so. That guy's looking at us. Yeah. That's right. Look all he wants. Is that one of ours? Don't know. He's got a mask, though. I thought. Some behind us, too. Oh, this is real. Well, we were on our way over to uh, St. Anthony Way before we got a like a, a pigeon come through and say he was down Thieves Landing Way, and we were a bit nah. confused. We started heading down that way, and then there was a bit of miscommunication written down on that note. Yeah, it was a false report, that Thieves Landing one. Fucking dinger. Yeah. Dinger chased him up the van hall and shot Dinger's horse, and now he's gone. What? So he knows we're on him. Oh, yeah. He shot okay. a oh, he shot a lawman's horse. I know it's Dinger, but still. Did Dinger fire at him? Oh, I have no idea you didn't say. Yeah, I, I think I'd he just get, got spooked. Yeah, I'd get that information because uh, if he fired and uh, not knowing he was a lawman, well, that's one thing. But if he just fired at him knowing he was a lawman and shot the horse without Dinger shooting back at him or shooting at him first, then yeah, you got yourself an issue there. Yeah. Yeah, and your deputies, Bowman, they got in the shootout with Montgomery's up in Valentine. Oh, really? 
Yeah. How'd they go? Are they alright? Yeah, they got them all. I think Clink went down. Okay. I think he was the only one. Clink's alright though? Got medical attention? Yeah. Beautiful. I heard about these Montgomery's actually. Only today someone was telling me about them. Yeah, they're in the gunshot trying to tax Walter. Right. Ames, did you ever hear back from the governor about the hotels? Uh, no. Okay. No, I have not yet. I don't think he's around. Uh, I think he's up in New York at the moment, so. Yeah, that's right. Let's see if we're going to go to Lexi for a while now, anyway. So the last you heard that he was on, like, horse chase, was it? Yep. He was on horse in North. As you set out, we were speaking to um, Dolores in town, and she was saying they last saw him in Saint Denis riding, the, like driving the trains. Oh, okay. So we were sort of expecting him to sort of come through on a train. That's why we're sort of held up here, so we could at least hear it come through or see him come down through from Strawberry or something. But yeah, I think he's um, yeah, I think he slipped us. I'm more than happy to, to nab him and detain him until I can uh, get hold of you too, if, if if need be. Yeah, if we find him, there'll be a there'll be a search warrant out for him now. Oh yeah, same shit for you. Bounty, that's it. Yeah. Unfortunate. Did uh, was it was it just Dinger that saw him and took chase, or uh, Loose saw him and then he told the East to follow him. Last Loose saw, they were heading to the clothing store, so Loose thought he was held up in there. But apparently, he slipped them and Dinger chased him by himself. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I'll leave you gentlemen here, I'll head over to Bandini. Oh, right. this paperwork. Yeah. Good to see you, Frank. Yeah, you too. See us around. Thanks for the help today, too, Frank. Frank. Yeah, you used to. No worries at all. Anytime, just yell out. Yeah, for sure. Well, gentlemen, we want to go see your boys. Uh, where where where'd they say their Montgomery's were? Valentine. Mm. You want to say hello at least maybe uh at least get on the road and just have a bit of a look around yeah i wouldn't mind getting on the road and going there and at least seeing the boys all right who's that i don't know What happened? I had him in Black in uh, Saint Denis, and then uh, they took him to the clothing store, and somehow he figured out. Um, the uh, East Department were like, we didn't know anything about it, and they well, so I'll tell you what exactly what happened. I rocked up to Saint Denis. I saw Lexi at the back of Dinger's horse. I said, Dinger, let me have a quick chat with you real quick. I whispered to him and I said, I need you to keep Alexi here as long as possible. He's like, okay, no problem. Whispered it. We both whispered, all good. Anyway, he jumped on Kenneth's horse and he's like, oh, we're going to go to the clothing store. So him, Tessa, and that little group ran to the uh, clothing store. And somehow he knew and decided to run. Dinger chased him down to Van Horn. He shot his horse and made an escape. Did Dinger say if he opened fire on him, or was Alexi open fire on uh, him? Uh, Alexi opened fire on him, shot his horse. Yeah, right. 
Okay, well, just add that one up to it. Uh, gentlemen, I'm gonna quickly take a quick ride. Okay. Attempted murder, animal cruelty, right there. Oh, you're right, sir. The the east have got him. Uh, yeah, there's a gentleman up here. Um... Oh, is that what happened? Uh, I don't know. Blood on your shoulder and whatnot. All oh, right, was that you shooting off probably six or seven rounds? I just said no. Nah, I rode past when I heard someone shooting off. All right. So I thought I'd get out of there just in case I ended up getting caught up in that. No, you didn't see anybody else up there. I just heard a few shots up there, and someone just on the road he was yelling out that there was something going on up there. Nah, no, I can't say I've seen anybody. I'm not sure if he's gone the other way, but I didn't see anyone come down from the hill. Yeah, right on. Um, you're all right. It's, uh, it's not your blood. It's obviously you said it was a deer or something, did you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's not mine. It's um, it just cut his blood from hunting a little bit earlier. I just sold all my stuff in uh, strawberry. Right. And so where's the deer now? You've got rid of it in strawberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just came out of strawberry not too long ago. Like, two minutes, two, three minutes. Okay. No worries. Where are you off to now? Um, probably Valentine or Blackwater, to be honest. I mean, I've gone the wrong way for Blackwater, but we'll probably yeah. just head to Valentine. Because... You, got you got a hunt license on you? Uh, let me see if it is on me now. Uh, no, I don't have it on my persons. I do have one in my hunting cart. Right. I, mean, I can what? I can call out to it and see if it no, will come. No, that's fine. Yeah. What's your, what's your name? Uh, Billy Harrington. Billy Harrington. Yeah. Well, next time I see you, Billy, make sure you got that hunting license on you. Ah, uh, no worries. I can do. That's yeah. Uh, that's that's your warning, partner. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Thank you very much for that, sir. On your way. Billy Harrington, Ash? Um, yeah, I guess so, yeah. That's, he's been apprehended. Yeah. Sorry, did, did you get um anyone yelling out at you, Hughes? Yeah, uh, apparently, yeah, word is that the East have got him. Yeah, about, yeah, I was more referring to that gentleman where he came from. Oh, no, I, I, I can't even see a horse in my eyes with him. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll head off to Saint today. I have a chat with him anyway. Um, should we, I guess Frank's, oh, Frank's gonna need to bring you back here, because I think he's, um, he's, his belongings and stuff are in Blackwater, like his hotel room and whatnot. Yeah, more than likely. That's right, yeah, Frank said that they'd have to come back to Blackwater regardless. That's where his hotel room is. Right, so I guess we stand by and the rest of the department will escort him over? Let's head back to Blackwater, I can ring him in the office, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Sounds like they got Alexi. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Ash, just classic Red Dead RP scuffness. Also, Turks Willen, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! There's been a manhunt for Alexi happening, and we've been we've been stationed out here. I mean, out here with the Marshal Ames and Sheriff Bowman. Sounds like they got him over on the east side, and then they're going to bring him over to um, to Blackwater so that the Pinkertons can search his hotel room.
Yeah, it's exciting. Howdy. Howdy. Hey. Howdy. Okay, this is Sheriff Brian from Blackwater. How are you going, partner? <laughs> you got him. Yep, so is Frank coming back down this way, is he? Or is he... Is he, is he, is he bringing the fugitive this way? Just going to go put my hat on. Right, well, we'll, um, we'll get a post up around the dock and get him escorted into the department down here. No, no, partner. George um, shaved for the formal dance. Did you watch the last stream, yep. Ash? Yep. I, think well, I think um, you're. I think you're. Let us know. Even if you need to call me back here, you can let me know, and um, we'll get a perimeter set up anyway. I think you'll really enjoy the vod, Ash. No worries. Good work on that. Uh, the yeah. arrest too, partner. Wait. Um, oh, was just on the phone to him. Okay. So. Um, they're transporting him via the docks. Um, he's going to ring me back just to let me know to confirm that that's what's happening, and then we will um, get a perimeter set up at the docks because they had he had a uh, he had a gunman with him who tried to throw down with the department over there to try and get him out. Um, so they're worried that his friends now know that um, yeah they're going to be coming to try and get him free. So oh shit. My question is, how did you find out from the time I was at the bank to the clothing store? That's what I want to know. Mm. Mm. Look, um, I'll I'll pull you aside and have a chat with you about that as well. And um, Hughes, you can probably be filled in. So can you, Ames? Um, mm. Just from a few different things of being hearing and whatnot. Can I? Sorry to interrupt. Can I just give a mm. quick debrief of uh, Blackwater? Uh, Valentine or? No, no. Here, Blackwater. Blackwater. Yeah, yeah, 100%. What happened? Um, so you've been patrolling here in the. Far, further outskirts but um there's been a couple of hit and runs um basically people f speeding into town and then shooting randomly and then uh -huh. just peeling back out okay. um so definitely i just wanted to make you aware so you're uh, like got your head on a swivel um because i've been purposely aiming for people and then just bolting have they been hitting like hitting people with it like yeah yeah yep yeah, yeah. i've been dealing with a bit here are they locals or are they actual uh no 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 okay these people are running around shooting people around. Yeah, horseback. Yeah. You don't know if they're attacking and if they're targeting anybody from the saloon at all, do you? Yep. They are? Oh, sorry. What was that? Do you know if they're targeting anybody from the saloon? Uh, not that I've seen. Like, like I said, they it was kind of coordinated. So one would come from one end of town and the other would come from the opposite. Mm -hmm. And they would kind of just start causing chaos and then just like peeling away when they meet each other. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's very interesting. Thanks for that intel. Good work on that one. It's all right. Um, are, you, are you able to make a report up on that when you get a chance to? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep, just so you've got something down right and you can try to follow up on. Yep. Beautiful. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Um, they say how long that'd be? I can ring about now if you like. Yeah, then that just gives us time to get ready, and uh, if you uh, if you need to recall anyone from Valentine as well, if you think you need the numbers.
How you doing, Dingo? It's Sheriff Bowman. Fucking Dingo. Good partner. Um, just wanted to get a quick, uh, if I can get it in cement on how you guys are transporting the uh, the fugitive down to Blackwater. Yeah, if you can get it, you're up. No, no, you're up, partner. If you can get her to call me back and give us a definitive, we're at Blackwater. Um, if you can give us a definitive how they're getting him transported, because we've just had a couple of reports of some things going on in Blackwater too, so we want to know if we uh, need to secure this a bit more with a few other people that I can recall back from duty. All right. Yep, get her to call me back at the Blackwater office. Thank you. Wait. So that was Dinger. He just arrived on scene. Um... Tessa is going to call me back with a definitive how many people are she sending with them and whatnot. She, she's running the show over there. Right. I'm stoked that we got him because uh, I thought it was going to be a bit of a um, goose chase for the next week. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious to hear the the whole story. Hmm. I definitely want to sit Dinger down too, and as the uh, Ames was saying, get um get his side of the story and what happened with the I shooting. Tell you now, it was Dinger. Dinger's the one I told. Well, what we also it? spoke to a uh, uh, Zoe Kane. We also spoke to a uh, Yuri. A few people in advance that they may have could they have gotten word to him somehow. I'm not sure. Did you tell him? Did you tell them that Alexi was wanted? We worded it that we wanted to have a chat with him about some concern and allegations. Not that we were hunting and we just wanted to clear things up. Okay. Yo, fatigue! Sure, uh, like I said, I only spoke to Dinger. Uh, if they do come here, just uh, make up a name for me. Just call me like Ranger. Ranger yep. something. Right? Yo, fatigue, thank you for the raid. Oh, just Go Dusty just at Ranger. your service. Yeah. Um, is that you, Cyrus? Yeah, it is. Partner, would you be able to, um, just quickly do one more sweep through of the town and just let me know if you see anyone lurking around or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, too easy on my way. Beautiful. We've been involved with a manhunt tonight, yeah, Fatigue. The, they're just figuring out how they're getting him down here now? Yep. Alright. He locked the door. Uh, he's, back door's open. he's one of the good ones, Hughes. No, see that? He just. He, uh. He took your orders, no question, no, just straight up, you know, straight to business. Yeah. Checks the door. He's gonna, you know, watch. He's gonna go do a thorough sweep, come back, tell you, mm -hmm. clean as day. He's, he's, um, he's a good egg. Ranger, it's yeah. funny you say the, what you've said because I've heard some reports and allegations of information being leaked in the department on that side. Well, take a good look at me, for example. And we've been talking to the Rangers uh, down in um, New Austin who have heard some things too for the grapevine. Um, and I believe Letty does have something going on in there that she might not be aware of. Watching oh. this heavily because this is strike two for me. Yeah, so I think um, I was going to try and get uh, you, uh, Frank, and um, the other gentleman Frank has with him yeah. um, to see if we can hash out maybe some um, something we can put out there and see what happens. Because I gave them a stern talking to the docs there, and I said, I want to know which one of you fucking said something. Okay, you, you figure it out. You send me a telegram. That's my post ID. I want to know if you told him. Mm -hmm. But they were more upset that nobody told them about what was going on. I said, listen, that's a problem you got to, You guys got to deal with them. I just want to know how he found out. Plain and simple. Get mm. Well, the reason it was... Huh? The reason it was kept on the whole shash because originally we thought he was going to be around here and we would get him in black water anyway. Cool. That's our jurisdiction, but also we wanted to make sure it was a need to know until the very uh, the very get go of when we're all walking out of this door to stop information being leaked out and whatnot. Not well, intentional. Some people, you know, they forget people around corners and whatnot. Well, like I said, I saw him hand myself in, and then yeah, they, I got dropped at the bank. So I got some assistance outside, gentlemen. 
Coming. Mr. Lexi, come on in. Good no, oh. we'll, we'll take him down to the stables. A party for me? Alright, uh, Lexi, we'll walk down to the stables. Oh, what's at the stables? They're a bit late ringing. I don't work at the stables anymore. Alright, let's go. You guys. Oh no, he's been naughty. So when do uh, when do the questions start? He's been naughty. Yeah, we're going to get to that right now. Right. I just need to check in your wagons. Do you have a warrant? I do. And what do you suspect's in my wagons? Oh, a plethora of illegal items. <laughs> okay. And uh, where are you getting this information from? Uh, source that can't be disclosed at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you arrest them for uh, falsifying information. There is... This is ridiculous how many people are... Goodness. Uh, Alexa, how many wagons do you own? Two. Two? Uh, do you own any hotels in the county? Uh, Ball in Cyrus. One in Strawberry. Yep. Uh, there's nothing in it because every time I put something in it, it's impossible to get anything out so it's been empty for well since i got it okay mass riders sir three horses with mass riders it was four people too wasn't it yeah i believe i three saw one doubling up mm. Wait, can I see the warrant first? I, I, I have nothing to, uh, nothing to hide, but I prefer we do this the, pref the correct way. Yeah, of course. Dear, oh dear. Because I wouldn't dance with you at the ball, George. Nothing to do with that, Alexi. Is it over a succulent Chinese meal? Oh, look, I could go one of them right about now. You got one handy? Maybe you can check my pockets if you like. There better be one in there or else that's a double warrant. <laughs> succulent Chinese meal? Alright, there you go, partner. Just have a look at that one. Our partner, this wagon's good. Are you done with this one? Stable this one and get the next one. Uh, you might have to stand back because it's having its fit. I, can I be uncuffed and then I, it won't let me on?
Are you Ben Smith? You may have to stand over here, Potter. Oh, yeah. Those uh, riders are hanging on that hill. You uncuffing him, Frank? Yep. Doing my job, do Alexi. Everything is unequipped. There you go, Potter. I have no gun belt on me, as well as you can see. Hey, you're a cheeky boy, Benny. Yeah, I'll get the cat saddle back now. He's gone! <laughs> Over here! There you go. I can leave. Do you want to see a memory of my wagon list? Would that help? Ah, uh, yes, that would. I said uh, I am compliant. Oh, sorry, my one second. He's gone. Just for that. Could you get that small wagon back out for me, Alex? Oh, yeah, the... Oh, sorry. Uh, the the little beast, the one that you just saw, is the blue one? Yep, that last one I just saw. I probably had some uh, legendary horns in it. For you, George, making me feel more comfortable if it helps. Thank you. Just following procedure. No, I, I can't keep my hands up. Can I cross my arms? Because I know that you can't pull a gun up while doing this. Sure. Oh, Alexi, where where'd you get these these bison horns from? They're the legendary ones. Obviously, I do legendary hunts, and uh, I thought these were supposed to be used to make the pickaxes, so I've just been collecting them. Okay. Are you where bison are illegal to hunt? I know the regular bison. I didn't know the legendary one was. I believe they're all still bison. I mean, it's a legis I'll be honest, I didn't know the legendary ones were illegal. You're more than welcome to uh, confiscate them. I, uh, like I said, I'm not doing anything with them. I thought they were used for pickaxes. Uh, okay. So I was told that they, were, they used to be made for the, you know, the special pickaxes that people make for mining? Oh, uh, yeah. So I thought there was moose antlers, uh, deer antlers, and bison horns. Alright, oh, yeah, I'll just confiscate them. Not the bison! Alexi, could you grab those horns out of there and pass them to me, please? Da, da. My number is two three three. I, ju I just need to instance because I can't see you and it's affecting how I give it to you. 
Is that is this okay, George? Uh yeah, it should be. That's right. Right. I have yeah. this thing with my eyes. It's the common knowledge that most people know. Yeah, he's given uh, approval. Oh, hang on. This horse is effect. Bang, 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 oh, bang, bang. Back up. Yes, apologies. Can we ride this horse out? It's uh, really affecting everything. Uh, you will need. Oh, okay. You uh, need me to move one of these out of the way, or? You want me to move one of these out of the way? No, this way I can stay here. Which way I can stay? Alright. Oh no, why did I... And you must have been building some sort of case against me for a long time, my friend. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> I told you that in the first week. I can't... Am I... I've, I've had an incident with this horse just now. I will be back as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's right. Uh oh. Why did I? Why did I think that tr attempting to stable a horse that I don't own would fix the problem? What was I? What was I thinking? I'll tell you what. I was not thinking. <laughs> I was not thinking at all. Being a silly billy. No, it'll be right. It'll be right, Ash. It'll be right. I'll 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 log back in quick. Fingers crossed. It'll be alright. They're just checking wagons. We got time. Or I'll come back and they'll all be dead. And that'll be awkward. The concerning thing is it looks like there's a bunch of masked riders with guns up on the hill. They may try and save, um, they may try and save Alexi if they see that we're taking him to Sissica or something. You come back and like Frank and Lou and that have all been shot in the head. I'll be like, oh, my bad. The world spoke to me so clearly Every time I asked its name but I know now and I know dearly This world is not the same Though you came to rescue me Still I died in Saint Denis I left it all behind once Built me a home of friends I watched you tear it down you tore it down again But still I built that home to capture souls And they lived there on its walls Though this last time that you tore it down Was the first time it would fall It is Ash It's an original by the Lyrical um, With some Red Dead inspirations Oh. No, nah, that doesn't look right. That don't look right to me. We'll have to try again. Shit. Why did I why did I think that would work? 
Why am I like this? Why did I think that would work? So sorry. I am, a, I am, I truly am a silly Billy. I truly am. Let's try it again. <coughs> Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Please. Please, sir. Come on, you guys. The world spoke to me so clearly. Every time I asked its name But I know now and I know dearly This world is not the same Big meme Though you came to rescue me Still I died in shame to I left it all behind once Built me a home of friends I want you to tear it down And you tore it down again But still I built that home to capture souls And they lived there on its walls Though this last time that you tore it down Was the first time it would fall So you came to rescue me I died in Saint Denis. There we go. Whenever it has the little character selections loading text down the bottom right, I always feel confident that it's worked. I say that now. <laughs> now I've got a bad feeling. Come on, you bitch. Come on. Come on, I want you to do it. Come on. Motherfucker. <laughs> Take him course. off. <laughs> oh, this Take him off. This is, this is my, um, my criminal outfit. No, it's not, because I wear that shit all the time. Take it off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> better I'm, not I be doing crime with them clothes. No, I'm, I, I, I made this oh, outfit last night because I thought we were going to have some fun. You're like being reason. local. I'm oh, concerned. You just appeared before you fucking... Okay, no, I, I, no, I was... Taking some time uh, grabbing these clothes. Oh, it took you 30 minutes. Well, I didn't realize how hard it would find to find these stupid clothes. I'm sorry. Well, they're so... not stupid. They're my clothes. Don't call them stupid. <laughs> they well, didn't actually get you, charge you on anything. Abby. No, I had nothing. I was clean. Where did this guy come from? Mr. Hughes. No, he head popped. I'm back. Oh. Uh, he Good popped. morning. I've, I've been let go under false pretenses. Okay. Um, so yes, apparently I offered to buy this man marked bank bills, you know, the ones that you get from doing the bank jobs, because I thought they were supposed to be used for gun crafting parts. So, and when I found out they weren't, I got rid of them. Then he was asking me about buying uh, silver and gold rings. This is obviously because I wanted to propose to Miss Honey. And uh -huh. then he was saying selling lockpicks. You find, you can find a lockpick or drugs in the bin, and then I get rid of them. It and still don't explain the bison horns, though. Oh, well, look, Seventh, you need legendary parts for pickaxes, don't you? You do, yes. And I thought I was told that I needed horns so I could make a beautiful axe. Because these things go for two and a half thousand dollars, so obviously I'm going to try and get people to give me the horns, and I didn't realize that I was collecting the wrong ones, which I deeply apologize. Well, but I believe... and it's I not me always... you gotta go apologize no, no, to, no. you gotta go I, apologize I said... to the Native Americans. Uh... Can, can I ask who's head of internal affairs for the West? Because I think 20 people is a bit fucking excessive yeah, for someone who's never hurt someone. For, just for bison horns, you got half there are real fucking law with a cow around. And I didn't We're even know these. These were given to me. No, who not just about bison officers. horns. Hmm? No, this is this came from another agency working no, no. with us. So, so the detectives have been building a case on me for about a month now. And like I said, I'm not a criminal, so <laughs> there's nothing to... Uh, arrest me for but the fact that all, every single department 
Every single department was after me. It's caused me much distress and all my friends. Exactly. So my point is, why so, is there 20 people going after a man that's done nothing when you have Cal and Dottie parading around town who have killed officers and people? That's oh, my question. They're on out there. We're, we're looking for them as well. Who well, is... they were parading around town earlier today when you were in town. Are they? When I walked were they? Blackwater, mm -hmm. everyone was Why didn't anyone come out, tell so... us? We did. Why well, didn't you come know. find them? Where's the 20 people when no, they're the, around? The law was only here when the... <laughs> looking for me, apparently. But, Look, uh, yeah, who, no who's, your internal, who's but... your internal affairs? Is it Harkness? I believe it's Harkness, isn't it? No, I'm just following the orders from the sheriff. Well, are you able to find out who the internal affairs is? Because, like, obviously, uh, I like you, George, but I'm very distressed over this incident. Well, I don't I don't think that the, the people building this case would have, you know, organized all this over nothing if they weren't sure. Well, obviously they found nothing, and so not well, they found bison horns. Bison horns that were given to me. Well, so they I didn't built... know legendary. <laughs> so they had a month-long case over bison horns. That's they need to find something no, it... to do with their time. It would have been more than that. Well, they found nothing else, so obviously it weren't more than that. Well, I could like go. I said... Pe people, murderers move bodies. That still don't mean they didn't do it. Are you saying he's a murderer? I'm not saying that. I'm just <laughs> trying oh, to give another example. Oh, 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 George. Oh, oh, like I said, dance, you are, why do you hate me so much? I'm Slender. not saying you murdered someone. I'm just saying that people couldn't cover things up. I'm not saying Alexi did, but you know, we got to follow procedure. No, I, which, like, like I said, that's why I was fully cooperative. Besides, when I was getting shot at, and I would deeply apologize to Mr. Dinger for this, but. but you know, when I speak to him, we'll sort this out. But I've been more than compliant every time I've been asked anything or in my entire time here. And every time that I sought or saw anything illegal, I came straight to you guys to tell you. And then <laughs> the picket to building an entire case against me. So it's just, yeah, I just thought it was a very well, strange. I, I, uh, I, I ain't a Pinkerton, so I don't know. I'm know. just, we just, just following no, no, the procedure. I know, no, no, I know, I know you're not, but I'm just, you know. Obviously, this uh, venting my frustrations to you. Obviously, uh, it's unfortunate for you because you're standing right in front of me. No, I understand. Um, I, and as yeah, you can see, my friends are very cross because they've been continually stopped at these roadblocks looking for one man. Oh, yeah, oh George, God. after I, you I'll, stopped me, I'll, I'll stop by two more. I'll let you go. You, you go find that. Well, it's almost like it's a part of our but, job. I mean, but, yeah, but I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to the sheriff. I'm coming with you. I saw it first hand, so. This damn, this damn coat. Why does it look like that? Also turrets. Hello. Hey, Cam. The mustache. Wow, turrets. <laughs> Just back away. Hey, there we go. I know, it will come back. Is George, did you just use the the crosswalk? Yeah, that's oh. what it's for. What? <laughs> I just I don't think I've ever seen someone use it, that's all. It's just Well, it's almost I like I live honest, in this I world and I do it properly. <laughs> I literally never noticed there were crosswalks. <laughs> That's because y'all too busy tackling each other like a bunch of children. Hell yeah. Parent. It's almost like it's a roleplay server. Children? What's in my head? What is there? Four pickaxe. Can I help you? 
No. Oh, there's the butt. It's it's just yes. with him, especially what he did. Yep. Uh, mm. That it's like we want him to be. Last time I saw him, yeah, he was shot in the face. Yeah, just not. Mm. I don't know if he's really walking. Um, actually, while I've got you anyway, I'm mm. going to give you my, um, uh, my postal address. Yeah. Is there anything to me that way I get it and I can, um, pass it down through, it's easy to pass it down through and it's come back up sometimes. Yeah, I'll give you mine as well, just so you can, mm -hmm. like, Sir? just in case. There you go. Sir, I hate uh, to interrupt you. I also yep. have one thing. Yep. Oh. Yep. Just so I don't get blamed. For my history of phone use, uh, someone yeah. is calling up. We just got a call saying they were George Hughes to let prisoners go from Sisica. So I don't know who. That was definitely and not then, me. Yeah, we didn't think you would be telling us to let prisoners go. So you but um, who used the phone? and then yesterday, the day before, someone said that a sheriff in a red vest let them into the roads. Sheriff Department to use the phone to call us in Saint Denis. Right, oh. but they didn't give any more details besides it, red it, vests. It, in the fairness, there's a possibility if you You're guys heard of the Richard the Gray guy that it was him at the what? time. Yep, he's been fired. Yeah, so it could have been him, but just yeah, yep. letting you know in case it. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate just it. Just real quick, I just need to tell the sheriff something real quick. Okay. Uh, sir, Definitely. there's a bit of a crowd gathering outside that are expressing their dis, dis, uh, their dislike oh, no. of what's I just happened tonight. Oh no! I see the Eastern tonight. sheriffs. Oh God! Mm. Oh, can I can I deal with this, Tessa? And I'll um. Yeah, no, anything, you're we, right. we, we, we have a chat over the over the phone or something like that if we need yeah. to. No, I think we're all done. Like, yeah. I don't think I really have anything else. Again, to say. I wasn't meaning to step on toes or anything like that. It was no, just no, no, you're uh, right. One of those things. Yep. So, step into that. After you. After you. Yeah. After you. After you, Mr. Hughes. Thanks, Jeb. Good to see you. Uh, evening. Bowman, can I speak uh, yeah, to somebody with your cell phone or somebody in Intel Affairs? Uh, after you, Jeb. Uh, yeah, you can speak to myself if you like. Well, I'd, I'd like, like to make a, a complaint. Oh, sorry. Uh, this seems like, a, well, the way that I was treated all the fact that the, you have so many law departments like after somebody that has done nothing wrong. Look, you got to understand from my... Look, let's, can, I talk, can I talk to you inside then? Yeah, yeah, that's more than fine. I'm, like I said, man, this is why I was complying because I, I, I'm not. Oh, so you can just use the handle. Yeah, well, it gets a bit wild. Want me to come with you? At? No, no, I'm all good. Look, like, yeah. like I said, I'm not a criminal. Okay. Your back door's open, by the way. Yes, I got uh, my eyes be, on. Yeah, might be an eyes thing. Oh, okay. Here you go. I've got my yeah, eyes on. Like I said, I'm more than. I have nothing wrong, but it seems very. I think it was asking about like, the glasses, Ken. So I'll, that, I'll just be falling. All right. Um, this all came down. This this all comes down through higher powers and even myself. This this comes from the Pinkerton Division. We have to comply with the Pinkerton Division's request. Now, no, of course. If if he comes to me and says that he has sufficient evidence, I don't have the jurisdiction to be able to question his evidence or anything like that. I have to go with it. Um, we were there purely as um, aiding his investigation. No, of course. So, look, I, Bye, Yuri, sorry. I understand your frustration, and whatnot, partner. But from from our from my myself, like Previous. with the Western Law Department, we have to abide by what we need to do coming down through the hierarchy and chain of command. It's and hell beautifully um, run. I understand, you know, you've, you've been proven, as you said, and we, me and Hughes were trying to look for you previously because we want to have a chat you, you know, just, just to yourself, just to try and clear the air anyway, um, because, you know, you're... Like I said, I'm more than Jesus. compliant with everything that you've Yeah, needed. and you've been more than compliant with me, partner. You've helped me out with the uh, the Blackwater martial law and stuff like that and getting everyone in order and making sure order stays. Um, I hope you don't take anything personally. And you know, oh, if, if you have, well, like I do I said, give you my apologies, but I, we have to do a job that we've been passed down on the last Like, two. I don't have any grievance, obviously, with the West or the yep. East. My grievance right now is with the Pinkertons. I understand yep. where he was coming from, but yep. like I said, I've got nothing on me. Yep. I, like, I want to know if I can sue these people. Mm -hmm. I'm distressed. A hundred percent, partner. I can understand you're distressed. The, only, the way I'd have to point you to is probably towards the... Uh, what would you say, Captain? Probably the governor or, the, or one of the marshals, mm. I would assume, at this stage. 
I was speaking with the uh, the governor last night at the dance, mm-hmm. and I'm uh, already have another meeting with him. Uh, hopefully soon when he opens up yep. his uh, quarters. Mm-hmm. So I'll, 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 I guess I'll bring it up then. But have a chat like... with him. Have a chat with him, and definitely refer myself. Um, I'm happy to you know um, say my part of of what the law of, of what the Western jurisdiction has had to play in this this situation. But um, you got to understand that the way no, it no. played out is is purely from what we've had to do as part of our job. No, no. Like I said, you guys have you, you didn't rough me up or anything, mm-hmm. and I was compliant the entire time. Yep. But like I said, I don't have any grievance with the West. I'm I never do, for. or the East. I have a grievance with Yuri because it's so far I'm wild. But it, my grievance is with the Pinkertons. That's a, what they got away. Stop I fucking shouting! He started his investigation. But it, yep. like, yeah. It is. It for me, it seemed yeah, a bit excessive, but I can mm-hmm. completely understand why everybody everybody has a job to do this. Yeah, but. I just wanted to uh, <laughs> see what my options are because oh, fucking shit! It, it felt excessive for yeah, somebody I that. Yeah, uh... at this stage, I, I, unfortunately, I, I can't really do too much for you, partner. But I can definitely refer you on to one of the marshals on the western uh, side, or, if or the could, governor. If you could, that, that would be uh, much appreciated. Well, like I said, I, I, I'm not taking it to heart, but uh, I will help you in any way. Continuing, because mm-hmm. like I said, I'm not a criminal, and I don't plan on starting now. Or oh, innocent until proven, proven guilty, partner. In my eyes, I still think it was because George wouldn't dance with me, and he has a grievance. But uh... oh, and I hope you, I hope you don't think it's over this uh, this um, black vodka I didn't get from yeah, the the wedding. Well, I don't know. You both had stern <laughs> words to me, and I thought we were square. You could have uh, told down the investigation after you received. You know, I, I would never do that to you, partner. Not, not over a bit of vodka. <laughs> no, I'm just glad bad. you didn't shoot any law horses in the face or anything. Uh, uh, look, Dinger shot at me, so I thought uh, I'm not going to murder a man because this is not me, and I know that uh, he is riding on an outlaw steed, so I know that uh, it wasn't go- going to go down so easy. Let me just chalk this up as a, a test. So, so Dinger did shoot first, did he? Yeah, uh, well, I thought he was trying to uh, lasso me, mm-hmm. and then because obviously uh, you're not going to catch the number one horse trainer in the county on <laughs> on my horse, you know? So obviously he was trying to uh, either disarm my horse or you mm-hmm. know, catch me. That's what was in his right, and I, I don't hold that against him. Mm-hmm. But if somebody shoots at me, I'm going to shoot back. Yeah. But I'm not going to try and kill. I will just mm-hmm. try to disable the horse. But obviously I sold him this horse, so I know <laughs> I needed to So the, the horse's firearm. life is less valuable. I, like I said. Like those I legendary saw... bison. Okay, George, like I said. I thought they were for the pickaxe repair. Well, the pickaxe, the, the special ones, the 20. I thought that's why they were there. And a lot of people just give me things. Like I said, and this is probably how the investigation started. Yeah, well, moving forward, a two part. If there's anything you're ever unsure, feel free to bring it into the department. We can uh, we can screw it away for you. That way we don't have any uh, you know, misunderstandings again moving forward. No, no, we'll be happy no. to help you out on that side. Of course. I, well, I mean, I'm more than up to code as far as I'm aware, unless there's something that has changed. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I appreciate uh, you hearing me out. No, no, do you have my postal ID? Um, I'm not sure, but if you can give me a. Send you any information there, partner, and I can um one four four. I can um forward that on to marshals and whatnot, and give them your your um ID as well, and we can pass that through. Yeah, this is mine. If you if you don't have it. Beautiful. I'll write that down. My telegrams are always open. No worries. And like I said, I've been trying to. I spoke to uh, Smiley Joe last night about uh, mm-hmm. what what we as the people could do to help lift the martial law further more than just following the rules. Mm-hmm. And uh, he told me just to wait till the forum that he was going to host, and which mm-hmm. I'm. And I've already gone around to the, all of the business owners to let them know that I've been progressing with this. Because obviously, one day I'd like to be mayor. Well, one thing you can do is uh next time you have an incident like this is discourage the uh the crowd that you brought with you down to the sheriff's department uh, which is I'm actually re- against martial law i i do apologize people do uh, very concerned for oh my but safety. as a concerned citizen and someone that would run to premier i imagine you would love to voice uh against this in the future no, no, I will go out straight outside there and uh, tell everyone to disperse if not we'll probably just leave black water so we can uh probably find a place we can all have a drink together to uh, calm our nerves over this. Sounds but, uh, fantastic. Because I, I know that uh, this is our preferred place because this is mm-hmm. all the vodka, right? but uh, we can't have that many people together in one area, yeah. can we? 
Yeah, I think if you're looking for somewhere to um stress stress down for the night and have a few drinks with friends, um, I'm not trying to say it's the wrong way, but I don't think Blackwater would be the night for it tonight. No, of but, course. Yeah. We're not going to Valentine either, not that mud hole. I thought maybe this was Walter Bell trying to stitch me up, you know what it's like. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, no, we'll get out of uh, no worries. Yeah, here. Or, was there yes. anything else there, partner? No, no, uh, thank yeah. you for your time. No worries at all. Frog, just give him my, um, my, my Corb's username and my uh, real name I gave you. Because uh, they'll cross-reference that because the, uh, some of the, the, some members of the PAX All team... Right, we're currently breaking martial law, so we need to leave. Um, they, they know who I, they know me through stuff. Yes. Because of the Omegathon and everything. Everybody, let's disperse. I need a drink. There. Yeah, wait, should we catch the bolt? What do you make of that, sir? I think he got lucky. Mm. Knowing, uh, knowing the Pinkertons, they are uh, they wouldn't be putting anything on him just over pure accusations. It would have been proof there. Hundred percent there with you. And this gets so, signed off by the governor, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And he would have asked them a lot of questions. Yeah, there wouldn't have been a search warrant uh, given out just over a hunch. But I dare say we'll be um we'll be catching our item and speaking to him again soon, I think. They're taking a while to disperse that group of three or more people. Going to Silverado Saloon. You gotta push them, don't you? Hmm? You gotta push them because they like to push back. Yeah. And there was a lot of finger pointing at us. Hmm. At it? Yellow. Can I help you there, partner? Oh, shit. Sorry. You're right. Thank you. Nice. It was like yeah. a lot of finger pointing about, you know, why is there all these uh, West Sheriffs all over the place when uh, they were saying that uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Black were uh, coming through town, you know, like they owned the place and, and all that. Mm. And uh, I was saying, well, why didn't anyone come report us? And they were like, you know, why... Uh, why isn't anyone out there finding them? And it's, it's a yeah. lot of, like a lot of finger point. You know, we can't be everywhere all at once. Exactly. Howdy. 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 Sorry about that. I have to take a train ride. No, you're right. <laughs> GG's cuz, but. Yeah, yeah, we're just, uh, you know, with the events of the night. No, I thank you for your help, gentlemen. I'm no, going no to be taking a ride back to Centenary. I'm going to give you a heads up. Uh, you got some, um, <laughs> you'll have a, or how would you say it? Use a complaint, mm. complaint department coming your way. I think from that one. For me. Uh to the to the Pinkertons from uh, from uh, I think Alexi. That sounds like a Frank problem. I'm, yeah. you know, uh, no, not doubting you at all. But I would have, you know, every time you guys push forward a report to the governor to sign mm -hmm. off on it, think, have a very long hard think about how uh, other people interpret this, and maybe have some notes ready because they were, they were considering filing a lawsuit or something yep i mean look hang on a second a... <clears throat> excuse me got it that one our partner i trust frank's better judgment yeah i so, would just have a, a really yeah. strong paper trail 
if you aren't already. I, I'm sure you do. I just, you know, yeah, just would hate to hate see someone. Mm. Of course, we might not catch him today, but he'll slip up eventually. Oh, we were just saying that, partner. We wouldn't think that, um, you know, Frank and yourself wouldn't be having a case open just on a hunch. There's, yeah. there's obviously had to have been something there, and it has to go for the governor too, which he believed was enough as well. I think he just got lucky. Well, this is, uh, like I said, this is Frank's case, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately my case is at the moment down in Tumbleweed. Mm -hmm. But, um, look, like I said, I, I trust Frank's better judgment, yep. and I hope he's, uh, he's got the evidence, you know, to back him up. He's always, you know, he's always got some stuff. Uh, no, easy. It's a I pleasure as always. All right, gentlemen. Take yeah, traps. Good so well, oh, well, I guess it you know, might not have been a, a win per se, but at least it was an opportunity for the, you know, a bit of practical work for the departments to, you know, for when, for when a situation like that arises that's more dangerous. I think it was a very good um, opportunity that we were given, regardless. Yeah. And um, to some degree, everybody is... Um, done their part and listened very well of Cyrus I'm, I'm over the moon with he done everything I ever asked for him even holding um you know holding point on the the doors and stuff like that without being asked when you were in there inside with Frank with um Alex and stuff so this yeah is, I saw him talking to people coming up trying to use the yeah. stable and everything amazing yeah, yeah he's done doing a good job well hopefully um Hartness and whatnot done all right up in Valentine I do believe there's reports of some robberies and stuff up there. Yeah, I thought we would have seen them again by now. Must have, must have mm. got real serious. Must have. Um, well, if you forgive me, uh, Captain, I'm going to have to take a, a bit of a sleep at the moment. It's got a long day ahead of me tomorrow. No, I'm thinking I might call it as well. I might just go see through, to, see to some errands and mm -hmm. get some shot. <laughs> no, I'm feeling the same, partner. And thank you for your time today as well, partner. Was, um... Oh, anytime, Sheriff. Anytime. Very much couldn't have done it without yourself and uh, the other the other seniors as well. And I'll try and get some more paperwork to try and get this Navy revolver melt and fiasco sorted. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm um, just get a price for me, partner. I'll get that sorted for you anyway. Oh yeah, it was just the Navy. I, I I think I I think I was given it at a at an event not too long ago. But yeah, it's just just a Navy just an ordinary Navy revolver. Um. <laughs> What the hell was that? Why yeah, is everyone uh, running from the middle of town? The boat, the boat guards are shooting. What the hell? I think they're gonna kill that gentleman. Can you not see that? No, it's. It, I see oh, a lot shit. of people running, but I don't see the the, the boat guards doing anything. They got their long arms, yeah, they weren't happy. They've done something. Um, yeah, but yeah, let me know. Was it was it modified or upgraded? Uh no, just an ordinary navy revolver. Oh, I'll get you another navy uh, replacement. Also, sir, I I don't know if this counts as a uh if it counts, but yeah, I was on duty. Uh, I could find the time I was on duty from. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, in the in the stables when we're dealing with Alexi, I made the mistake of I tried to get rid of that horse in the middle of the the stable, and I tried yep. to stable it, and then I my eyes got my and my legs locked up, mm -hmm. so I mistakenly you know took a very quick power nap, like the quickest of power naps, and yeah, I lost all the pay I had accumulated since I uh, went How on duty. How many hours do you think it was? Oh golly, that it would it would be about five hours. Five. I just yeah, I, I, I lost all that. All of that is all. It's just I've had a few head pops as well. What's your hourly rate? Uh, let me check. Point six six. Sixty six cents. Wait. 
Ooh, big money today. It doesn't have to be right now, I just, before I forget. No, I'll get it right for you. I'll get it, put it right now for you. Here's your five hours worth of, uh... Thank you, sir. I just, I'm, money. you know, trying to save up for a lot of things and... No, that's right. If you're working, partner, I want you paid for it. Thank you, sir. No worries. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sign off duty, grip my pain, I'm going to bed, too. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just run some errands, get out of here. But I'll, I'll see you later in the week, sir. Yep, no worries. You stay safe, partner. Oh, also, just a heads up in advance. Uh, I will probably not be on duty uh, this coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will That's be. Fine. Uh, I've got some things on. That's fine. That's no worries at all. No worries, sir. Good seeing you. Thank you. You too. No, well, technically, I um. Technically, I. Made a fuck up. Technically, I made a fuck up and I closed down the game. So I was prepared there for him to be like, nah, man, that's just a, that's a human error. But that's nice of him. All right. I, um, I did have another incident last week where there was a server crash or something. And yeah, I didn't have any um, money come in. So I did a ticket and I gave them, I've, give, I've given like timestamps of here you can see when I go on duty. Or like here we, is where you can see that I leave Blackwater because I had to go on duty at the board. Um, here's the last time you saw my inventory showing the, the amount of money. Here's when I crashed, here, here's when I re-logged. You can see the, the amount of money remains the same. So I've given them that, and so hopefully that still gets sorted. How do you check your billfold? How do you do that? Ah, uh, Not sure. Who do you play again, Essential? No, you're, you're Frank. You're Frank, right. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was like, for some reason, my brain, I'm like, sorry. Yeah, my brain was like, wait a minute. Uh, we just use the in-game voice chat now. We don't use TeamSpeak anymore. It's just in the inventory? No, nah, I got no bill or anything. Figured, yeah, Hughes has been out, gone out to the desert and that, so let's get his, let's get some beard and hair back. Um, stop fucking moving. <laughs> Just sit still. Long slicked back. I think that's the one I usually use, but I think there's another one that's similar, but slightly shorter. No? Oh, right. Yeah, it's a good thing that I stream every session, so I'm able to go, like, I can find the amount before and after crashes to confirm it. Because everyone's like, no, no, you get your money back when you crash. I'm like, well, I hate to tell you, but I video proof that the money stays the same. Like, I wouldn't just be saying this for the fucking fun of it. Unless, like, I don't, I don't like to say things as fact unless I know. But that's just me. Is that the one I usually use? The Reverend. I think that's the one I usually use as Hughes. Is there another one like that? Well, the the other the other 
issue I found today is that, you know, I went to go um, melt down a, a Lamat revolver or a Cattleman and it fucking took my Navy revolver. So it'll just be something they got to... Something they just got to tweak. The Reverend is the one I use. Um, I'm not sure if I've got the... Oh, I can't see shit. Might just leave them. George looks a little bit older than he should. Oh, because it's put it at strong. Is his st scar still there? The scraped one. Sweet. Oh, Zozo! <laughs> oh, that's that's very nice of you. Sweet. There we go. Is everyone is everyone cool now? Yeah, everyone's not gonna be free now. Where's George Hughes gone? He's back to looking like George Hughes. Hughes deserves it though. Mate, I think about the bison. Well, I'm very, I'm, look, I will admit, I'm very elitist when it comes to the, how you move around the space and that with roleplay. Like, everyone that, everyone that plays like this, they're just like, oh, gotta go down to the shops. I'm like, show me people that do that every day in real life without looking like an idiot. It's like, no, we walk down the street in re the real world. <laughs> People are like, oh, 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 oh. it's like, yes, because I see that. Yes, I see that every day. Yeah, I see that when I walk down the street. Uh huh. I'm very, I will admit, I can be very elitist. Like, Look, something shiny. Oh my god. Like, it's like, no. Get fucked. Yet. <laughs> I'm very I'm very particular with some things. That's just me though. But am I wrong? Am I wrong though? I don't I've never I don't know, maybe this maybe the Wild West people did. But am I wrong though? <laughs> he's out of line, but he's 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 got a point. <laughs> Yeah, I lost my fucking navy revolver. He got eaten. He got fucking eaten. I might go buy another one just Dude. Just just while I've got one. Oh, I recognize that voice. Main Street. I always forget where the fucking gun store is. Oh, gotta go buy a gun! <laughs> Where the hell do you buy the custom shit? Strawberry. Oh, hey, Todd. Hey, doing, Todd? Why didn't you come help? Help what? Oh, I don't know. When the gun store got held up by by three men, and then and then when the general store got held up by a man, and then when the bank robbery got held up by five men. That was- you were with Harkness and Sledge, that was your area! It was Harkness and myself dealing with a bank robbery. Where'd and Sledge we put go? And we a call for backup. Did you? Yeah. 
Well, I mean, in, sorry, actually, no, I'm supposed to forget now because I woke up in Armadillo. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? Well, um, regardless, I was I was following orders from Ames and Bowman with our with our plan for the for the manhunt. Did you find Alexi? We d the the well, I don't know who did, but we, he's been dealt with. So what was it about? I don't know. Uh, the Pinkerton searched some of his wagons, gave him a talking to, and this and that, and he's been sent on his way. And that's th that's it. Yeah, it was being a little bit lackluster. Wow. Oh, oh I'm heading me, up the strawberry. Me, meanwhile, we've got Cowder and Wilds robbing a bank in Valentine. I mean, sorry, I was not. Um. Uh, oh, we'll wait for Hartness's report. Oh. That is that is a very aw awful timing. Yeah, I last thing I remember was heading towards Valentine with Harkness, and then I woke up in Armadillo. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It was fantastic. Well, I got to sit on a hill with the marshal Hello. and the sheriff for like two hours. Oh, who's this guy? But yeah, I'm heading up to Strawberry. I need to get a new Navy revolver. Uh, yeah, and uh, things are really heated up in Valentine when we were there earlier. Oh, really? Yeah, so the Montgomery's. Mm. Had Walter hostage in the gun store. Oh. But what they didn't realize, it was us and all the rangers. So they'll surround by so many people. <laughs> so he's got so, him? So many people. And then they tried to dip and uh, chase them and bring them in. And we sent them all off to Sisica. But they, uh, they've all now reef threatened Walt again as we're all leaving, etc. And oh. uh, they're at war with another gang there in Valentine the Creed to wear yellow vests. Yeah, I've met. Minister and Madam Creed. Yeah, yeah. So they were the uh, dance. We've, we've got to grab them. Hey, next Cyrus. Time we're, we're hey, I got separated. Uh, I can never remember his name because I confuse him with the other one. But the one with the deeper voice, Harkus or Say, uh, Slade. Shit, they both got deep voices. <laughs> well, one's got a really deep voice. Sledge. Sledge, sorry. I think his might be deeper. I uh got. Taken hostage in a bank, and uh, oh. I got let go. And then uh, me and him were looking for some other lawmen that apparently got um, taken down, but I I couldn't find him or them. Oh, Cyrus, I'm really sorry to hear that. You're okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Yeah, Woodman's just been telling about the misadventures he had tonight. I I was just with the sheriff and the deputy marshal, and we were just sitting on a a, a ridge for like two hours, so. I don't know. I, I don't why know which you, I'd prefer, getting why shot at or... Ridge watching? Hey? Why were you ridge watching? Well, we were watching the way into Blackwater and also the, the trains. Ah. So <laughs> got we, distracted we, by the trains. We were, just, we were just sitting there for like two hours. <laughs> we we didn't find shit. So... Oh, you should, you should have seen it though. It was so funny. Like, seven or eight guys around the gun store. Oh, I wish I could have seen it, but I, I had to... I don't have like, the sheriff's they, back. You know, because we're only going through there looking for Alexi, and then we've heard Walter yelling out. So, <laughs> yeah. Go, Fatal! Like, I was no, running no, up no, and down no, Blackwater yeah, in, like, the outskirts, fellas. and then, like, all of a sudden someone's like, no, nah, man, we stopped looking for him, like, half an hour ago. I was like, oh, thanks. Oh, do you know how to see the, you know, the the word on the street where you, <laughs> you go on duty as you would do to get paid, but then hmm. you also do T slash... Uh, duty, so that you can. Oh no, 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 I've done that. Sorry. Oh good, yeah, I've, good. I've seen the uh, notices. I don't know if I missed one or uh, yeah, it wasn't. It's hard to know. Long. I think yeah. I missed some too. But now it was just more funny. I was like, someone's like, "What are you still doing?" I'm like, "Oh, looking." And he's like, "No, no, stop." <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Not. No, don't worry. Sorry, but Bowman had very good words to say about you, so keep it up. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Happy to, but uh, but yeah, but yeah, fellas, I'm just running errand up to Strawberry, buy myself a new neighbor revolver, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the hit the hay. So why don't um, you go buy one of Walt? All right, well, sorry your uh, revolver got eaten, but yeah. Oh, it's fine. I'll just I'll get some money back from the government. It'll be all right. But yeah, yeah. Great to see you as always. I'll see you later this week. All, all right. right, stay safe. You too, boys. G'day, g'day. Satan, thank you for the thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner. Fatal, thank you for the raid. The stream's been good. We've had a a couple of law operations tonight. Um, a little bit quiet on my end, but you know that's just how it goes as a captain in the force. Sometimes you've got to stay back with with the other officers and.
try and coordinate things while the, the, the deputies and that are the boots on the ground, but, you know, we've played our part, um, had some funny, uh, experiences, um, yeah, it's just, we, we have this system where we go and, like, melt down, uh, rubbish from the evidence locker, which includes weapons. And I thought I was dismantling uh, a Cattleman revolver or a Lamat revolver or something, but it, I accidentally melted down. Um, it it actually it, it melted down my Navy revolver instead, so that's a little bit annoying. So, but you know, it's been all right. How was how was your stream? Oh, it's just you? Ah, oh. I was hearing there's a bit of stuff happening in Valentine tonight. But I've been mainly in Blackwater and, um... Outside of Blackwater. Did you take... Did you take that Deputy Cyrus his hostage? Was that the one he was talking about? Oh, you jilled a guy! Shit! Well done! Robbed about four stores. Yeah, we saw some robbery reports come up, but we're like in the middle of like a manhunt and shit. We're like, we don't have the numbers to cover everything, man. I don't feel safe right now. I'll be honest with you. Do they have Navy revolvers? Yes, they do. 120? Alright. That cost me... I have a note here. $120. $120 just now. Well, I think the Navies are good if it suits your play style. I just, I just like that they, they're like a big... A big revolver that packs a bit of punch. Um... I just think it's the coolest of all the revolvers. It reminds me of, um... Yeah, you would fucking go over in this corner. <laughs> like, um... Like, sort of having the long coat when Hughes is off-duty with the, the one Navy revolver is very much like... It's sort of the same vibe as, um... Uh... What's his... Harrison Ford's character in Blade Runner. Um... You know, not that he's running around shooting people a lot, but it's that sort of same sort of... That sort of vibe. It's just, yeah, it's sort of like a... It just feels like it's got a lot of weight to it. Great. Oh, I should probably buy some ammo while I'm here. It, the addiction is real, and there's a lot of um, FOMO because you there's that fear of like, you know, like there's been a lot and a lot of a lot of the times I've gotten on like some nights I I, I stream for ages and, and play on the server for ages and not a lot of things happen. But then like the night I'm busy and I can't get on like all this stuff happens and it's like man, that's a shame. Um, yeah. There's, there, it is, uh, it is a real thing. Um. I'll put the excess in my bank account.
Okay. So I'm... It's like I'm good for ammo for a while now. I'll do one in the air. I'll do one in the air. God almighty! Packs. I... Yeah, it just... It's just... Cool ass revolver. I have no idea if it's like, you know, Master. like I'm not about finding the best gun in the game or anything. I'm just like, I just, I just feel like it suits my character. I'm not taking this anymore. Also, twerk, twerk simmer. Thank you, twerk, twerk swimmer. Thank you for the. Might do one go through a Valentine, just just because I've heard a lot of shit happening up there. Might just do one lap through just to just to just to see that it's fine. So, I've been streaming on the on the Diablo RP server since uh, since before the launch in August when they were testing it. Um, so I mainly played the the testing. Like I think there was like a week or two of testing. There was like a beta period, and I only streamed a little bit of that, and then I started streaming from. Um, the launch day, like literally from the the within minutes of the server going live in August. So I've been streaming mostly regularly since then. Um, and this has been my first RP server. It is good to see both sides. I, I haven't been able to do much crime. Um, I had a, 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 a alt character uh, before the reset that was starting to get into crime, but then yeah, the reset happened, so, but I've, there's just been so much going on with this character that I just haven't had the time to, to even consider playing another one properly. Because it's like, I'm, I'm, because Hughes is a, he's a captain, so there's, you know, there's an expectation to be around a decent amount, there's, it's a bit of a responsibility. Um, we've had the martial law in Blackwater, so I wanted to be present for that. Um, and then just a whole bunch of story arcs and stuff happening where it's like, shit, I better... But the main thing is I'm having fun with it, so it, it, it helps me play it a lot. I just I can just get lost in it and just lose hours. I just It's just a really fun game. Um, I really love playing through the single player as well. Worth a shot, Quirk. It's definitely worth a shot. Yo, hun! It is! It really is! Especially with all the stuff that happens with Hughes. I'm like, man, it makes it hard. It's like, yeah, it's like that, eh, Fatal? Um, I, like, I had to force myself to stop and play a bit of Deep Rock Galactic and some other games today, because I'm like, well, if I don't play it during the day, I'm not going to at night. Um, but it's good, yeah, it's just, I just, it's just, it's just a, it's just a good time. And then, like, a bunch of my friends play on the server, and then I've made a bunch of friends on it, so it's, it's good. It's nice. So when is Star Citizen releasing? 
He doesn't care. He doesn't wear a mask anymore. He robs banks. Add it. Got it. I got my new Navy revolver. I just thought I'd... Oh, very nice. After all I've heard tonight, I thought I'd stop through Valentine real quick just to make sure it's still here with my own two eyes. Yep. Cal earned bank robbery. What's a big bounty? Sorry to hear that. I said to Harkness, we should give him a small bounty now. Yeah, apparently he only got $100 for breaking his wallet. So let's give jail. him a $99 bounty. One dollar. <laughs> yeah, there we go, a dollar. That's all he's worth. <laughs> is that choked? Yeah, it is choked. Oh, is that a Lex? The Lexus would have been. Well, don't start trouble, boys. Yoo-hoo! Everything good? Fucking Walter Gold. What's this wagon doing here? Is this anybody's wagon up here? Uh, I think it's a locals. I don't actually. The one know. in the middle is a locals. Yeah. yeah, both of them I think are. God damn. Ah! <laughs> Every time. Are hey, you alright? No, but. I'm gonna give you a hand. What are you doing? Are you moving these? Just oh, kicked in the well, gotta move. This is blocking the road. Watch out! Yuri, what are yep. you doing? Yep, all right, just a little to your left. Um, I'm helping. You better... You... Hold on, I gotta... It's real hard to right. turn. Hey, oh, there you go. Oh, beautiful. What are you next uh, to help this? Four of your... Four of your... Are you... Wait, what side is red? Are you east or west? West? I by that. West, okay. Here will do. I helped your east sheriffs. Four of them got downed. Oh, thank you, Yuri. And I've only been in Valentine maybe a minute. I've already need a fucking bath. <laughs> That's what I said. I took a step into the town and I needed a bath. Every time I flee my horse when I get here. What are they doing? What are you doing? Is that yeah. a little bath what the water fuck are you drop. doing? <laughs> get out! You're gonna get sick. Oh, really, Worry? What the hell is this? It's up right there. You can get a donkey. And they're actually, they're actually really cool. Of course you are, Yuri. Oh. Thanks for patching me up, Mr. Yuri. Oh, uh, it's fine. Yep. I am. It's uh... Or like uh, an elk or something, go. like, um... Is it Leroy? If anyone's yeah, ever yeah. seen, uh, Princess Mononoke, yeah, the... Yeah, uh, Studio dog, Ghibli uh, film, yes. like the, 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 the deer green thing green he rides in that, that'd be sick. I'm getting there. Don't you worry about it, Mr. Terrence. <laughs> I hope the world's all healing nicely. Yeah. Alright. No bowl patch anymore. Jeb, good to see you again! Oh, you too, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. I cut one to the hip this oh, evening, so Mr. I've got a bit of a limb going. Ain't Mr. Hughes. Oh, howdy, partner. It is. Howdy, partner. You're a bit dirty. Yeah, you I fell know. over in the mud. Oh, uh, do, do you want me to take you into the bath? Yeah, right. Extortion. Oh, eh? I should be right to get there. Oh, looks like there's Balance a bit of a line. Is there, oh, maybe. Is I better go line up or else I'm going to get sick. Yeah, probably. I'll keep you company. <laughs> Did you hear about the hostage situation we had here? I did. I heard Valentine's being a real shit show tonight. What was oh, yeah, yeah I was one of the hostages. I may have gotten a little bit drunk, but oh, everything's all good. It's like right? a line for the bath. <laughs> Sorry, there you go. You're right. I can, I can come join you if you like, Mr. Hughes. <laughs> I'm good, thank you, partner. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, oh my. No. Who's, jo who's joining me? Oh, my. Does he, oh. need a, does he need a deluxe, sir? Take, oh, take, you? take me to dinner. Oh, Whoa, shit. boys, come on. I'm sorry. Easy, fellas. Come on now. There's enough bath water for all of us. I was, I just got a little excited. It might smell a little bit like pee. I didn't pee in there. God damn it. He was finished, uh, right? Next. Make sure you order the luxury bath. Uh, Sheriff, you're next. Oh, he's already in. He's already in. Who's this guy over here? What's your name? Scrub a dub dub. Oh, Yuri had a shave. 
Jeez, now I won't get sick. He looks very nice. I take him in the bath with me. Uh, the it. All right. Nits or does All right, Nits have a good night, sir? everybody. No. I will make you know. Dos for dead, George. Dos for dead. What does that mean? All right, Valentine yeah, looks like it's all right. Box. Think Harkness and Todd have got it all sorted. What are all the wagons doing? Wait. I should probably get some food while I'm here. From the bakery. Oh no! There's a turkey in the bathtub. I have to, re I have to retrain. The turkey Don't you knock me over again, horse! Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh god! Any stories from my time streaming on Diablo RP? Add it. Wait, I think he's insane, Denny. My goodness, there's. I've seen him like. 15 there's a bunch. Insane, my the it's. No oh god! Years. Let me think. Yuri, um, you look like a young sorry, hey George, I was in my pocket. man <laughs> without a big grey beard. Oh, I've just realised you've got a fucking twirly moustache. Um... <laughs> There's nothing. Hey, now, hey, squeeze. Now you're right, Zoe. I just thought I'd stop in and grab some, from something from the bakery while I'm here. Do, do you want hey, some Taylor? meat? Just, I've cooked heaps squeeze. and I don't want it. Oh yeah, I'd Squig love some Taylor. meat. Okay, give me a second. Squig, Taylor. Uh, three ta yeah. That's it. Where did Husey go? Husey? <laughs> Who's mocking me? The bean story is was insane. Hello? What happened to this lady? Alright, I want everyone to hear me. Uh, There's not a car bad. coming How out. Can I help you? Out. Thank right. you, Zoe. That's very kind of you. No worries. I better get back to Blackwater and get uh -huh. some shot eye. Um said that you might have wanted to speak to me. Wait, no. Eli? I think it is illegal. So, okay, let me try it. Let's see if on the ride back to Blackwater I can oh, summarize the bean me. story arc. So, George Hughes <gasps> was one of the, bless us. the original law recruits on the server. You want to check? Under look, Sheriff Wolf, Marshall Ford, and there were some other ones as well. Yes, um, um, oh, the amongst the other recruits was Lawrence Ironjaw, played by Lontre. And he played him as sort of like an older guy that's, you know, he's 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 a he's a reliable guy, but he's a bit kooky. He would always be bringing up, when, like, whenever the price of beans would change, he would always bring it up, and it became a bit of a running joke that Ironjaw would always be bringing up the damn price of beans. Then other people in on the server got wind of it and they would start talking about the beans as well. And then the admins and the staff in that got wind of it as well and it just kept... And then people would... And then because I would be streaming all of this, people would then come and put beans in my pockets and stuff or just come up and ask me about beans and that. Then later on... Um... There was a time where uh, now Marshall, Ames, and I. Marshall was a, the same rank as me. Uh, Ames was the same rank as me. We we did something wrong, and then we were basically sent. The sheriff was like, "You need to go up into the mountains, take a photo of yourselves at the highest peak you can without your shirts on in the snow." While we're up doing that, we see a cabin, like a light, like a campfire across the glacier. And we see a person walking around. So we're like, oh, we'll go say hello. We walk over um, with a lot with a lantern out so that they know we, you know, we're not a threat. They see us, they drop something on the ground, and they run away. So we go check the thing that they dropped, and it was a it was a, a photo, like a printed photo, of a character that I met on launch day. So this was like weeks, weeks later after launch day. But I remember on launch day, we had a photo photographer character in country that took a photo of a man who then stole the photo without paying for it. And we noted that, and we had that in the back of our heads for weeks or months. Then we found this same photo and we were gobsmacked. We were like, oh my, I was like, oh my God, this is the guy that stole the photo on day one. And so then we started talking to 
people that were connected to find out what his name was, where he works, all of that. Um, and then, well, also apart from that, when we, then when we rode back down the mountain um, to go back home, he attacked us. He was shooting us with, like, an elephant rifle with, like, explosive ammo or something. Like, he was blowing us to hell. We were fighting to survive down a river. And we, we, we even saw him on, like, a big train bridge like that up in the mountains. And when we got close to him, he jumped off it and he survived. And so, yeah, then we were, like, questioning everyone about, who's this guy that stole this photo and He lives up in the mountains and that. So we learned that he was an ex-marshal called Lester Flat, And, um... We ended up, he ended up getting the nickname The Mountain Man. The more we investigated him, the more concerning it got. Is that he used to be a marshal and then things sort of went bad. And that he was suspected of being a cannibal. And so there was a bunch of times we sent up, like he would come down and he would be like watching us and leaving us notes and sending us letters and stuff. Um, like taunting us. And so then, and then he would like talk about how he's taken people hostage and he's going to eat them and that. Um... We'd also find notes where he would, like, talk about how he would really like to cook up and eat lawmen, especially George Hughes. Um, so then we, when we had quiet moments on the server, we would send up, like, groups of lawmen up the mountain to try and flush him out. Multiple times we sent people up and failed for multiple reasons. Uh, but one time, it was just Ames and I left up on the mountain again because we other people had to go back to set, get medical help. As we're walking down the mountain, we look over our shoulder and there he is following us. So I whisper to Ames, I'm like, he's following us. On the count of three, let's get him or something like that. So we both turn and we fire on him and a gunfight broke out. We chased him and we managed to capture him. Um, I can't remember how smooth it was, but eventually we got him captured. And we, then we went and we locked him up in Siska. And we had him in Siska for ages. And then he would... Um, he would kept he kept mailing Iron Jaw and Hughes to come and see him because he had information about the beans and he would always be like it's all about the beans. So we we're like, oh, you got this is a joke, like right. So now there's there's all this talk about the price of beans going up and the the price of them is low in Mexico, but there's this now like serial killer guy talking about how he reckons he has information about the beans conspiracy. And we were busy, so we couldn't go see him at Siska. So he paid, he somehow got word out to a gang and paid them to set up a fake bank robbery to kidnap Ironjaw and I. Only I showed up out of the two people he wanted. They took me hostage, they blindfolded me, gagged me, and they took me out to Siska just for him to be like, you need to, he's like, he literally, he just wanted to talk. So they dragged me to his cell um, and he, Basically, the guards let us in and out because they had just... He's paying off the... It, like, it was set up that he's paying off these gangs. He's paying off the guards. And he has all this control from prison because he's just got all this money and power and shit. Um, and he's basically telling us, you need to be investigating this governor or something. Governor Roy. He works down on the St. Denis dock at this time, at this day, and all this shit. So I and Joe and I go undercover and we staked out this place and we question this Governor Roy guy. And that led into this whole predicament where we got chased by people trying to kill us. And I think, like, we learned that he was, like, a person impersonating the governor. He got killed. He got killed by a local out in the bush. Um, all this stuff. And just, like, there were times where we went down to Mexico to check the bean prices. And we were nearly executed. And eventually we executed the mountain man. We, we hung him, we electrocuted him, and then we blew him to hell with cannons and guns, and then we threw his, what was left of his body down the glacier. Um, and then he started appearing to George Hughes as, like, either a, a mental problem with Hughes or, like, a ghost or something. It was a very... It was a very... Um, extensive story arc. It was actually... Um, it was actually insane. The, the amount of stuff that happened with it. Alright, nothing more from Frank or anyone. It was it was actually nuts. Like this overarching story. And it was it was insane because like a lot of people were tuning into the stream to see George's Hughes perspective of it. And then word of mouth got around the server. Like everyone was like in character and out of character, everyone's like, what's the latest about the beans and George Hughes and all this and the mountain man and all that? 
I but I've saved every VOD. Every time every time I've streamed this, I've saved the VOD and I've uploaded it to my secondary YouTube channel. So um Some people have gone to the trouble and they've they've gone back and watched like every VOD. It's insane. To just to see everything. Um it's 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 gnarly. So we're really hoping we have just as good stories with since the reset because this is we're calling this um we called that like 1.0 and now since the reset the server it's like this is Diablo RP 2.0 or like season 2 or wh however you want to call it. Um so all that stuff didn't happen to this George Hughes but it very well could happen again. Um yeah, it's, um... But that, there, yeah, there's a whole Hello. bunch of other stuff as well. Um... Absolute madness. If I had the time and energy, I would have edited all these, like, little story arcs down. But I just, I don't have the time with my full-time job and, um, and all the other stuff I do. But the VODs are all there. The VODs are all there. Um... So I don't think there's... Oh, the door's unlocked. I don't think... I think... I've got my Navy revolver back. Check my telegrams. Um, yeah, I think... I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness! That'll do. 